Chapter 51 The Hard to Kill Leader Woma. In the Hall of Lord Woma. Swish. Snapped. Jean Hung applied the poison to the leader of Woma. And it immediately became angry. Howled loudly. And turned its head to glare at Jean Hung. He tried desperately to squeeze over and hack Jean Hung. But there were too many monsters. He was only two steps away. But he couldn't reach him at all. It was so anxious that it stomped its feet. At this moment, Jean Hung's anti-scarf was also blowing on its face. A damage of four points floated up. As the damage value floated up, Leader Woma's health bar also appeared. 2195 slash 2200. TSK TSK. A total of 2200 health. The defense is so high. How long will this fight take? Jean Hang's current level is low. His damage is low. And his poison is low. But the official data of Master Woma's magic defense is as high as 17 points. If he hadn't learned the poisoning technique, and the green poison's function of forcing blood loss and inhibiting the boss's blood recovery. Jean Hung would have been impossible to kill it at this stage. Even the amount of HP you hit is not enough for it to recover HP. And without the invisibility ring, it would be even more impossible for Jean Hung to fight it. Even if he learns the invisibility technique at level 20, it will still be impossible. You can't get through the barrier at the door. The Taoist priest's invisibility technique cannot move. And he will be exposed if he moves from the second floor to the third floor. You will definitely be exposed when you first come in. The densely packed monsters around him can kill him instantly. If you don't have an invisibility ring, there's only one way to get an invisible. But Chin Hung doesn't think that current players can do this method. They must have reached a higher level and organized a large number of people to open up Wasteland. The casualties must be countless. Therefore, the reason why Chin Hung can come in to fight the boss now is entirely because of the existence of the invisibility ring. Without it, no matter how much he knew about the game, he wouldn't be able to get in here and play. So, will he be able to monopolize boss indefinitely in the future? Of course not. Because the game legend is not a perverted game where one person challenges the entire server. When the players level up, 10 people can't beat him. What about 20 or 30? When countless players rush in here, if he wants to grab the boss alone, it will definitely be very difficult. Now that he has the upper hand, he can naturally gain more benefits. With his mind on his mind, Jean Hung mechanically called the leader of Woma with his anti scarf. It screamed loudly, but had no choice but to stomp on the spot and spin in circles. In fact, as a leader, the Woma leader's attack speed and attack power are extremely abnormal. The official information is that the attack is at 35 sixtieths. Jean Hang's total blood volume at level 19 is only 122 points. Three times, and you'll be hacked to death by the leader of Woma. You definitely won't be able to increase it by adding blood. Healing spells are added step by step. Not all at once. Although the powerful solar water instantly increases blood. How can there be so much powerful solar water to carry it? Therefore, if there were not many monsters around, Jean Hung would not be able to defeat the leader of Woma. Puff Pung Pung. As the towels kept wiping leader Woma's face, his blood was constantly being sucked away by the towels. The more you smoke, the less. Jean Hang's mood became more and more excited and he would turn his head from time to time to see if any players were coming from behind. Although he knew that at this point, there would be no players coming from behind. He just couldn't stop looking back. This is a disease. I'm used to being persecuted, so I'm too vigilant. Soon, five minutes later, Leader Woma's blood volume had dropped to more than 600 drops, and Chin Hung became more and more excited. The first time you kill a leader-level boss, you can always reveal something good, right? No matter how stupid it is, there must be a Woma horn to create a guild. The first guild horn, which is enough to fetch a sky-high price. If you sell Chinese coins, according to the current gold coin market, you can sell at least several thousand Chinese coins. But what I need is gold coins. Converted into gold coins. It is worth at least 50 million gold coins. How can current players have so many gold coins to buy it? This is also a painful question. Just as Qin Hung was thinking about this nonsense. With a hiss. The leader of Woma, who had only 500 drops of blood left, disappeared. Gone! Flew away! I fainted! Your sister? Chin Hung was stunned for a moment, and then started to curse. What he worried about most happened. In the game Legend of the Past Life, when the leader of Woma was almost attacked, he would teleport away. It randomly flies to any corner of the leader's hall. I didn't expect that this kind of urinary behavior would continue here. And I... This hall is so big! It's hard to find. The Woma leader's hall in the previous legendary game was big enough. But now it is twice as big. 
making it even more difficult to find. If you don't find it quickly, once the poison of the poison spell disappears, its blood volume will slowly recover. Chin Hung quickly squeezed away the monster behind him, passed through the gap, and started looking for it from place to place. Now it's all a matter of luck. With good luck, I found it quickly. But with bad luck, when I found this item, it was already full of health. Chin Hung searched all the way along the hall like a net. Fortunately, there were no other players. Otherwise the day Lily would have gone cold while he was searching like this. Because if there are many players, the leader may teleport to others. The remaining blood was wiped out in a few blows. In his previous life, Chin Hung had encountered such good things many times. Just as he was fighting monsters, a weak-blooded Woma leader flew over next to him. Once the dog sprays, he can harvest a lot of things in just a few clicks. With these thoughts flashing through his mind, Chin Hung searched quickly. But the monsters were too dense. And sometimes it was too difficult for him to get through. So he still had to kill them. The light of the candle did not illuminate a large area, which made his search more difficult. As a result, before the leader of Woma was found, he met two Woma guards first. There are two Woma guards on the third floor. Without hitting the Woma guard, he continued to look for more than ten minutes. Only then did Chin Hung find the leader of Woma in the uppermost corner of the hall. It was flying among a large pile of monsters and couldn't even squeeze through. Chin Hung cleared up to it this time, with only two monsters separated. After standing up, a poison spell and ant scarf were applied. Leader Woma let out a roar, and when his blood volume was displayed again, Chin Hung was so angry that he cursed loudly. Full of blood. There is no other way. Keep fighting. Anyway, there's no one here. So I don't believe it. I can't kill her tonight. Chin Hung gritted his teeth and threw out the towels, frantically sucking the blood of the leader of Woma. The leader of Woma was so anxious that he stood still and kept turning around. But he couldn't move. More than five minutes later, leader Woma's blood volume dropped to more than 500 drops of blood again. Chin Hang's mood also became anxious as the blood volume of leader Woma increased. Sister leader, stop running away. It doesn't hurt. Brother, please be gentle. Just be patient. It will be over soon. He was thinking in his heart. But with a hiss, Chin Hang's eyes almost turned red when the leader in front of him disappeared again. Damn it! With an angry curse, Chin Hung was almost driven crazy by the other party. Isn't it going to be full of blood again if I find it again? Thinking that the hall was so big, Chin Hung suddenly felt powerless. Ouch! A familiar voice behind him brought Chin Hung back from his thoughts. He looked back in shock, and suddenly found the leader's sister not far behind him, rushing towards him in a hurry. Chapter 52 Defeating the Leader of Woma I'll be a good boy. Are you in such a hurry? Chin Hung turned around and squeezed into the group of monsters behind him. But Leader Woma chased him very fast. And he could reach him with just a few more monsters. But there is no way to get through the front. Unless he kills the monsters. But where is the time for him to kill now? Remove the invisibility ring? To have monsters completely surround him? This is definitely not possible. The monsters are around him. As long as he dares to take off his invisibility and does not need the leader of Woma to do anything to him, he will be killed by the monsters around him. He can't carry seven or eight monsters at once with his small body. Brush. At the critical moment, Jean Hang's mind was spinning rapidly. A scarf flew out, and the little skeleton suddenly appeared next to him. On on on. On on on. The appearance of the little skeleton immediately caused the surrounding monsters to pounce on it viciously, as if they had seen a beautiful woman. Various fists, hammers, sea spirits, and even a lot of bone needles in the darkness were thrown at it. With a click, the little skeleton with just over 80 drops of health was instantly killed. But that's enough. The monster surrounding him immediately surrounded Chin Hung tightly, blocking the leader of Woma from outside. She was so anxious that her two paws kept shaking and scratching and she took small steps with all her strength. Hee hee. Mock up. Will you still fly this time? Chin Hung smiled slightly and breathed a sigh of relief. Apply poison to the leader of Woma, and continued to use the towel to suck blood from his face. At this moment, leader Woma was still in a state of poisoning and had no blood recovery. As leader Woma's blood volume became lower and lower, Chin Hang's mood became tense. But don't fly again. In fact, when the blood volume is so low, Leader Woma will also activate the ultimate move. Violent. Those hands are filled with lightning and sparks. And the attack speed increases several times. And can kill the current Chin Hung in an instant. Unfortunately, Chin Hung was surrounded by mobs. 
even if it wanted to fly over deliberately. It would be impossible because there was no place to stay. This is different from when it escaped, which meant teleporting and flying randomly. If you want to deliberately attack the opponent instantly, you must have a place to stay. Qin Hung had tried this method many times in his previous life. Otherwise, he would not have dared to provoke the leader of Woma. When there were finally more than 20 drops of blood left, Qin Hung thought silently in his heart. Five, four, three, two, one, bang. The last ant's scarf was breathed on the face of the leader of Woma, sucking away the last of his blood essence. With a sound, Leader Woma lay on the ground. At 2,500 experience points. At the same time, there was a huge ringing sound, with Leader Woma as the center, exploding everything on the ground. How many times is this a big explosion? Chin Hung couldn't tell. Anyway, it exploded much more than the Woma guards. The ground is full of equipment, potions, skill books, and gold coins, colorful flowers, glittering gold. Qin Hang's eyes widened with excitement as he looked for equipment. Woma Horn. Platinum Ring. Purgatory. Summon the Beast. Ha ha. Shipped. There are four good items in total. I don't know if the other equipment is top quality. You need to pick it up and take a look. Qin Hung first moved towards the location of these four things to clean up the monsters. And quickly picked these four things into the package. Then he started to clean up the monsters that were stepping on other equipment. After more than two minutes... He picked up all the equipment, powerful solar water, and gold coins. For the remaining items, he threw away all the random scrolls, individual blue potions and red potions, and replaced them all with small solar water. The package is full, thinking that the powerful solar water should be of great use in the future. It would be a pity to drink it to change the empty space in the package. So Qin Hong did not continue to kill the other two Woma guards. Go back to the city to store your things first, then come back to kill them later. With a whoosh, he used the scroll to return to the city. The next moment, he appeared in the safe zone of Beach City. Acquire large quantities of all kinds of top quality equipment and equipment above level 10. Skill books, medicine powder materials, massive acquisitions. 70,000 yuan to buy a copy of The Art of Poisoning by a Taoist priest. $100,000 to purchase the mages. Thunder and lightning technique. As soon as we return to the city, the entire safe area was densely packed with people, and the sounds of various purchases of items kept ringing. He squeezed out, but couldn't get out at all. I looked around and saw an NPC veteran not far away. He said H, low from a distance. And sure enough, the veterans here could also be teleported to the inn and warehouse in Beach City. Call out. He appeared at the inn, and then he had time to open the package and carefully examine the equipment revealed by the leader of Woma. Woma Horn. Props. A necessary item for establishing a union. Those who obtain it can command the heroes of the world. Wait one. Level one required. The first is a Woma Horn. The only function of this thing is to create a guild in the game. In the entire legendary game. Only the leader of Woma will drop this thing. In the early stage of the game. It is definitely a good thing. There will definitely be wealthy players. Who want to establish a guild. And spend a lot of money to buy it. Summoning divine beasts. Let's not talk about this skill book. But the following is an extremely expensive skill book for Taoist priests. Inferno. Attack 0 slash 25. Duration 28 slash 28. Weight 60. Requires level 26. This is a brand name piece of equipment used by warriors. Qin Hung can't use it. So he can only press the bottom of the box first. If he can receive Chinese dollars and sell it now. He will definitely get a big price. Such a pity. With a sigh. Qin Hung looked at the next piece of equipment and was stunned for a moment. Then overjoyed. Platinum ring. Taoism 0 slash 4. Defense 2 to 2. Weight 1. Endurance 5 to 5. Requires 17 Taoist points. This is also a brand name piece of equipment. However, this platinum ring actually adds 2 points of defense. He remembers being undefended. Wrong. It seems that the early legendary platinum rings added 2 points of defense. But this attribute was later deleted. Qin Hung recalled it for a moment and then remembered it. Ha uh ha. -huh. This is not bad. It adds two more points of defense. After looking at this equipment, Qin Hung checked the remaining non-brand name equipment. Heavy armor, male. Magic robe, male. Magic robe, female. White tiger tooth necklace. Ebony bracelet. Taoist bracelet. Gold ring. Charm ring. Slaying sword. Demon subduing. A bunch of equipment. Only two of the best equipment. Heavy armor, male. 
Defense 4 9. Magic Defense 2 of 4. Endurance 25 25. Weight 23. Requires level 22. TSK TSK. This is indeed the first boss I fight. And the equipment revealed is abnormal. This piece of clothing has two more points of defense, and one extra point of magic defense. It can be said to be the best of the best. There is also a Talus 03 Soul Battle Suit. Just waiting for him to use it later. After storing all the items in the warehouse. Jean Hung tried on a platinum ring. Ding dong! The system prompts that you do not meet the requirements and cannot equip this item. My day. Not enough Taoism. This platinum ring requires 17 points of Taoism. Which he still lacks. He checked his equipment. Ling Fong has 2 points of Taoism. Phoenix Pearl has 3 points. An iron bracelet has 2 points. A horn ring is 1 point. And he has 5 points. There are 13 Tao skills in total. And there are still 4 Tao skills missing. However, this does not trouble him. Chapter 53 The Hidden Properties of Famous Brand Equipment Jean Hung dug out a Taoist Zero Slash 2 cloth from the bottom of the warehouse, which was left over from a previous search for the best. Having played as a Taoist priest for so long in his previous life, he certainly knew that he had to save some equipment for wearing items. Now it's really in use. After putting on this clothes, I already have 15 points of Taoism. And I still have 2 points to go. This one is simple. Leader Woma happened to explode a Taoist bracelet. When he put it on, it was still a little short. Just go to the store to buy a glass ring and replace it with the invisibility ring. A few minutes later, Qin Hung ran to the jewelry store and bought a 7th level glass ring with 1 point of Taoism. This is enough for 17 points of Taoism. Qin Hung finally put on the platinum ring and replaced the horn ring. After putting it on, Qin Hung once again appreciated the properties of the platinum ring. This is something that legendary players are not good at. A good equipment attribute will be looked at over and over again. I never tire of it. Especially those extremely valuable items that I dare not wear out. If I only dare to put them in the warehouse. I often open them to appreciate them. This is a disease. I feel like I get a lot of satisfaction just by looking at it more than once. As a result, Qin Hung was really surprised when he saw it. The properties of this ring have actually changed. Platinum Ring Talism 0 slash 4 Defense 2 to 2. Durability 5 fifths. Weight 1. Hidden attributes. Defense 0 to 1. Requires 17 Taoist points. My day. What a pervert. The ring itself has 2 out of 2 defense. Plus a hidden 0 to 1 defense. This is too scary. Qin Hung remembered the legends about the hidden attributes of various brand name equipment in the previous legendary games. But he had never been able to verify them. I didn't expect it to be displayed directly here. He took off the ring. And sure enough, there was no hidden attribute on it. It seems that like the pearl necklace, it will only be displayed after it is worn. This is awesome. The attributes of famous brand equipment are extremely high. So their value will definitely be much higher. I wonder if others can see this hidden attribute. Qin Hung couldn't experiment now. So he put it down for now. When I arrived at the store, I took a stroll, and it was pretty good. I picked up a bronze ring with an attack value of 2. Go back to the warehouse. Put on what you can wear. And save what you don't need. Qin Hung didn't go looking for meat or gold mines anymore. It was too time consuming. It's already 3 o'clock in the morning. We should seize the time to defeat the two guards on the third floor of Woma. We can still practice leveling there. Go to the grocery store and buy some random items. And they will fly around. Randomly clear the way. When Woma was flying, there were fewer players spawning monsters inside. And only a few players were encountered. It is estimated that at this time, many people are asleep. Going down to the second floor, the monsters at the entrance are still densely packed. Qin Hung soon appeared on the third floor of Woma, carefully fighting his way out. A few minutes later, he found the first Woma escort here. After standing in position, Qin Hung instantly summoned a small skeleton. In an instant, the surrounding monsters rushed forward with red eyes and howls, killing the little skeleton in an instant. At the same time, they also surrounded Qin Hung tightly. The Woma guard was blocked from the outside. At this time, Qin Hung had enough time to put on the cloth that added two Tao skills and began to poison the Woma guards. I called out another anti-Tao. 24 points of damage. Much taller than before. This is all because his Tao skills have greatly improved. Sell 5 fifths points. Ling Feng Sword 0 slash 2. Iron Bracelet 0 slash 2. Taoist Bracelet 0 slash 1. Necklace 1 third. Platinum Ring 0 slash 4. Commoner 0 slash 2. In total, his Taoist skills reached a terrifying June 19th points. 
coupled with the basic output of the Soul Fire Talisman of about 15 points. His output is 6 34 points. There are also poison spells that force you to lose 1 point of blood, and red poison reduces defense and increases damage. His current highest output can reach nearly 37 points. The magic defense of Woma Guard is 8 points. So it is not surprising at all that Qin Hung dealt 24 points of damage. Puffy, Chin Tian's series of antis kept blowing on the face of the Woma Guard, and the damage every time was maintained at around 20 slash 28 points. The average damage is 24 points, which is a full 50% higher than the 16 points of damage caused by the previous Woma Guards. This is the effect of Gao Dao Shu. The higher the Taoism, the higher the damage of the Soul Fire Talisman, the longer the poison spell exists. And over time, it actually means you can poison the opponent more and draw more blood. Puff Pung Pung. The upgraded towels wipe the Woma Guard's mouth fiercely, sucking less and less of its blood. The Woma Guard, who was attacked, became more and more aroused. He looked at Qin Hung with red eyes and frantically held two weapons and took small steps on the spot. Soon, under the greetings of countless ants, the Woma Guard ran out of blood in less than a minute and laid down with a satisfied look on his face. The bell rang loudly, and a lot of things exploded on the ground. Qin Hung looked up to the ground excitedly, and then was speechless for a while. This product is a parallel import, and it doesn't even have any brand name equipment. At present, the best one seems to be a book called The Art of Holy Words. A few minutes later, Qin Hung cleaned up the monster and stamped out everything that exploded on the ground. Except for some red and blue potions. Then I excitedly opened the package and took a closer look. At first glance, they were all ordinary. Soul Battle Suit Female. Charm Ring. Gold Ring. There are nine items in total. All of which are level 20 or above. Not bad. Nowadays, equipment of more than 10 levels can be sold for about 100,000 yuan. How can the equipment of more than 20 levels be sold for more than 150,000 yuan? Or even more. How can top quality equipment be revealed so easily? In the previous life, it was good to be able to produce some Walmart equipment after a week of fighting. What's more, he bought three pieces of Walmart equipment tonight. A dog book to summon divine beasts, a top quality heavy armor, and a Dao San soul suit. What else is not satisfying? Don't tell me. Qin Hung is really dissatisfied. Who doesn't want to do more? If you don't do it much now, it will be difficult to get him when the players level up. In the future, it is estimated that it will take a long time to PK to grab a boss. Not like now. Fighting monsters quietly. So, when you can do it, do more. If he didn't have to level up and the Corpse King Palace had to keep time, he would have planned to squat in the Corpse King Palace. With the invisibility ring, you can kill slowly. Throwing away the random items. Freeing up the package. Qin Hung picked up some more potions, and then touched another Woma guard. A few minutes later, he found another Woma guard and repeated the same trick. Soon, in less than a minute, the Woma guard was killed by him again. It's a pity that there is still no famous brand equipment. However, the best thing that Woma guards released this time was Trap Curse, which is also very beautiful. Other equipment includes Heavy Armor Mail, Magnifying Glass, Moral Ring, they are all ordinary professional outfits above level 20. There are 9 pieces in total. They are not bad for selling to players. After beating the Woma Guard, I looked at the time and saw that it was almost 3.30 in the morning. All the bosses in Woma Temple have been defeated. The data currently given by the official website is that small boss such as Woma Guards and Corpse King can be defeated every 2 hours. And Woma Leader can be defeated every 4 hours. He can't wait for the boss here to refresh. He attacked the Woma Guards on the second floor early and should be able to clear one before 5 o'clock. But he has to go to work at 5 o'clock, and cannot quit at 5 o'clock. You have to quit at 4.30 at most. Wash your hands. Catch up on your journey. And then you run out of time. There was still an hour left. And Qin Hung didn't leave. He planned to upgrade to level 20 here. Check out the experience. The prodigal son of the end of the world, level 19. Experience value, 23500 slash 120000. He came into the Woma Temple to open a path. Fight bosses, clean up monsters and pick up things. In the process, he had unknowingly gained more than 20,000 experience points. There is still more than 90,000 experience left. And you only need to kill about 360 Woma monsters to level up. Jean Hung came to the wall of the hall and started to clean up the monsters around him. He now attacks powerfully. Using both poison and ant scarf, each attack does about 30 points of damage. 
a Woma warrior with a HP of 285 can be killed in 10 hits. After cleaning up more than a dozen monsters around him to make room, he finally summoned the little skeleton to help. In order to avoid attracting many monsters, he first immobilized the little skeleton and then hooked up a Woma monster. While calling it with a towel, wait for it to come forward. Let go of the little skeleton and step forward to help. In this way, the leveling speed is accelerated again. After he cleared a large space, Jin Hung replaced the invisibility ring with a glass ring. The attack was higher, and he defeated monsters faster. Chapter 54 Little One In the leader's hall on the third floor of Woma, Jin Hung is leveling up here. Not to mention, the explosion rate of the third floor of Woma is very high, and gold coins and potions will drop from time to time. Sometimes he used too much blue and too much red. So he would change his equipment and go up to chop. He wears a large G2 bracelet, a horn ring, and a G2 bronze ring just to change his equipment. Perhaps this place has never been developed before. For the first time, the equipment explosion rate is really high. If you kill more than 20 monsters, non-brand name equipment of level 15 to level 20 will appear. These can now be sold for more than 100,000 gold coins. Which is very cool. It's a pity that even after waiting for him to kill until 4 o'clock, he still didn't produce anything of the highest quality. However, Jin Hung still felt a great sense of satisfaction when looking at the package full of equipment. After looking at the experience, I still have more than 40,000 to upgrade. Call out. Instead of killing any more, he chose to return to the city. It's 4 o'clock. I still have to trade with the merchants. And I have to go shopping for all kinds of equipment. Time is tight. There is no town return scroll. And the one he played last time has been used up. Chin Hung used the dungeon to fly out this time and landed in the Woma forest. After looking at the package, there was no random scroll. And Chin Hung suddenly smiled bitterly. This Miao is going to run back to Beach City. And he probably won't be able to run back within an hour. After looking at the surrounding environment, there were players running around looking for monsters everywhere. He rolled his eyes and had an idea. The high price of 5,000 gold coins is enough to collect enough scrolls to return to the city. There are some for sale! Jin Hung yelled in the area, instantly attracting a large group of low-level players at level 7 or 8. How much does the boss want? I have it here. Wow! The boss has a skeleton. So awesome! Oh my god! Level 19! Prayer helmet! The best Ling Feng sword! Holy shit! What kind of equipment are these? There is no introduction on the Platinum and Prayer websites. A group of low-level players gathered around Chin Hung to look at him. No one dared to kill him. Didn't you see the little skeleton surrounding Chin Hung? However, there are also those who make mistakes. A female mage named Little One stepped forward and slashed Chin Hung with a wooden sword. Brother is so handsome. As a result, this knife blow is terrible. Before Chin Hung could reply, Little One had been knocked to the ground by Chin Hang's little skeleton with an axe. There was a ding, and a bunch of stuff exploded on the ground. Three bundles of potions, random scrolls, a single potion, venison, and chicken burst all over the floor. How much help can a level 7 mage have? Just 30 drops of blood. And this little guy probably had just finished fighting the monster and still had more than 10 drops of blood. So he was hacked to death by the skeleton baby with an axe. The surrounding players immediately swarmed up. 55 55 brother is bad. This person's potion. 55 55 piece of meat. 55 55 return to the city scroll. 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 brother is bad. If people don't like this character, I'll try not to write about it in the future. The little one on the ground suddenly started crying miserably. Crying loudly. Jean Hung felt dizzy for a while. If you chop me, use peace mode. Use attack mode. If not baby skeleton, who will you chop? Of course, he also understood the pain the other party was feeling at this time. With so many players nowadays, it would be impossible to collect all these things in just a few hours. Okay. Okay. Stop crying. I'll compensate you. Listening to the constant crying on the ground. Jean Hung had black lines on his forehead. What he hates the most is a girl crying, making trouble, and hanging herself. Those who didn't know better thought he was bullying girls. He didn't suspect that the other party was a she-male. He knew it when he checked the official website before. Transvestites do not exist in this virtual game of consciousness. They are all real identities. Men cannot create female characters. And women cannot create male characters. The voices are all the real voices of the characters in reality. In other words, this female mage who speaks a little immaturely may be underage. Or even a little lowly. 
My day. Is there no age limit for this game? After recalling it, it seems that the official website did not say that minors are not allowed to play. Really? Can you compensate me? As soon as Chin Hung finished speaking, the little guy on the ground suddenly became energetic and stopped crying instantly. Of course. Come find me at the Beach City Inn. Chin Hung said a word and was about to leave. But some players next to him were unhappy. Master, do you want a scroll to return to the city? I have two here. I have a bundle here. Here. No need. Chin Hung shook his head. He had just picked up a little one. And now it would be silly to spend 5,000 gold coins to buy a return ticket. He is not taken advantage of. Someone goes to the Skull Cave or the entrance to the Woma Temple to kill this thing. Then explodes it and sells it. They usually only cost 2,500 gold coins each. Someone in Beach City sells them. And even merchants may sell them. Call out. Chin Hung used the scroll to return to Biki City. And then teleported to the inn in Biki City. I opened the package and just put some things in it when a female mage burst in furiously. Brother, pay me the money. It was the little one. Chin Hung opened the transaction. Put in 100,000 gold coins. And clicked the transaction. But the little one has yet to click. Chin Hung urged. What's wrong? Hurry up and make the deal. I still have something to do. Brother, I can't afford that much money. The little boy shook his little head and said, I lost a total of 15 pieces of chicken, with an average of 40 gold coins per piece. This is 600 gold coins. 15 pieces of venison cost an average of 100 gold coins. Here it's 1,500. A bundle of random 888. A return to town 2,500. And more than 3,000 potions. The total adds up to 9,000 gold coins. Just give me 9,000 gold coins. Sheen hung. Just take it, and I'll pay for your mental damages. No. Mom said don't take other people's things. I can earn them myself. The little boy canceled the transaction column. Sheen hung clicked on the transaction column again, and placed 100,000 gold coins. You were accidentally killed by me. And the extra money will be considered as compensation for your mental damage. If you don't want it, I won't pay you a single gold coin. Hurry up. I have something else to do. Jean Hung was anxious to trade with the gold metal merchant. But the other party had already arrived at the warehouse. Time is running out. You have to hurry up. His tone couldn't help but become louder. Okay. Just give it. Why are you so cruel? The little one felt a little aggrieved and placed five return scrolls before clicking the deal button. Are you going back to the city? I'll give you some. If you still need some, add me as a friend. I'll replenish it for you next time I go back to the city. Chin Hung didn't know whether to laugh or cry. And said, Go offline and go to bed. Brother has something else to do. He added the other party as a friend and ignored the little boy. He put away his things and turned around to stand face to face with the gold metal businessman. Ready to trade? The little one didn't leave. Curiously wandering back and forth between him and the gold metal businessman. Wow! Big brother! You have more and more babies! Platinum ring? What kind of equipment is this? The attributes are so abnormal. Seeing Chin Hung again, the gold metal businessman opened his mouth again. It's like you can drink a bowl of hot and delicate white rice porridge in one gulp. Chapter 55 Suspicion In the Beach City and Warehouse The gold metal businessman was really shocked by Chin Hung again. Other equipment is okay. But this platinum ring has not been officially announced yet. Judging from the abnormal properties of this ring, it is definitely a good thing. Jean Hung laughed casually and said, We beat the boss and it exploded. Ha uh ha. -huh. What boss? Oh, don't talk about it if it's inconvenient. Ah, are all these equipment exploded by the boss? The gold metal businessman blurted out and asked the boss, but later felt that he was too abrupt. After all, this was a secret of the game. Asking casually will embarrass the other party. Neither is the answer, nor is no answer. But before she could finish speaking, Jean Hung had already placed a bunch of equipment above level 20. A whole package, which once again made her open her mouth. Jean Hung estimated that she could drink a bottle of Nutritional Express in one gulp this time. Yes, it was all caused by the boss. Please give me a price. Jean Hung said with a smile. I, I may not be able to swallow so much. The amount is a bit big, and you have lost all the gold coins I had before. I only have more than three million here. You know... We are not just doing your business. Let me take a look. They are all ordinary. None of them are top-notch. Sturdy Glove 70,000. Gold Ring 150,000. Black Crystal Ring 150,000. 
Snake Eye Ring 120,000. Ebony Bracelet 70,000. Talus Bracelet 70,000. Magic Bracelet 70,000. Pearl Ring 150,000. Slaying Sword 200,000. 220,000 for a magnifying glass, and 220,000 for a bamboo flute. The heavy armor costs 300,000. The soul suit costs 300,000. The magic robe costs 250,000. And the white tiger tooth necklace costs 150,000. Finally, she said, now that the player level has not risen, this thing is not easy to sell, and the price should be about the same. Take a few pieces of equipment, but don't take the clothes and weapons. The gold medal businessman said it was difficult to sell, but he was actually happy in his heart. Nowadays, a large influx of players has caused equipment to be extremely scarce. Many people are willing to directly spend Chinese coins to buy higher level monsters. She was extremely busy all day long, constantly organizing people to collect and sell goods. A piece of equipment of more than 10 levels can earn more than 10 yuan, and it can be sold as soon as it is received. Many old customers have already booked higher-end equipment with him, and these equipment will definitely make a lot of money. In fact, she was quite envious of this prodigal son from the end of the world. According to the news she received, the major leveling points are now full of people. It's hard to grab a monster. It will be even more difficult if the monster you grab can explode the equipment. Although there is a lot of equipment, it is very little when it is distributed to each player. Many players happily brought equipment to sell to her. Only a few pieces at most. How can I be like the prodigal son from the end of the world? Selling one package at a time. It's good to have a high level. And you can still beat the boss. This game has become so popular after just two days of operation. I really don't know how many rich people it will make if it continues to develop like this. 10,000 gold coins can still be sold for two Chinese coins. Like the prodigal son from the end of the world. A package of things is worth about 9 million. Which is 1,800 Chinese dollars but he traded at least over 20 million with them tonight. That's several thousand. In addition, she found out that Tianyao Prodigal did not only deal with one of their stores, but also had deals with old rivals such as Legend Trading Company and Honest Merchant. In this way, the other party's daily turnover has reached nearly 10,000 yuan. It's only two days. Simply terrifying. Maybe the other party really has mastered some of the great powers of the game? Otherwise, it wouldn't be possible to be so awesome. Right? No. Give me the skill book and medicine powder in exchange. Chin Hung replied with a smile. Is it difficult to sell equipment? Of course, he wouldn't believe the gold medal businessman's little talk. A piece of equipment of more than 10 levels can cost more than 100,000 gold coins, which is equivalent to more than 20 Chinese coins, even though he had never used Chinese coins. Judging from the shocked expressions on the players' faces when they first heard that five Chinese coins were used to purchase an ebony sword, he knew that the price of a Chinese coin was not low. At least it was similar to the currency in his previous life. He also understands that with the influx of tens of thousands of players, there will definitely be too little equipment to spread among everyone. If you are unlucky, you might fight for a long time without exploding any equipment. China's first virtual consciousness game is absolutely popular. Otherwise, if they lose money by collecting things, these businessmen will not feel as if they are seeing their biological father when they see him. Jin Hung should be able to earn more by selling directly to players but he doesn't have time to sell by talking. Besides, he has a lot of goods. Which player can eat so much of his goods in one go? Where did they get so many gold coins? Now that he has to stock up on goods, he can only sell them to merchants at low prices. Okay, if you didn't tell me, I almost forgot about it. The gold medal businessman said cheerfully. Chin Hung finally sold a total of 40 pieces of equipment above level 20 that were revealed during the boss fight and mob fight to the gold medal merchant. Of course, Chin Hung only gave the opponent three pieces of level 22 professional clothing. One for each profession. He still has five pieces of level 22 professional clothing in his hand. As well as purgatory. The dragon ring. The top grade 0 slash 3 pearl ring that he needs. And that super top heavy armor. Chin Hung didn't put the five pieces of professional attire on them. And the other party couldn't eat them either. Even for that top quality heavy armor. It's still a little early to sell it. And the other party can't get that many gold coins. As for Purgatory, the Dragon Ring, and the Woma Horn, Chin Hung had no intention of selling these things to merchants. It would be a huge loss. He has to sell it to players to make more money. After some trading, Chin Hung exchanged the equipment for 3 million gold coins, 300 packets of medicine powder, and more than 20 skill books. There are no dog books or half moons in the skill books this time. 
it would be better to have a magic shield. Among them, poison technique accounts for half. This is Qin Hang's strong request to do more. Poison technique. Naturally, this gold medal businessman would not refuse the request of a big client. It's not selling to anyone. Regarding Qin Hang's consumption of poison technique and medicinal powder in large quantities. Although the other party explained that he had many classmates, the gold medal businessman still vaguely guessed what he wanted to do. However, she did not follow suit. She has never played this game and does not understand the special effect of poisoning technique on boss. At present, she only knows that poisoning can make the monster lose a little blood and it can also reduce the negligible defense point. If she understood that poisoning technique was the real nemesis of the boss, she would definitely stock up on it in large quantities. There is no closed beta for the game legend and it will start open beta directly. She didn't understand many things in the game, so she wouldn't do it if she was asked to go crazy with Qin Hung. Just resell it and let others go crazy. Seeing the gold medal businessman leaving, Qin Hung wiped his hands in cold sweat. There was something wrong with this transaction with the gold medal merchant. On the way, the gold medal merchant said that he wanted to change his account and trade the medicinal powder to Qin Hung. Qin Hung also quickly said that he would trade the medicinal powder to his classmates. He bought some random items, flew outside, and hid for a few minutes before returning. In the past, I only traded more than a hundred packages with one person at a time, and others would not suspect anything. Now when trading hundreds of packages at a time, you definitely need to be careful. Otherwise, Qin Hung really doesn't know what will happen if someone reports him to the game company. After this business was completed, Qin Hung had more than 14 million, so naturally he had to continue to make money. He visited all the major stores as quickly as possible and found six small items again. Later, he continued trading with Honest Merchant and Legend Trading Company. After selling the six pieces of small top-grade items and four pieces of level 22 clothes, he kept a top-grade soul battle suit for himself. After posting more than 3 million yuan, Qin Han got more than 50 skilled books and hundreds of packets of medicinal powder from the two of them. Now, Qin Hung still had 10 million gold coins left in his hand. I looked at the time, and it was 10 minutes to 4.30. Qin Hung hurriedly stored the contents of the package and went to the drugstore to check it out. He scanned the goods again and found 5 bottles of deer blood, making 35 bottles. Then he went to the butcher and bought the best cuts of meat. He spent 10 minutes going back and forth, spending more than 100,000 gold coins, but he still didn't finish the whole thing. I have to quit the game first. Chapter 56 Promoted to 2 Stars You are famous. Brush Qin Hung opened his eyes and looked at the time on the bedside. There was still half an hour, and there was no time to improve his cultivation. After getting up, he picked up the bronze mirror and looked at it. There was nothing in the bronze mirror. Could it be? Is that really the case? Before exiting this time, he put on the invisibility ring and recited it several times in his mind. Unexpectedly, after exiting the game, he was still wearing the invisibility ring and other equipment. The effect of the invisibility ring came into play naturally. In this way, as long as you use your mind to make the game character wear the equipment, it will still be worn after exiting the game. That's not bad. After turning off the invisibility function of the invisibility ring and quickly washing the yard, my mind suddenly became clear. It was amazing that he didn't feel any sleepy after playing all night long. Then you don't have to sleep anymore? With this idea in mind, he came to the kitchen and followed Nyo Air to the backyard to kill the young hornbill. Qin Hung speeded up a little this time. The whole person looked like he was trembling a little from the pain of being stabbed by a cattle thorn. But his speed increased a little. He wanted to save some time to improve his cultivation. As for Qin Hang's increased speed, Nyo Air took it for granted. I already killed a hundred heads yesterday. Practice makes perfect. And it will only be normal if the speed increases. So, at about 4.30 in the afternoon, Qin Hung completed the cow killing mission. Gained 20,000 experience points again. What made him depressed was that Manager Xiao didn't let him get off work early. Instead, he was allowed to continue killing until 5 o'clock. It turns out that you're not allowed to get off work before 5 o'clock. Think about it. I'm just a handyman. Why don't I want to get off work early? He didn't get off work until 5 o'clock. After quickly going to the kitchen to have some dinner, Jean Hung returned to his residence. After washing his face, he sat quietly on the bed and began to improve his cultivation. Jean Hung, host. Martial Arts 1 Star 0 slash 2000000 Remaining Experience Value 332680 Gold Coin 9888888 Seal 
after a night of leveling and killing the cow just now. His experience points have accumulated to more than 330,000, which is enough for him to be promoted to a two-star warrior. Improve your cultivation! With a thought, his experience value was immediately deducted by 200,000 points. The legendary door in his mind opened again, and waves of powerful energy poured into his body, tempering his muscles, blood, bones, internal organs, skin, etc. Half an hour later, he opened his eyes. Two stars made. Sheen Hung, host. Martial arts two stars. Zero slash four zero 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 zero. Remaining experience value. One three two six eight zero. Gold coin. Nine eight 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 seal. I felt my own strength. And it really improved a lot. Opening the map. The area expanded a lot again. This time covering the front and rear yards. I looked at the map and saw that there were no green dots in the nearest place. Only two small dots close to each other in the far yard. It seems that most of them are still eating or something and haven't come back. Chin Hung pondered for a moment, waved his hand, and an amulet flew out and exploded beside him. The next moment, a skeleton with an axe appeared. As soon as the little skeleton appeared, he immediately turned around him cautiously with an axe in hand. Not bad. Chin Hung chuckled and put away the little skeleton. This baby is different from the game. He can be put away. However, to summon it again. You have to use the amulet to summon it again. Do you want to try the power of the soul fire talisman? The room was too small. And I was afraid of being discovered by experts when I went outside. Looking left and right. Jean Hung took off the medium-sized armor on the character panel. Bang! With a wave of his right hand. A soul fire talisman exploded on it. But only a little mark was left. And no hole was made. Thinking about it. This clothes has a high defense. Game items cannot be damaged so easily. Jean Hung didn't try anything else, fearing to leave traces and make others suspicious. After fetching water, Mimi took a bath, and he entered the game again. Brush! Jean Hung appeared in BB City's Inn. Another day has passed, and I don't know what level the player army has been upgraded to. After walking out of the inn and seeing Wuyang Wuyang's moonwalking players everywhere, Jean Hung easily ran outside the safe zone. After taking a closer look, I saw that there were quite a few wearing light armor and some were wearing medium armor, but most of them were wearing civilian clothes. There shouldn't be much to see here. After all, Beach City is still a novice city. The newbies will eventually converge. Without paying any more attention, Jean Hung began to scan various stores for top quality goods. Fortunately, he once again found more than 10 pieces of top quality equipment and 5 bottles of deer blood. 40 bottles of deer blood. Jean Hung, who was preparing to trade with businessmen, Received a private message from a household in need. Brother prodigal son, you finally came up. Where are you? I'll pay you back. Beach City Inn. Ah. Ha ha. Wait a moment. I'm at Woma Temple. I'll be back soon. Just when Chin Hung was about to say no, there was already a buzz in the inn. It's the name of a poor family. It seems that this guy came back to the city. I checked the opponent's level equipment and found that this guy had leveled up to level 20, holding a sword in his hand. He looks like a perfect little girl. After trading 1 million gold coins to Chin Hung, he named the person in need and put a bracelet in the transaction column. Brother, exchange this bracelet for your Gong 2 bracelet. Chin Hung took a closer look and his eyes suddenly lit up. Taoist bracelet, Taoism 0 of 2. Defense 0 to 1. Yes, it's a good thing. However, my defense is 1 to 1. It would be a bit of a disadvantage to exchange it with you directly. I'll give you an extra 100,000 gold coins. He said generously after naming the person in need. Can. Jean Hung made a deal with the other party and asked curiously. What? Got rich? Ha ha. What are you talking about? Are you short of money? Seeing Jean Hang's expression that he was short of money, he immediately smiled and said, I bought 5 million gold coins today, which will last for a while. No wonder. Jean Hung nodded. Then seven or eight of our friends went to Walmart and were lucky enough to defeat a Walmart guard boss on the first floor, which exploded a bunch of things. This bracelet was dropped by the boss. He, the person who had trouble naming said with a proud look on his face, First floor boss? Let me go! There are really Woma guards on the first floor of Woma Temple. Jean Hung was speechless for a while. Brother, are you going to Woma Temple? Let's go to the second floor together. There must be a boss inside. A warm invitation to name the needy households. Didn't you go to fight? Jean Hung asked pretending to be curious. Damn. 
We really want to go. But there are too many monsters at the entrance to the second floor. We can't handle them all at once. The households, who had trouble naming, looked depressed and seemed to have suffered a loss. Jean Hung laughed and declined the invitation to name the needy households. He can fight by himself. Why would Mao team up with others to share things? After the household with difficulty in naming left. A minute later, gold medal businessman number three appeared here. Brother, I've been waiting for you all day. And we guys are getting more and more pressured. We are all looking forward to it. The transaction was completed quickly. Jean Hung used more than a dozen small pieces of top-notch equipment in exchange for more than 30 skilled books and more than 100 packets of medicine powder. Among the skilled books were Half Moon Scimitar and Fire Sword Technique, which made Jean Hung very happy. After the transaction was completed, gold medal businessman number three smiled and said, Brother, you are famous. Do you know? Chapter 57 Official Forum Player Guide Famous? What's famous for? Jean Hung looked confused. Gold medal businessman number three laughed and said, Uh-huh. It seems you don't know yet. Go check out the forum on the official website. There is a post called Legendary Quest with your photo on it. Official forums? Jean Hung was stunned. He visited this forum the last time he entered the website. At that time, almost all players on it asked to solve the lag problem, to open a new server, and to open a new leveling map. After thanking gold medal businessman number three, Jean Hung was not in a hurry to go up and have a look. Instead, he privately chatted with legendary trading houses and honest merchants to come and trade. Before exiting yesterday, Jean Hung had already told them that if he needed anything, he would keep it and he would come back around 6 o'clock in the evening. So today in the three trading houses, there was someone who specially prepared the goods for him. Jean Hung had no extra equipment and could only buy it with gold coins. A total of more than 50 skilled books and more than 300 packets of medicinal powder were purchased, which cost more than 5 million. Among the skilled books, there are two, Summoning Divine Beasts, three, Hail Howl, two, Half Moon Scimitar, Magic Shield, two, Group Healing, two, Fire Walls, and three, Explosive Flames, Book. There are also, Summoning Skeletons, and so on. The most valuable ones are those high-end ones. The level 35 skill books cost 250,000 gold coins for Summoning Divine Beasts. Skill books above level 20 cost 200,000. Others are above 60,000. Prices have been going all the way up. Jean Hung planned to stop eating the Poison Technique and Thunder and Lightning Technique when the price reached more than 150,000 gold coins per book. And then he could sell them. After finishing this business, Jean Hung still had more than 5 million gold coins left. Do you still eat the best cuts of meat? Thinking about it, he shook his head. He was too tired. He didn't earn much gold coins. If he had the time, he could fight a boss first. Of course, these more than 5 million gold coins cannot be idle. He asked the merchant selling skilled books in the safe zone again. After spending 1 million, I was lucky enough to buy a copy of Half Moon Scimitar, two copies of Savage Clash, Flashlight Movie, and Explosive Flame. From them, these skilled books will be greatly increased in the future, which is much more suitable than hoarding meat. After exhausting my efforts to buy pieces of meat several times, the price-slash-performance ratio came out. He eats a piece of top-quality chicken for an average of 200 gold coins, which can be increased to a 1,000 gold coins at most, or five times, by one package at a time. 46 yuan. All of them were sold for only 46,000 gold coins. I only earned less than 40,000 gold coins. But it's tiring. When I'm stocking up, I have to run back and forth between the butcher and the warehouse. It takes a while to make one transaction. And if you spend 250,000 to buy a copy of Half Moon Scimitar that no one wants now, it can be sold for a sky-high price of 10 million in the future. 40 times more. Not so tired. The transaction is completed in one go. Even if there aren't that many. Half Moon Scimitar. For sale. There are still many other skill books. For example, Lightning spells, poison spells, summoning skeletons, etc. are far from reaching the highest price. And you can eat them in large quantities. Not to mention too much. Doubling it is much better than hoarding meat. This is just like a rich man. If he takes 10 million, he only needs to earn 10 points to get a profit of 1 million. And if a poor person takes 10 yuan and gives it to you a hundred times, it will only be a thousand yuan. The price slash performance ratio is completely incomparable. After understanding this truth, 
Qin Hung suddenly lost interest in chickens. As for venison, he bought all the meat with a quality of 20 or above. This thing is a mission item to make a good piece of equipment. With so many people on the server, it will definitely be sold for a lot of money. The main reason is that there are too few quality 20 venison. Each time I scan the goods, there are only 30 or 40 pieces, which are all sold out in one package. As for the gold mine, he also went to the weapons store in Beach City. There were more than 4 million gold coins left, but he didn't buy them all. He only bought 10 pieces of gold or with a quality of 20 or more, and 30 pieces of black iron or with a quality of 20 or more. Spending more than 400,000 again, there are more than 3.8 million gold coins left. Spend money like water. After everything was settled and he bought random scrolls, potions, etc., he came to the safe zone. He didn't summon a skeleton this time, nor did he attract anyone's attention. Log into the official forum of legend. When I went up to take a look, I was shocked to find a lot of people swearing. Blame the card. There's a lot of swearing and a lot of blame. After a cursory glance, he set his sights on a pin post in the forum. Post name. Legend Quest. Author. Legend Trumpet. If it can be officially pinned, it must be written well. Chin Hung clicked in. He also wanted to see how much others knew about this game. The post was written by an author named Legend Trumpet. He introduced his understanding of the Legend game in detail and received numerous likes. The content of the post is as follows. 1. Missions. As currently known, this game does not have any missions. My friends and I searched all the NPCs here, but none of them would issue tasks. 2. Map. Here, the author introduces in detail how to navigate the major leveling maps currently available to players. 1. The route from Shinsho Village to the Natural Cave. There are several floors and how to go. It is also recorded with pictures and coordinates. 2. The route from Beach City to Woma Forest and Woma Temple is only recorded here and ends at the intersection between the first and second floors of Woma. 3. Map of the route from Beach City to Beach City Mining Area. There are only the first few maps of the abandoned mining area, and there are no subsequent maps. 4. The route from Beach City to Viper Valley, Viper Village, and the location of Viper Valley Mining Area are introduced. However, the overall map of Viper Valley is not posted on it. It is so big that the author probably has not even finished it. The Viper Valley is only recorded on the second floor and then disappears. 5. Route from Viper Valley to Mingzhong Tuching. 6. The coordinates of the major dungeon maps of the Alliance, such as Centipede Cave in Death Valley, Zuma Temple, and Stone Tomb Array. However, these maps only have entrance coordinates and are marked as extremely dangerous, so it is strongly not recommended to go. Third, about skill books. As far as I know, the following monsters can explode skill books. Skeleton elves, zombies, zombie kings, half-beast warriors, and giant polyhedrons. In summary, except for zombies, only boss can explode skill books. Finally, it is said that on the day the area was first opened, every bookstore had countless skill books for sale, but they disappeared for some reason. Some people suspected that the game company had taken them back, while others suspected that they were hoarded by evil businessmen. But the editor supports that the game company took it back. Because, according to the editor's reliable information, after 12 o'clock on the night of the opening of the zone, all skill books, except those below level 10, were gone. At this stage, no player has that much gold coins to buy all the skill books. At this point, the author also included a photo of the product section of a bookstore that he got from somewhere. There are indeed various skill books on it. Fourth, about PK. Players PK each other. After killing several people in a row, their names will turn yellow. And if they kill more people, their names will turn red. Attention players whose names are in red. You can no longer enter villages or cities for supplies. Because the sword guard at the door will kill you instantly. After ordinary players die, the equipment in the package or the equipment they are wearing will be randomly exploded. If the red player dies, all items in the package will be exploded. Speaking of which, the author added a picture. A red named player died at the feet of the sword guard at the entrance of the Viper Valley Village. And his body and surroundings were filled with ores. 5. About equipment. As far as I know, equipment is divided into ordinary equipment and top grade equipment. Ordinary equipment refers to its original basic attributes, while top quality equipment refers to the addition of other attributes to this basic attribute, as shown in the picture below. This is a player with extremely abnormal equipment that the editor has seen. Definitely the most perverted in the entire server. 
Shin Hong was stunned when he saw this. Because the picture below is exactly the picture of his game character equipment panel. Chapter 58, The Most Perverted Player in the Server. See you again at Guanhai. Shin Hong looked at a photo of the post of Legend Quest in a daze. That photo was of him standing next to the Beach City grocery store with a skeleton at some point. It was probably taken while he was buying random items. There is another photo next to his photo, which is his character equipment panel. And it was also screenshotted by someone. This virtual game can be recorded and taken screenshots. Jean Hung can also use this function. After taking a screenshot, he can post in the legendary official website forum, upload pictures, etc. However, it was limited to the legend official website, and he could not go to other networks to learn about the world on the other side. Everyone, please take a look. This is the equipment of a level 19 Taoist player. The weapon is a level 19 Ling Feng sword with two more points of Taoism. The hat is a prayer helmet with extremely abnormal defense and magic defense. There is currently no official information on this hat. And there is no way to verify whether it is top quality or has its own attributes. However, as can be seen from the name, this seems to be a part of a suit. And the details are not clear. Necklace. Phoenix Pearl. This one adds two more points of Taoism. Which is definitely a good thing for a Taoist priest who can attack and defend. Clothes. Medium-sized armor. This piece of clothing is currently on the market and is very rare. The iron bracelet with two more points of Taoism and a little more defense is simply a perversion. Big bracelet added two more points of attack. As far as we know, the attack bracelet worn by a level 19 warrior only adds a little more attack. Therefore, this large bracelet is the best of the best. Ring, horn ring. This one adds a little more defense, a little more attack, and a little more Taoism. My day. The best of the best. Finally. Take a look at this platinum ring. Oh my god. Zero out of four Taoism. Defense two to two. What kind of magical equipment is this? The pearl ring worn by a Taoist priest at level 20 is only a zero slash two Taoist skill. There is no official information on this platinum ring. Everyone. Is this the most abnormal piece of equipment you have ever seen? Seeing this, Jin Hong was basically certain of one thing. That is the hidden attribute of the equipment. Except for the player who wears it. No one else can see it. But that's okay. This is information that players should grasp quickly. Especially for paparazzi players like Legend Trumpet. If they get the news, they will definitely announce it as soon as possible. By that time, the value of brand name equipment will reach its peak. Sixth, about some game rules and rumors. One, the game will automatically delete items with a lot of materials. The editor saw with my own eyes that there were still many gold mines at the first moment. But there were less gold mines later. It is estimated that the system will delete it automatically. In order to verify this, the author also checked venison and chicken nuggets. I found that as long as it is of good quality, it will be deleted after a period of time. This may be due to automatic recycling by the system. 2. The Legend of the Corpse King's Palace As we all know, the Corpse King is the boss in the abandoned mining area. Killing it will reveal a large number of equipment and skill books. But the Corpse King is difficult to encounter. And you may not be able to defeat it if you encounter it. It requires the cooperation of several people. Coupled with a large number of players. It is possible that you did not kill the Corpse King. But were killed by other players first. Therefore, everyone hopes that they can kill a Corpse King alone and get good things. However, take a look at the picture below. Speaking of which, Legend Trumpet posted two pictures. The two maps are exactly the same. They were all in a small dark room. With a player lying on the ground and exploding a lot of things. And in and around this player. There were a lot of zombie kings densely surrounding him. Did you see it? The names of these two maps are both called Palace of the Corpse King. But they were inexplicably entered by two different players in two different places. One is in the abandoned mining area of Beach City. And the other is in the abandoned mining area of Viper Valley. Pictures cannot be faked. So this illustrates a problem. This place called the Corpse King's Hall can be entered from both abandoned mining areas. However, when we asked the parties how to enter, they could not answer. It's just that when I was fighting zombies, I entered it inexplicably. Before he could react, he had already been taken over by the Corpse Kings. To sum up, the Corpse King's Palace is a very mysterious place. How to enter it requires further exploration. The above is the content compiled by the editor in the past few days. If you like it, please give it a like and follow the editor. The editor will continue to update. So stay tuned. After reading the entire post, 
Jean Hung flipped through other posts about this legendary trumpet. Shockingly, I discovered that this guy had announced the route to Manjung, and he was the one who died on the ground at that time. It seems that some people are really selfless. However, this is not called selfless. It should be for traffic. For such a popular game, as long as he continues to update various strategies, he will definitely gain countless fans and traffic. Once the traffic is realized, everything will be money. Just like those people who wrote game guides in previous lives. After browsing them all quickly, Jean Hung breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, this guy didn't understand some important information. Looking at the time, it was almost 7 o'clock in the evening. Jean Hung did not delay any more. After everything was ready, he flew around and quickly arrived at the entrance of Woma Temple. There are obviously more people at the door looking to form a team than yesterday. There are 30 or 40 people here. There are also people selling equipment and scrolls to return to the city, making it as noisy as a vegetable market. After rejecting the invitations of several people, Jean Hung entered the Woma Temple. In the entrance hall, a group of low-level players were killing bats. Just as Jean Hung was about to pass through, a female player called out to him. Big brother, you are here. Looking back, it was the little one. She was already level 11, and she was killing bats with small fireballs. Hello. Jean Hung said H, low and turned around to leave. A little voice came from behind. Brother, I have a scroll to return to the city. You don't have to buy someone else's. When you come back, I'll trade it to you. No need, Jean Hung said. No, mom said you can't owe others anything. The girl's loud words came from behind. Jean Hung didn't reply and entered the first floor of Woma Temple with his head covered. Boo hoo hoo. After a while, there were players everywhere wearing medium armor and holding Si Soul, Ba Huang, and Ban Yu. There were very few individual players, and they all gathered together in small groups. Jean Hung continued flying and suddenly landed among a group of players who were piking. Originally, he didn't want to take care of it. But as soon as he landed, a poison spell fell on him. Immediately afterwards, a familiar monster's cry jolted him. Woma guard. I glanced around carefully and realized that they were all old acquaintances. They dragged the princess. The prince. The rocking girl. And I dragged seven or eight others. Jean Hung was speechless for a while, as the ones fighting with him were Guan Hai and several other players. Kill the beast like the prodigal first. As soon as Jean Hung landed, he happened to be beside Princess Kwangtu. She suddenly became furious as if she had been beaten to death. After applying a poison spell to Chin Hang's body, she immediately called on everyone to kill Chin Hung first. No! Kill the mage first! He dragged the prince to refuse and continued to chase Guan Hai, who was dressed in green, and slashed wildly. Guan Hai shuttled through the crowd, burrowing in and out like a loach. And from time to time, he and several other players violently hacked and pulled the girl wildly. It seems that everyone has the same idea. To get the mage first. Kwangjo Princess gritted her teeth and also chased after her. But Chin Hung is not happy anymore. I want to run away if he gets the green light? How can such a good thing happen? With a roll of his eyes and a smile. He first gave the poison to the Woma guard who was standing far away and did not join the battle circle. At this time, a system prompt sounded. Guan Yun invites you to join the team. Do you agree? Watching clouds? After looking at the female Taoist priest, who was following Guan Hai and frantically adding blood to him, Jean Hung no longer hesitated and joined the team. He immediately rushed over and threw a towel on the dragon girl whose blood volume was rising and falling. Chapter 59 The whole situation is crazy. In a corner on the first floor of Walma Temple. Originally, the blood volume was maintained at about 40 points. How could the girl withstand Jean Hang's fierce blow while pulling her up and down wildly? An ant's scar fell on her green body. And a big 32 drops of blood floated up. Then Guan Hai's thunder and lightning technique fell and took her away instantly. He lay on the ground with a sound. And exploded red and blue potions. Random scrolls. And a big bracelet all over the floor. Qin Hang's eyes suddenly lit up and he rushed over. These people are all rich. So this big bracelet might be of the highest quality. But he is fast. And there is someone who is even faster. I saw a female Taoist priest's figure flashing. And she had already taken the lead to step on the big bracelet. It is cloud watching. My best big bracelet. The rocking girl was dragged to the ground and screamed. The other members of the Kwangsu family immediately surrounded Guan Yun and started slashing with their eyes red. In an instant, Guan Yun's health bottomed out. And he flew away with a whoosh. Kill the mage! They turned around and slashed at Guan Hai again. 
causing Guan Hai to run away with his head covered. And his blood volume rose and fell sharply. Obviously, this guy brought a lot of solar water. Otherwise, he would have fallen down. However, when this guy saw Qin Hung coming, he cleverly circled Qin Hung again. Qin Hung summoned a skeleton and chased the opponent's mage to fight. The skeleton immediately followed. But before it could reach him, it was chopped down to the ground by a monster on the road. Come on. Little skeletons can't do this kind of big scene. However, in addition to Qin Hung supporting Guan Hai, there were also people on Guan Hai's side. In addition to Guan Yun, there were four people who formed a team with him. Two warriors, a Taoist priest and a mage. They also chased and slashed the mage who was dragging the family. And there were two other mages on the other side. Qin Hung added several healing techniques to Guan Hai Lingling and was about to kill the opponent's mage. But the Woma guard who was originally far away was poisoned by him and finally bypassed several monsters and rushed towards him. Come over. Brush. Qin Hung chuckled and put on the invisibility ring instantly. The Woma guard suddenly rushed past him carrying two machetes. This is what makes the legendary Taoist so disgusting. Deliberately lure the monster over. Wait for the monster to rush over and become invisible. As long as he stops attacking the monster, the monster will not be able to see him. There are many people in the Quangzhou family. And this Woma guard was deliberately lured by Qin Hung to disrupt the situation. Having lost Qin Hung as their target, the Woma guard wielded two weapons and slashed at the tugging prince beside him, scaring him so much that he turned around and ran away. He is only level 20. How can he withstand the attacks of Woma guards? As soon as he ran away, the Woma guard turned around and slashed at the Taoist priest who was caught off guard. His blood volume was instantly cut in half, scaring him so much that he turned around and ran away. But how could Qin Hung let him run away? An anti-scarf instantly passed over him. This guy suddenly had more than 10 drops of blood left. Before he could fly away, Guan Hai and another mage's lightning had already fallen on him. With a crash, a lot of things exploded on the ground again. Potions, random scrolls, town recall scrolls, and a half-moon weapon. This time, because of the appearance of Woma guards, everyone dispersed in fear. Qin Hung easily rushed forward and stepped on the half-moon. Seeing that Kuang Tua's plane was dead, the Woma guards immediately pounced on Princess Kuang Tua, who was about to rush over to pick up her equipment. The girl was so frightened that she screamed, turned around and ran away. At the same time, she felt aggrieved. Why did that bastard Mao Longzi not kill him even though he was right next to the Woma guard? Instead, he chose the distance to kill himself? Is this Woma escort blind? Or am I too beautiful? As soon as she ran away, the Woma guards immediately chased and slashed at the others. The players, who were originally fighting fiercely, suddenly jumped up and down, hiding in all directions. The house leaks, but it rains continuously. At this moment, it was a big brush. The scattered and unorganized players were instantly overwhelmed by the monsters. There are so many monsters. And with the presence of the killing god Woma guard, the players simply cannot organize a resistance. After hiding here and there, I soon couldn't hold it any longer. And in the blink of an eye, people kept flying away. I can't even bear to watch the sea and fly. However, not everyone is lucky enough to fly away. As soon as the monster spawned, the mage who was pulling the plane was stabbed twice by the two Woma warriors who suddenly spawned. His health bottomed out in an instant. Before he could fly away, a scarf had already hit his face. He directly sucked away the last 20 drops of his blood and lay on the ground with a sound. A blue crystal ring fell out from a pile of potions randomly. Seeing that the family members were exposed, they dragged the princess wildly and wanted to rush over to pick up the equipment. But there were too many monsters and they couldn't escape at once. With such a delay, the blue crystal ring had been stepped on by Qin Hung with a smile. Damn it! Why doesn't the monster beat this bastard? Seeing that Qin Hung was busy picking up equipment, and the monsters around him didn't hit him, the princess and the others were almost going crazy. Brush, brush, brush. Qin Hung was not crazy and took the opportunity to poison them. Another ant scarf was shouted at the princess. Princess Kwangjo was already hit hard by the Woma warrior. And then she was shot in the face by two dark warriors, causing her health to drop instantly. Seeing Qin Hang's and being hit by the towel, she will definitely die. Brush. Her blood volume was instantly filled up. Drink powerful solar water. With a bang. The towel sucked away more than 30 drops of her blood in an instant. She was so frightened that she shouted. Retreat first. And come back to deal with him later. Fly directly. Facing an insidious guy hiding among the monsters. She couldn't bear it anymore. 
As soon as she flew away, she dragged the prince and others without hesitation. Glared at Qin Hung fiercely, and flew away one after another. In an instant, only Qin Hung and a large group of monsters were left in the entire passage. Hey hey, Qin Hung chuckled, found a suitable position among the monsters, and casually summoned the little skeleton. All the surrounding monsters were immediately attracted and surrounded him, and the little skeleton. The little skeleton was beaten to death several times. Qin Hung saw that the monsters had surrounded him tightly, and then he continued to poison the Woma guards outside. After this beating, Qin Hung was pleasantly surprised. This Woma guard actually has less than 600 HP. It seems that Guan Hai or Kuang Zhao family had been fighting for a while before. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any blood left. With such a small amount of blood, the fight is naturally fast. Soon, the health of the Woma guard dropped to 400. Qin Hung also became nervous and watched his surroundings vigilantly. At this moment, Guan Hai suddenly came over for a private chat. Brother, where are you? Come to the door on the first floor and let's kill him together. The boss can explode some good stuff. Qin Hung hesitated for a moment, but answered truthfully. I am fighting the boss. This guy is a nice guy, and there is no need for Qin Hung to lie to him. Besides, if the opponent really came over, he would have finished fighting long ago. What? Are you fighting the boss? There are so many monsters. How can you fight them? Wait, we will kill them right away. Qin Hung originally wanted to tell the other party not to come over. But when the words came to his lips, he swallowed them again. While nervously guarding Woma, he took a look at the two things he had just picked up. His eyes suddenly lit up. Half Moon, Attack May 11th. Magic 0 slash 1. Taoism 1 of 3. Duration August 14th. Weight 16. Requires level 15. This weapon is awesome. It has one more attack point and two more Taoist points. Taken together, it is much better than the Ling Feng sword in his hand. Qin Hung immediately put it on happily. When he looked at the blue crystal ring, he was immediately happy. It was another piece of top quality equipment. Chapter 60 Ghost Necklace. Kill Leader Woma again. Blue crystal ring. Attack 0 slash 1. Magic 0 of 2. Magic defense 0 out of 2. Durability 3 fifths. Weight 1. Requires level 16. This is also a top-notch piece of equipment. With two extra points of magic. This is awesome. Much better than the snake eye ring that can be worn at level 20. After all, the basic attribute of a level 20 snake eye ring is only 0 slash 2 magic. This crystal ring also adds magic defense. This group of people is the boss. They can explode something good every time. It would be great if they could drag the princess crazy once a day. With his thoughts on his mind. Qin Hong was alert to his surroundings. But he didn't see anyone else coming until he killed the Woma guard. The bell rang loudly, and a large number of equipment, items, etc. exploded on the ground. Qin Hong glanced excitedly and immediately saw something good. Ghost necklace. Immediately moved towards it and cleared it. He quickly stepped on it. Ghost necklace. Attack 0 out of 5. Weight 1. Durability 5 fifths. Requires level 24. This is a piece of Walmart brand name equipment. Not bad. The density of monsters here is not high. Qin Hung quickly cleaned up several monsters around him and picked up all the equipment and solar water. There was a pile of potions left behind that I couldn't pick up anymore. So I just flew away with a whoosh. I flew several times in a row. And when I landed, I saw players busy cleaning up monsters. It seems that this time the big refresh is not just a small section, but the entire layer. No wonder no one came to fight the boss. Because they couldn't get through it all. At a quick glance just now, the highest level of the crazy prince was only level 20. The princess was at level 19. But Qin Hung didn't see her using summon skeleton. I guess I didn't learn it. It's only level 20. And the monsters are so dense. They are charging all the way. Even if they can rush over. What can they do? Can you still kill people and grab the boss among the monsters? It's simply impossible. Therefore, as long as you are not mentally retarded, you can usually organize your troops and clean up the situation all the way. Because, in other people's minds, they couldn't defeat the boss in a group of monsters. And Qin Hong couldn't defeat it alone. They have plenty of time. How could they have imagined that Qin Hong could do it alone? However, doesn't naming a poor household mean coming to Woma Temple? Why didn't you see them? Maybe it's because it's so big here. The map is twice as big as the previous legend. And everyone's level is not high. So they can only clear it slowly. How can you be like him? Flying around casually? After flying for a while, 
Qin Hung arrived at the entrance to the lower second floor. There were only a few monsters here. Could it be that the second floor also fell? Qin Hung covered his head and got in. On on on. On on on. As far as the eye can see, there are monsters everywhere. And it is impossible to squeeze through. There are also a bunch of potions and random items at the feet. And I don't know who the unlucky guy is. Call out. Qin Hung flew directly to find the Woma guards on this floor. Brother prodigal son, where are you? We are almost there. Hold on. At this time, Guan Hai's voice came over again. Xin Hung. After a moment of silence, he replied, There were two main monsters, and I flew out. How do you answer this thing? Even if he thinks the view of the sea is good, he cannot say at this time, I have finished defeating the boss, and am looking for the boss on the second floor, and am about to go to the third floor to kill the leader. There is no way to explain this. If you tell me, others won't believe it, which will increase your worries. Ha ha! I asked you to come to us at the door a long time ago. Come here quickly. We are almost at the boss just now. Guan Hai's laughter came. Qin Hung replied, No, there are too many people here. I will go to another place to practice my level. Okay. By the way, the big bracelet that the rocking girl dropped just now belongs to him O2. Ha ha! Guan Hai's excited voice came. Magic 2 big bracelet? Qin Hung was stunned. Damn. He couldn't have sold this by himself. Right? Congratulations! After saying joyfully, Qin Hung saw the Woma guards on this floor and immediately repeated his old trick, letting the monster surround him and started killing the Woma guards. I'm going! The Quantu family is here too! No more chatting. Let's fight first. Ah! There are too many of them! More than 20 came this time! Qin Hung. Take care, brother. It's not that I won't help you. You really can't leave. It's important to fight the boss. Besides, if there are more than 20 people, all of whom are above level 17, it will be difficult for him to do it. It is estimated that the possibility of losing in the end is very high. On the first floor of Walmart, as soon as the five or six people from Guanhai and Guanyin saw more than 20 people rushing towards the opposite corridor, dragging their families, they immediately took off. He's running out of powerful solar water. So there's no way he can fight this. If the difference is not big, you can still fight. But if the difference is so big, how can you fight? Seeing the opponent fly away in an instant, he dragged the prince and others to smile in victory and rushed to the other end of the passage in a blink of an eye. The Woma guard is right over there. But when they turned around, they didn't see the Woma guards in the distance. This, didn't he go to another place? Unwilling to give up, they sent out manpower to clean up the monsters and ran around several nearby corridors. In the end, I had to admit the fact depressingly. The Woma guard was really beaten. It must be that bastard from Tianyao Prodigal. Princess Kwangtuan concluded angrily. The prince nodded. Well, he is the most suspicious. Did you notice it? When the monsters were refreshed just now, those monsters didn't hit him. He pulled the girl wildly and said. Yes, his body has become hazy. Unlike us. Isn't that the Taoist priest's invisibility technique? Taoist priests can learn the invisibility technique at level 20. I said hesitantly. It should be so. Did any of you check his level just now? No. That bastard lured the Woma guard over. It was too late to hide. We were still looking at him. Yes. Sister, you have reached level 19. Now go back and learn. Summoned Skeleton. Before coming back. What the HL? We're staying here today. I don't believe we can't defeat the Woma guards. By the way, Let's inform the brothers and hurry up and find these bastards who always have trouble with us. Little sister, don't worry. How can we find so many people in China so quickly? Second floor of Woma Temple. Qin Hung didn't care what others said about him. It took him a minute to defeat the Woma guard on the second floor. This time, Woma guard didn't reveal anything good. The best thing was a copy of Wall of Fire by a mage and nine pieces of common equipment that were over level 20. Not bad and can be sold for a lot of money. After packing up his things, Qin Hong continued to fly randomly, and soon entered the third floor Wilma Hall. After spending a day here, the monsters became even denser. Qin Hong cleared a path of blood in a straight line, and also exploded a saber in the middle, which was very good. Qin Hong passed through the monsters, and killed those who couldn't get past them. After more than 10 minutes, he finally saw Leader Wilma again, using the old method of surrounding himself with monsters. Qin Hung began to kill the leader of Woma. This time, he was lucky. 
after having more than 600 HP left. The leader of Woma became violent and flew away with a hiss. But he flew next to Qin Hung, probably wanting to fly over and attack him directly. But there was no place to stay. Soon, Qin Hung defeated the Woma leader. The bell rang loudly, and a lot of things exploded on the ground. Qin Hung saw a few good pieces of equipment at a glance, and immediately cleaned them up excitedly. Chapter 61 Level 20 Target Corpse King Palace On the third floor of Woma Temple. Excited? Qin Hung cleared away the monsters around him and picked up a lot of equipment, potions, etc. Qin Hung chopped down a dark warrior who was lying on the ground and kept shooting. This guy was a long-range shooter. Looking at the contents of the package again, Qin Hang's lips curled up. Ruby ring, magic 0 slash 4. Weight 1. Durability 5 fifths. Requires mana 17. This is a mage's Woma brand ring. Its attributes are basic but the brand name equipment itself has already determined its value. As for the hidden attributes, Qin Hung couldn't wear it, so naturally he couldn't see it. Cyber Bracelet, Magic 0 slash 2. Weight 1. Durability 6 6. Requires 24 points of magic. This is also a piece of Woma brand name equipment for the mage, which is very good. Although it looks stronger than Defense 0 slash 2, Magic 0 to 2 is not as solid, but it has hidden attributes, and if it has a famous brand effect, its value will definitely be much stronger than that of Magic 2. In short, if you want to show off and wear a famous brand, if you want high defense, wear something sturdy. It depends on how the players choose. Except for these two brand name pieces of equipment. The other equipment is all ordinary equipment above level 20. There are moral rings, charm rings, clothes, weapons and more. However, there is a warrior's frost sword among them. Frost sword. Attack October 13th. Weight 20. Durability 18 20th. Requires level 25. This is not a brand name equipment. And it can be exploded by mobs. However, Qin Hung remembered that in the previous legendary game, there were rumors that it had the hidden attribute of increasing attack speed. Now Qin Hung can't get it, and can't verify it. He can only wait until the time comes to try it. In addition to equipment, Leader Woma also dropped a copy of Half Moon Scimitar. Yes, the zone has just been opened, and the explosion rate is quite high. I just don't know if the explosion rate will be the same as in the past life in the future. Even if I fight more than 10 people, I won't be able to explode a single piece of brand name equipment. The package was almost full. So Qin Hung returned to Biki City with a city return scroll. Stored his equipment. Replenished random scrolls. Etc. And then flew into the Walnut Temple with a roar. After entering the first floor, he flew a few times and landed on a huge corridor. There is a group of players here fighting monsters. All with the Dynasty logo in front of their names. Seeing Qin Hung appear, someone immediately shouted, Prince of the Dynasty. The Dynasty Guild is practicing leveling here. Please give way to anyone passing by. Thank you. Naturally, Qin Hung would not spawn monsters here. He flew again and just as he landed, he heard someone shouting again. I'm trying to drag the family here to level up. Please give in. Thank you. Ah. It's the prodigal son. Beat him. Depend on. Fly again. Qin Hung flew away with a swipe. And was so angry that he dragged the princess crazy. Go and find some people on the first floor. Qin Hung flies again. Iron Blood Alliance is leveling up here. Please give in. Thank you. I flew several times in a row and encountered several people from different forces shouting in the area. This made Qin Hung speechless for a while. It seems that the power of the family and the union has almost mastered the game. And it is known that the game is reserved to fight monsters and upgraded. Of course, they did not completely occupy the first floor of Woma. But each force occupied a large area of the open corridor map that refreshed relatively quickly. I wonder if the same is true in the abandoned mining area, as well as the Centipede Cave. The refresh rate of Centipede Cave is higher than that of Woma Temple. And the monster defense is also higher. So these people may not necessarily go there. After all, there are not many high-level players. And many of them don't even have lightning skills. So it's too difficult to fight there. Qin Hung was flying all the way. Not to mention, he really saw a family with difficulty in naming and a few people farming monsters. The other party didn't see him. And he didn't bother to go up and say H, Lo. He was afraid that after saying H, Lo, the other party would pull him to practice leveling together. There are still two Woma guards in the leader's hall that haven't been beaten yet. He has to fight them quickly. How can he have time to level up with the opponent here? Now the family forces 
and trade union forces have begun to reserve the area to fight monsters. He had to get more things before the other party could enter the leader's hall. Otherwise, he would wait until the levels of these big forces rose. There is no part for him. In reality, he encountered a strange encounter and could come in here to fight monsters and practice. But in this game, all he relied on was his knowledge of the game and his invisibility ring. He can have an advantage in the early stage, but it will be difficult in the midterm. Thinking about his worries, Chin Hung entered the second floor of Woma with his head covered. Fortunately, the dense monsters here resist the player's entry, but I don't know how long it can be blocked. Chin Hung flew all the way into the third floor of Woma. It took more than 10 minutes for Chin Hung to find a Woma guard. Repeated the same trick to blow it up. This time, the Woma guard didn't have any brand name equipment. But it's enough to just buy a copy of Assassination Swordsmanship and 8 pieces of equipment of over 20 levels. After spending more than 10 minutes searching, Chin Hung finally found the second Woma guard. With luck this time, the Woma guard dropped a piece of brand name equipment and a copy of Holy War Armor. Holy Armor is a Talus Priest's auxiliary skill which can add defense to himself or his teammates. This is a very powerful skill, which makes this book very valuable. Wand, Magic 2 out of 5. Weight 10. Duration 14 15. Requires level 26. This is the Woma brand name equipment of the mage. And it is the top weapon of the mage in the midterm. After checking other equipment, there is no top quality equipment either. It's hard to find the best ones. So you might as well go to the store to find them. With a sigh. Chin Hung started killing monsters here. He planned to level up to level 21st. After level 20, he plans to go to the Corpse King Palace. Originally, he didn't want to go so soon. But there are people who play mystery games like Legendary Account. And there are also the rise and monopoly of major forces. This forced Chin Hung to go and fight in advance. Get ahead of them and get as much stuff as you can. In fact, with the Invisibility Ring, he can also go to the Centipede Cave to kill the evil pincers. But the map of Centipede Cave is too big. If no one cleans it, there will be dense monsters everywhere. It is too difficult to find the evil pincer among the many monsters to kill. Besides, the evil pincers are only as powerful as the Woma guards. Compared to the Corpse King Palace, the price performance ratio is much lower. The Corpse King's Hall is different. It's a small place and filled with Corpse Kings. If they have the invisibility ring, they can beat them one by one. So there won't be any problem at all. The explosion rate there is also good. The Corpse King can reveal the top skill books of all major professions, prayer sets, and equipment around level 20. It is definitely a good place to find treasures. After looking at the experience points, I saw that the difference was only over 27,000. Killing a 100 Woma monsters would allow you to level up. It currently takes him about 10 seconds to create a monster. It took him less than 20 minutes. A burst of white light rose and Sheen hung upgraded. The Prodigal Son of the End of the World, Level 20. Experience, 66 slash 140000. The experience gained after reaching Level 21 has increased to 140,000 points. It's okay. It's also very fast to calm down and level up. In the past 20 minutes, he had obtained three pieces of common equipment that were over Level 20, which was not bad. Call out. He returned to the city with a city recall scroll. After storing his equipment, he looked at the time. It's already 9 o'clock in the evening. It's enough for him to fight at the gate of the Corpse King's Palace now. However, before going, he can learn a new skill. He took out a skill book from the warehouse. Invisibility. The effect of this skill is the same as the Invisibility Ring, which can make you invisible. But the practicality is far inferior. After the Talus Priest casts Invisibility, he will lose the Invisibility effect as long as he moves. But the Invisibility Ring won't. It is completely invisible. This is the incredible thing about the Invisibility Ring. Chapter 62 The Eastern Part of the Abandoned Mining Area Corpse King Palace Chin Hung quickly learned this new skill. Invisibility Level 0 Proficiency 0 slash 4000 Note Invisibility makes monsters unable to detect your presence. Using this spell followed by a magical ranged attack is an ideal method of one-on-one -on -one combat. Chin Hung was not wearing the Invisibility Ring at the moment. With a thought an amulet flew out and enveloped him instantly, turning his figure hazy in the blink of an eye. It will be much easier if you know the invisibility technique. At least he no longer has to wear an invisibility ring when he goes to fight monsters with others. Moreover, the invisibility ring is long-lasting. It's best not to wear it when you can, as it will last longer. After learning the invisibility technique, Chin Hung went to the store and bought several small items 
and five bottles of deer blood. Forty-five bottles already. But he didn't do business with the merchants yet. Because he had made an appointment with the businessman to have sex again after 3.30 in the morning. Go out, buy a bunch of random scrolls and potions, and start flying randomly. Whoosh, whoosh. After flying several times in a row, he arrived at the gate of the abandoned mining area of Beach City. It's already very lively here. Players wearing light armor and cloth are constantly coming in and out with hoes. Kakaka. 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 As soon as he walked in, Chin Tian looked at the surrounding mines in shock. As far as the eye can see, there are people mining on all the mine walls, on the mounds of earth, on the ore hills, and even under the broken abandoned mine cars and scaffolding. A dense crowd of players were digging closely together. Players kept coming in and wanted to find a place to dig among them. When they couldn't find it, they went deeper into the mine. Brothers and sisters, please do me a favor and give me some garbage mine. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, please just throw some garbage out. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, I'm just here to pick up some trash. Don't hit me. Among the mining army, there were many novice players in civilian clothes walking around among them eagerly picking up the garbage ores that the mining players kept throwing out. Ore is divided into gold ore, silver ore, black iron ore, copper ore and iron ore. No matter what the ore is, it is of high quality. The higher the quality, the more expensive it is. On the contrary, the lower the quality, the cheaper. Many players don't want to carry back or that is too rubbish to sell. So they will throw away those of extremely low quality. Generally, ores with quality below 5 are thrown away. Of course, gold and silver ores will not be thrown away no matter what their quality is. And even if they are of poor quality, they can be sold for a lot of money. After Chin Hung stared blankly, he felt inexplicably excited when he heard the clicking sound of mining. Once upon a time, when he was playing the legendary game in his previous life, he kept digging like this for a while. Until later, almost no one went to mine anymore. Looking at the flow of people mining and listening to the clicking sound, he walked forward aimlessly just wanting to carefully feel the lost youth and previous life. At this moment, a soldier in the mining army suddenly shouted loudly, One, two, three, four, five. Mining is so hard. Carrying a small hoe. I dug all afternoon. Everything is made of copper. And the quality is five. Okay. Okay. One more. Ha ha. This bad game has made me unable to work overtime for two days. Ha ha. Your wife is not in a hurry with you. Why are you so anxious? She is also playing. She said she is not allowed to go to bed today unless she digs 200,000 gold coins. He. Then you suffered. Didn't you? What a shame. Didn't you see that he kept throwing minerals out? He clearly didn't want to complete the mission. Ah. Uh, why? Ha ha. You sound like a little kid. You don't understand. Let's dig your mine. Ha ha. Listening to the sound of mining and discussion, Chin Hung had a smile on his face. As I strolled forward, I recalled the mining memories that had been buried in the dust for more than ten years. Uh, uh. At this moment, the surrounding zombies suddenly refreshed. As soon as those zombies appeared, they rushed towards the mining players fiercely. The players were so frightened that they dispersed one after another. Some mage players began to hit them with small fireballs, and the warriors changed into bronze axes and rushed forward to chop them. Some even had no time to change their weapons. So they just took the pickaxe and took the wheel. Whoosh. Click. 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 Ring ring ring. Gaga. -ga. Amid the commotion, the zombies that spawned were quickly overwhelmed by the mining army. Chin Hung didn't waste any more time and flew away with a whoosh. The way to enter the Corpse King's palace is that in the early legends of previous lives, there are several places where you can enter. There is also one in the Viper Valley abandoned mine area. But Chin Hung doesn't know whether the game has been changed. I could only rely on my memory to arrive at a door on the right side of the abandoned mining area and walked in. From here, you can reach the eastern part of the abandoned mining area. Along the way, there were players everywhere running around looking for monsters to kill. Or players waving hoes to mine. After flying more than ten times, Chin Hung came to a passage on the right side of the eastern part of the abandoned mining area. Finally stopped at a corner. The coordinates of the previous life are... 138 colon 107. But now here, because the map has doubled in size, the coordinate points have changed. Became 666 colon 888. This place, as long as the game does not change, will be an entrance to the Corpse King's Palace. 
Those who don't know how to enter the Corpse King's Palace will never know how to enter. The way to enter is actually very simple. Here, it is already inside the abandoned mining area. There are not many people mining. And there are only a few dozen people nearby. No one is here waiting for the refresh. Only players, who are constantly running looking for monsters to refresh. Chin Hun took out a pickaxe from his bag, which he bought at the weapon store when he was buying random items. Now that the zombies are not spawning, he just wants to try his hand. I haven't dug for a long time. Picking up the pickaxe, Chin Hung came to the dark mine wall next to him. A system prompt immediately sounded. Mining or not? Yes! Chin Hang's hands mechanically dug into the mine wall. Kakaka. Kakaka. Ha! Huh. It turns out this is how mining works here. Feeling his body automatically mining. Chin Hung smiled. It doesn't seem to cause back pain. I don't feel it at all. In the previous computer legend, the character took a hoe and dug a little on the mine wall. And it was similar here. I tried it. And if I want to stop, I can do it with just a thought. Which is very convenient. Congratulations on getting a piece of iron ore. Congratulations on getting a copper mine. Congratulations on getting a copper mine. Not long after, the system prompts kept ringing. And at the same time, there were more ores in his bag. When he opened the package, Chin Hung almost vomited blood. Basically, they are all minerals with a purity of less than five. My day. Fortunately, I don't have to rely on mining to make a living now. Otherwise it would be miserable. After digging for a while, Chin Hung lost a lot of garbage, attracting several players to wander around him. Chin Hung didn't want to lose it. He wanted to enter the Corpse King's palace. So it would be better if no one knew about it. The low-level players waited for a while, and then left in boredom. Chin Hung stayed here for more than half an hour, killing more than 10 zombies that spawned. And because of his powerful attack power and terrifying level, the mining players around him are afraid of provoking him and stay away from him. This is what Chin Hung is happy to see. After waiting for a few more minutes, finally, a bald zombie wearing a yellow robe emerged from the ground at the coordinate point, 666,888. Ha ha! The wait is finally here. Chin Hung excitedly stepped forward and killed a zombie with his antis. To prevent it from attracting others, he put on his invisibility ring and stepped on the hole made by the opponent. Just swipe and disappear. The method of entering the Corpse King's palace is very simple. A monk zombie will emerge from this fixed coordinate. After it emerges, a small hole-like appearance will be left on the ground. Step on it, and you will be teleported to the Corpse King's palace. In the entire abandoned mining area, this kind of yellow-robed monk zombie that emerges from the ground is so common that it appears everywhere. Every time a monk zombie emerges from the ground and is refreshed, the ground will temporarily leave the appearance of a cave entrance. When the player steps on it, it will be very flat and there is no special place. After a while, it will disappear and return to its original appearance. Only the monk zombies that emerge from certain fixed positions will be teleported to the Corpse King's palace when the player steps on the holes they drilled out. This thing is simple to put it bluntly. No one said that it is really difficult to crack. After all, these yellow-robed monk zombies are everywhere in the entire abandoned mining area. Who would have thought? Brush! Chin Hang's vision went dark. And when he reappeared, he was already in a small, small room. Uh-uh. The entire room is filled with zombie kings all over the screen. Chapter 63 Crazy Explosion Brush! Chin Hung appeared in the corner of a dark and dilapidated hall with walls covered with runes. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ring, ring, ring. As far as the eye can see, the whole screen is filled with strong corpse kings dragging chains in their hands. Corpse King Palace? There are no other monsters here. There is only one. And that is the Corpse King. In the previous legendary games, this was the place where major guilds fought for hegemony. Ever since the secret of entering the Corpse King's Palace was revealed, the place has been filled with smoke and smoke, which has not stopped 24 hours a day. It wasn't until the end that the legend fell into disrepair and skill books overflowed. And the place became deserted and deserted again. And now, Chin Hung, who has legendary experience, is naturally one step ahead of everyone and enters Taobao here. There were corpse kings dangling in front of him. Fortunately, he was wearing an invisibility ring. Otherwise, if a corpse king hammered him, he would definitely be killed instantly. Even if you have invisibility skills, it won't work. Because when you first come in, you don't come in invisible. When you open your eyes, you might have been knocked to the ground by the Corpse King. In the previous life, we relied on the human sea tactic. The high-level warriors went down first, and the Taoist priests followed closely to provide stealth, defense, and health to the warriors. 
the mage played last, stacking up among the players, setting fire, and killing them with electricity. But nowadays, where there are any high-level warriors, the highest level is only around level 20, and they are simply unable to withstand the siege of the corpse king, not to mention the corpse king's palace. Woma Air and the others still can't get down. Now, it is Chin Heng's advantage. I saw him calmly observing the terrain. Fortunately, he was not completely surrounded by the corpse king. There are boss here, so we definitely can't surround ourselves with monsters like we were fighting the leader of Woma. Otherwise, once surrounded, it would be difficult for him to stand up as the corpse king. Most likely, he was beaten to death by the corpse king. Therefore, you have to change your style of play. Taking a leisurely stroll, Chin Hung squeezed past a bunch of corpse kings. He took a closer look and found that the entire corpse king's palace was not much bigger than the corpse king's palace in his previous life. There are also not many corpse kings. Only about 40. After walking around and familiarizing himself with the terrain, Chin Hung stood next to a group of corpse kings and started to spray poison on a corpse king on the other side of them. Uh, uh Ring ring ring. The corpse king was suddenly dyed red and green. And went berserk in an instant. Dragging a thick iron chain. He wanted to come over and slap Chin Hung. But was blocked by the other corpse kings. I could only go around the corner and slap him. But Chin Hung is not dead. After applying the poison. He breathed out a towel. And a damage of 27 drops of blood floated up. Ouch. The corpse king was in pain. So he quickly turned around the pile of corpse kings and came over to whip him. Unfortunately, Chin Hung also followed him around in the pile of corpse kings. While spinning in circles, he kept using the towel to absorb the blood of this guy. He didn't summon any skeletons to help attack. They are all zombie kings. If they can't hold it for two seconds after being summoned, they will die. It also disrupts his rhythm, which is useless. The constant beatings made the corpse king furious and roaring. But he couldn't catch up and could only keep running behind Chin Hung. This is the method of using monsters and terrain to spawn monsters in the legendary game. Among the legendary monsters, there are only a few extremely abnormal monsters that can quickly catch up with players. If you want to kill this kind of monster, you can only fight while stuck in the terrain. As for other monsters, even boss, players can run and fight them, slowly consuming them to death. The premise is that the environment must be safe and you must control your own odor. After all, the boss is much faster than ordinary monsters, and you cannot grasp the timing of the attack. When you stop to attack, the opponent will catch up and hammer you to death. Moreover, there are usually many subordinates around the boss, so it is difficult to kill alone in the early and midterm. Only in the later stages, high-level mages and Taoist priests can easily defeat monsters such as leader. As for the warriors, unless they are of the highest quality and have a lot of blood on their backs, it is really difficult to defeat the big boss alone. The Corpse King's blood volume is 500 points in total. Chin Hang's ant scarf can absorb about 27 drops of the opponent's blood each time. It only takes 19 attacks to kill him. Therefore, after a few turns, the Corpse King's blood volume became less and less, leaving only a few drops. Chin Hang's mood also became tense, because the first Corpse King to break out in this place must have a higher chance of being the best. 5, 4, 3, Two. One. Bang. With a cry. The corpse king was so frustrated that he was blown away without even attacking Chin Hung. The bell rang loudly, and a large piece of something exploded on the ground. Equipment. Skill book. Powerful solar water. Little sun water. Powerful golden potion. Powerful magic potion. Gold coin. It exploded in a big way. Chin Hung looked at the ground excitedly. His eyes lit up. And it was shipped. A copy of Summoning the Divine Beast. There are also some other equipment of more than 10 and 20 levels, such as bronze axe, lingfang, sturdy gloves, magic robe, etc. Chin Tian stepped forward and picked up all the equipment and gold coins he could. The book Summoning Divine Beasts happened to fall at the feet of a corpse king. After checking the various dropped equipment, his eyes suddenly lit up. Zero of three magic magic robe. Yes, it's the best with a little more magic. Nowadays, the price of a magic robe is 250,000 yuan. And the best one will cost at least double that. After calming down for a while, Chin Hung cast a poison spell on the corpse king who was stepping on the Summon Divine Beast. The corpse king immediately circled around the corpse kings and came to beat him. Chin Hung turned to its previous position and stepped on Summon the Divine Beast. Needless to say how valuable this book is. 
It will be a sky-high price item in the future. Soon, Xin Hung killed the corpse king. And with a ding, only two powerful solar water exploded on the ground. This is obviously a parallel import. In the legendary game, any single boss in the wild will explode. Such as the corpse king on the first and second floors of the Viper Valley mining area. But in the palace of corpse kings, when there are piles of corpse kings, not every corpse king will reveal good things. According to the experience of the previous life, most of the corpse kings are parallel imports. The most you can get is a pile of gold coins, or one or two powerful solar waters. There are more than 40 corpse kings in the entire corpse king palace. And it is estimated that there will be no more than six that really explode. That's the truth. After Qin Hung killed five corpse kings in succession, he encountered an explosive corpse king again. Qin Hung saw a green hat and a copy of Magic Shield at a glance. The prayer helmet is out. At this time, this pile of corpse kings had been cleaned up by Qin Tian. There are only two or three left. And things can basically be stepped on. After picking out the equipment and skill books on the ground, there were still a bunch of powerful solar water and powerful potions left, which could not be picked up. Because his package is full, when he walked to the corner, Qin Hung randomly threw away a variety of gold medicines and magic medicines. He drank whatever he could drink, and threw the ones he couldn't drink into the corner. In the vacated position again, I picked up a bunch of powerful solar water and continued killing. There were only three corpse kings left in the pile of corpse kings he was killing. They couldn't turn around in circles. So Qin Hung had to lead it to another group of corpse kings. Just when Qin Hung was shaking his aunt's scarf, suddenly, there was a soft sound in the corner. Qin Hung looked back and suddenly found a player coming in. Chapter 64 becomes popular again. In the palace of the corpse king, Qin Hung stared at the player who just came in. Qin Hung was surprised that the other party was okay when he came in. The other party was stunned when he saw the potion and the corpse king all over the floor and opened his mouth wide just as this player was about to say something. The next moment, he disappeared with a hiss. He he. Seeing this, Qin Hung chuckled. It seems that the original rules of the Corpse King Palace have not changed. In the early days of the legend in the previous life, as long as there were people in the Corpse King's Palace, other people would be teleported out immediately even if they came in. Only people in the same group are allowed to come in at the same time. Later, in order to promote interaction between players, the official changed this rule. It was changed to allow everyone to enter through the entrance, causing this place to become a war-torn place. Now this game obviously continues the early settings of the legend. This player came in for just a second. He probably didn't even see Qin Hang's name clearly before he was automatically sent out by the system. Qin Hung ignored the matter and continued to clean up the corpse king. He could kill one in less than half a minute and quickly killed more than 20 corpse kings. Three heads exploded. But there is also a problem. Each zombie king who explodes will explode 12 or 3 pieces of equipment at most. And as few as 10 pieces. Each zombie king will explode several skill books. Etc. His package cannot fit it. At this time, the fourth corpse king who exploded finally gave him a book called Half Moon Scimitar. I also dropped a top quality black crystal ring with an attack power of 3. The normal one is attack 2. Looking at the pile of messy ordinary equipment of more than 10 to 20 levels in the package. Qin Hong would have thrown it away without hesitation if he had been in a legendary game in his previous life. But now, these can be sold for big prices. Qin Hong couldn't bear to throw it away. After drinking all the powerful solar water with heartache, throwing away random and all worthless ores, leaving only a town recall scroll, Qin Hong picked up the remaining pieces of equipment of more than 20 levels and a few skill books. He planned to go back to the city to save up before coming back. Anyway, except for him who knows how to get in. No one else knows about this place. These corpse kings will not run away if they are placed here. However, before leaving, as a precaution, he came to the player's entrance and foothold. Players usually appear in this corner after entering. So, Qin Hung stood there and summoned the little skeleton. As soon as the little skeleton appeared, the surrounding corpse king suddenly rushed over ferociously. Soon, the little skeleton was hammered to death by the zombie kings. The entrance where Qin Hung was standing was already surrounded by the corpse king. Hey hey. About there. Qin Hung chuckled and used the scroll to return to the city with a hiss. Use corpse kings to surround the entrance. Anyone who goes in will be attacked by a group of corpse kings. Don't blame Qin Hung for being selfish. Who wouldn't be selfish in this kind of treasure land? Even if he is the legendary trumpet of the Legend of Quest game, he publicly reveals everything he knows. Doesn't he have selfish motives? Getting likes? Attention. 
and a lot of fans. This is his selfishness. The hustle and bustle in the world is all for the benefit of others. Everyone has their own purpose in doing things. The legendary trumpet publishes various game strategies to increase fans and make money. Jean Hung wanted to cover up the corpse king palace to equip himself, earn gold coins, and cultivate himself. The same game. Multiple ways to play it. All for your own benefit. Call out. Jean Hung returned to the city and quickly stored the things in the warehouse. After looking at the durability on his body, he felt a little bit pained. The durability of the invisibility ring became 4 out of 5. If it fell to 1 fifth, it would have to be repaired. Otherwise, you won't even know if it's broken. It seems that if you can save it, try to use it sparingly. Otherwise, if you keep carrying it to fight monsters, it will drop very quickly if it lasts for a long time. When he came to the store and squeezed into the crowd, he repaired his weapons and clothes. By the way, I checked to see if there were any small products. But unfortunately, I couldn't buy any. I guess it was because the time was too short. Chin Hung didn't buy gold mines and other ores for the time being. He only had a few million in his bag. And he would make a one-time purchase after the sales were completed. After buying random items and amulets. Taking half a pack of powerful solar water and a bundle of powerful gold-creating medicine from the warehouse. Chin Hung flew towards the abandoned mining area of Beach City again. The Corpse King in the Corpse King Hall is refreshed every two hours. However, the entrance to the Corpse King's Palace is refreshed and the legendary games in previous lives are generally randomized, lasting no more than an hour at most. It's just that after entering, it's not certain whether there is a corpse king or not. Jean Hung soon flew to the eastern part of the abandoned mining area in Beach City again, mining nearby and waiting boredly. However, what he didn't know was that with the launch of a post on the official forum, he was quickly becoming popular. Post name. A great person clears the palace of the corpse king alone. Just now. I was fighting zombies in the Viper Valley. And suddenly, for some reason, I entered the legendary palace of the Corpse King. Guess what I saw? Brother, I saw someone cleaning the Corpse King palace alone. The screen is full of zombie kings. And the ground is full of potions. No more nonsense. Video below. In a 10 second video, a player was seen brushing monsters on the first floor of the Viper Valley. The next moment, he suddenly appeared in a dark room. Uh. -huh. The screen is full of corpse kings. There are a lot of potions on the ground. And a figure shuttles among the group of corpse kings. The next moment, he left the corpse king's palace and appeared in the abandoned mining area of Beach City. It can be seen from this video that he stayed in the palace of the corpse king for less than one second in total. And he couldn't even see clearly what the awesome guy who was single playing was saying because he was blocked by the corpse king. But it has been clearly expressed that someone is just cleaning the corpse king's palace. This is really a stone that stirs up a thousand waves. What is the Corpse King? This is a boss, which can reveal a large amount of mobile wealth including equipment potions and skill books. According to the picture of the Corpse King's explosion posted by the legendary trumpet of the best expert on the forum, it can be seen that a Corpse King's explosion is worth at least several hundred Chinese dollars. First of all, there are more than 10 pieces of equipment, ranging from as low as more than 10 levels to as high as level 22 professional clothes. These things are worth at least 1.5 million gold coins. Generally, the zombie king will explode two or three skill books, which are worth more than 400,000 gold coins. Strong solar water can also be sold for money. Currently, someone buys a strong solar water for 2,000 gold coins and a small one for 1,000 gold coins. This place is worth tens of thousands of gold coins. There are also those 20 or 30 piles of large gold coins. At least tens of thousands. So how much is an explosive zombie king worth? Someone has calculated that it is worth at least 1.5 million gold coins. This means that explosive things are relatively low level. What is the concept of 1.5 million gold coins? At present, a large number of players are still pouring in. And 10,000 gold coins are steadily worth 2 Chinese coins. It is equivalent to beating a corpse king. And you can earn at least 300 Chinese dollars. And as much as 500 Chinese dollars. This is more than a working class person does in a day. Almost twice as much. Under such circumstances, someone was actually cleaning a large area of corpse kings in the corpse king's palace alone. Who wouldn't be jealous if he didn't pick up the powerful solar water worth 2,000 gold coins? As soon as this post was posted, it quickly became the most popular post in the entire Legend official forum. Even the Legend accounts, Legend Quest, was upvoted and became the first post. And the mysterious person, who can single player in the palace of the corpse king has become the most mysterious player on the entire internet. 
He is also a player who is driven crazy by everyone's jealousy. Chapter 65 Player's Discovery The great guy cleans the corpse king's palace alone. As soon as this post was posted, it quickly became popular in the entire legendary official forum. After watching it, countless people told their friends who were playing legend about this exciting news, which led to many people coming up to watch it again. The video's click-through rate exceeded 10,000 in a short period of time. After reading it, many people discussed at the bottom of the post how this awesome person entered the palace of the corpse king and how he did it alone. Among all the discussions, the most convincing is the view of a netizen named Brother Guanhai. Got a lot of likes and replies. Brother Guanhai. I don't know how this player got in. But have you noticed? He is a Taoist priest. Because the corpse king who followed him was poisoned by him. Moreover, his body was a little hazy. And the corpse kings around him didn't react or hit him. If you guess correctly, this person is a Taoist priest above level 20. And has learned the Taoist invisibility skill at level 20. As soon as this point of view was mentioned, everyone read it again. Sure enough. This is really what happened. This discovery is incredible. The bottom of the post immediately exploded. Brother Chi 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 Chi. Damn! The Taoist priest is so awesome. After being invisible, other monsters won't hit him. It's a must-have for fighting boss. I want to play Taoist priest. SA world. Ha ha. Indeed. This invisibility technique is awesome. It seems that except for the zombie king who was attacked, other zombie kings can't see him. It's so awesome. Want to see the villain? Taoist priests are awesome. When no more flowers bloom, Taoist priests are invincible. It's dusk on the bank of the river. Let's go. Let's go play with the Taoist priests. Countless people left comments below the post. Wanting to play Taoist. Probably even Brother Guanhai didn't expect that his casual words would cause such a reaction. But think about it. Playing games is just for PK and hunting for treasures. Now I suddenly find out that there is a profession that is so suitable for hunting treasures. Who wouldn't be excited? Didn't you see that awesome man coming and going freely among the zombie kings? Could you try switching to a mage and a warrior? Can you do it alone at this stage? If you can stand still for 10 seconds, call you daddy. In addition to the sensation caused by Brother Guanhai's opinion, another netizen's comment also aroused great interest. Mu Shui Wei, look where the original poster is. He was sent to the Corpse King's Palace to fight monsters here. So, could this place be an entrance to the Corpse King's Palace? Is it possible that as long as you fight monsters in this place, you will be teleported to the Corpse King Palace? Purple Light Demon God. Uh huh. Brother's analysis is very reasonable. Let me try it. A bunch of people who responded below said they were ready to give it a try. But there are also people who attacked them. Tion Tion Duster. TCH. So what if I try? Can you defeat the Corpse King among the Corpse Kings? One sentence made everyone feel cold. Below are a bunch of people who echoed and resonated clamoring to play Taoist instead. In the game, many people have already rushed to the place where the player was teleported away. The Viper Valley was instantly overcrowded, especially in the corner where you enter the Corpse King's Hall. You can't even squeeze in. Ha ha! Idiot! We can't defeat it alone, but dozens or hundreds of people can defeat it. The army of players probably had this idea in mind and started to stay here, preparing to enter the legendary palace of the Corpse King to have a look. Everyone stayed there for more than 20 minutes, during which many zombies spawned and were instantly overwhelmed by the army of players. At this time, another group of zombies emerged, including many monk zombies that emerged from the ground. Everyone fired another thunderbolt and fireball to kill the zombies. Among them, one player unconsciously stepped on a hole made by one of the monk zombies in the crowd, disappeared with a whoosh. But there were so many players around, and no one suddenly seemed to be missing, so no one cared. Maybe someone else returned to the city or was disconnected. It's all possible. As for the hole in the ground where the monk zombies crawled out under their feet. There were so many people that they couldn't even see it. Or they didn't care. At this time, Jin Hung didn't know that he was still mining. But they are basically garbage ore. Congratulations on getting a piece of gold. Huh? Did you find a gold mine? Jin Hung was a little surprised. When he opened the package and took a look, his eyes suddenly lit up. It turned out to be a gold mine with a quality of 20. What a good luck. Just in time, a rumbling sound came. I turned around and saw. Sure enough, the zombie monk wearing cassocks emerged from the ground again. After being beaten to death several times, Chin Hung put on his invisibility ring and stepped into the hole where the monk zombie emerged. Brush. The next moment, he appeared again in the palace of the corpse king. 
with a circle of zombies surrounding him. This shows that gold coins will definitely be useful in the future. Although it is unclear what they will be used for specifically. But the more, the merrier is better than having to use nothing when the time comes. After packing up the equipment and items, he continued to brush. An hour passed quickly, and Qin Hung revealed a large number of skilled books and items. And only the last two heads of the corpse king are left. At this stage, you can no longer fight around the corpse king. Qin Hung changed his tactics. Chapter 66 Harvest People are afraid of being famous. In the palace of the corpse king, there were only two corpse kings left. With fewer corpse kings, there were fewer obstacles. Qin Hung Ruo was still a little tired of beating in circles. You need to run a little further and create enough distance to call Ante. Therefore, Qin Hung stopped beating around in circles. After poisoning one of the corpse kings, he finally summoned a small skeleton. The poison corpse king roared and rushed towards him, but was blocked by the little skeleton and gave it a severe blow with an axe. The corpse king immediately changed his target and began to beat the little skeleton with an iron chain. Qin Hung took the opportunity to call the corpse king with his ant's scarf. At this time, the appearance of the little skeleton also attracted the attention of another corpse king. It quickly moved over and began to attack the little skeleton together. The little skeleton only has a little over 80 drops of blood in total. And it will be gone after being attacked by the corpse king four times. Qin Hung summoned another one and let the little skeleton wrap around the corpse king. He bombed it with the soul fire talisman from a distance safely. Soon, a corpse king was killed. This time it was a parallel importer who only exploded a few bottles of powerful solar water. Then hit the next head. Also using the small skull to wrap around the opponent and hit it. It took less than half a minute to kill him. The bell rang loudly and exploded. A lot of equipment, skill books, and powerful solar water exploded on the ground. Jean Hung saw a copy of Summoning Divine Beasts at a glance and immediately rushed forward excitedly and stepped on it. After picking up the other equipment, the entire package is basically full. Jean Hung did not stay here any longer. Although, after he leaves, there may be players coming in and waiting here. So there is nothing we can do. Anyway, Qin Hung didn't plan to wait here. At this time, it was already 11.30 in the evening, and the Woma guards had already refreshed. He was going to fight against the Woma guards. Returning to the Biki city and warehouse, Qin Hung opened the package and warehouse and checked the harvest. This time I entered the Corpse King's palace and got a total of two. Summoning Divine Beasts. A copy of Half Moon Scimitar. Two copies of Magic Shield. Three books of Hell's Thunder. A copy of Fire Sword Technique. A copy of Hail Roaring. There are a lot of other middle and low level skill books. Equipment. A regular prayer helmet. The best equipment includes a black crystal ring with 0 slash 3 attack. A magic bracelet with 0 1 attack. And a half moon with talus skills of 1 half. There are 7 pieces of level 22 professional clothes and a lot of other equipment. All in all, this is a great harvest season. After storing everything in the warehouse, Qin Hong went out to buy random items. But he immediately realized something was wrong. Behind him was a large group of players watching the fun. Look! This is the perverted master who likes to cuckle. Ah! His equipment is so perverted! I really want it! Qin Hong felt a chill and ran all the way to the grocery store without stopping. He bought random items and flew away immediately. Ever since he read that legendary account's post, he felt like something was going to happen. I didn't expect the news to spread so quickly. In fact, he doesn't care about the players watching. He cares about the game company. Strictly speaking, he is definitely an outlier in this game. In other words, it's a black account. Because he is not in China, he does not need to go online. He was afraid that if he caused too much buzz, gaming companies would take notice of him. When the time comes to check his information, it will be troublesome. If you want to ban your account or something, isn't that nonsense? He just wanted to play a game quietly and practice. Qin Hung flew non-stop and randomly flew to Woma Temple. Level 18 Warrior. Full set of level 16 professional attire. Capable of fighting and carrying. Please team up. Level 17 Taoist Priest. Who knows how to use poison? Please help me. Lead the team with an 18th level mage. Quickly bring a Taoist Priest above 18th level. He is required to be able to cast poison and know the soul fire talisman. For sale is a freshly baked gold ring with all attributes of level 20. Priced at 180,000 gold coins. If you want it, please send a private message. You can view the goods. Businessmen crawl away. Selling a level 15. Attack 4 out of 12 Bahuang. The price is easy to talk about. 
cheaper than the merchant. If you want it, please send me a private message. For sale is a hot level 20 warrior's top weapon John Montau. 200,000 gold coins. No price. Come here if you want it. Selling a scroll for 3,000 gold coins each. Buy more and get discounts. At this time, more players gathered at the entrance of Woma Temple. 50 or 60 people. Among them, people begging to form a team. The voices of selling things kept ringing out one after another. It was noisy like a vegetable market. Jean Hung looked at the information bar under the character panel. In the short period of time he passed by, there were already 20 or 30 messages. Jean Hung couldn't help but sigh. Fortunately, there is an information column to record various information. Otherwise, who would remember who shouted what? Jean Hung ran through the crowd and wanted to quickly enter the Woma Temple. But his appearance still attracted some people's attention because the cuckold on his head was too conspicuous. This is the only one in the whole server. Ah, it's a master. Brother master, can you take me with you? Brother prodigal son, please form a team. I am a level 17 mage who knows thunder and lightning. I don't need any equipment. Little sister, brother, please give me some money. I don't have any money to buy medicine. The surging crowd surrounded him. So frightened that Jean Hung dared not stop and ran straight into the Woma Temple. Jean Hung had just left. Among the crowd at the entrance of the Woma Temple. A member of the Kwangtu family sneered and passed the news that Jean Hung had entered the Woma Temple to Prince Kwangtu. Prince Kwangtu, who was leveling up on the first floor of Woma Temple, immediately shouted to the dozen or so people who were leveling together. Brothers, pay attention. That bastard from Tianyao Prodigal Son has come to Woma Temple. Find him for me and clean him out of Woma Temple. Nowadays, there are more than 10 people from the Kwangtai family practicing on the first floor of Woma Temple. The most advanced one is already in his 20s. The lowest level is 17. Although Qianyao Prodigal's equipment was better than theirs. They had so many people that he didn't believe they couldn't kill that bastard. Whoever kills the prodigal son of Tianya will be rewarded with 10,000 Chinese coins. Find him! The sound of the princess gnashing her teeth rang out. And the brothers around her suddenly became excited as if they had been beaten to death. They scattered and looked for Tianya on the first floor. The prodigal son comes. Princess! I found the prodigal son of Tianya. He is here. He saw me and flew away again. Prince, I just saw him. He flew away. Keep looking. See how random he is. And clear him out like Guan Hai. Ah, I saw it. He ran away again. Okay. Chase him hard. Cut him until he can't stand in the Woma Temple. Princess Kuangjiao shouted excitedly. After a while, the voices came one after another. It's not in the upper right corner of the map. It's not in the upper left corner of the map. Nothing in between. Nothing in the lower right corner. The members of the Kwangtu family revealed their locations one by one, which made Princess Kwangtu feel relieved, laughing loudly. Humph. You have offended this lady. And you still want to gain a foothold here? Dream on. He muttered in his mouth and chopped a Woma warrior to death with his hands. A black crystal ring burst out with a jingle. The princess took a step forward excitedly and giggled. The explosion rate here is so high. In less than two hours, we have already produced three pieces of equipment that are over level 20. Chapter 67 Level 21 Silver Snake Second floor of Woma Temple Jean Hong was flying randomly looking for Woma to protect him. He just didn't notice at all that the Kuatu family members were chasing him. Every time after he made a random move, when he saw that he was still far away from the intersection on the second floor, he immediately flew away. Sometimes, the figures of members of the Kuang Yin family flashed in the corner of his eyes but he didn't pay attention. The map is so big. You can always meet him. And the next moment, he will be flying. As for whether others were chasing him, he had no idea at all. While Princess Kwangjiao and others were celebrating for clearing him out, he had already found the Woma guards on the second floor of Woma. It took the familiar man more than a minute to defeat the Woma guards. This time, no brand name equipment was exposed. The best thing is a copy of the Enchantment Curse as well as a demon slaying ring and a skull ring worn at level 25. Demon subduing and demon killing ring, attack January 2nd. Magic 1 half. Taoism 1 half. Magic defense 0 out of 4. Durability 5 fifths. Weight 1. Requires level 25. This is the basic attribute of this ring. It is also the highest level ring among the common equipment that Chen Tian has revealed so far. Even after killing so many Woma guards and Woma leaders, none of them exploded which shows that the explosion rate is very low. Three attribute equipment.
plus magic defense, is the most beloved equipment of this level of Taoist priests. The price is hefty. Skull ring, attack power 0 slash 3, weight 1, durability 5 fifths, requires 30 attack points. This is also a good piece of equipment. It is a top-notch piece of equipment among warriors brand name equipment. And it is also the first time for Qin Hung to reveal it. Coupled with other equipment. This Woma guard is pretty good. After packing up the things, everything flew around. Qin Hung arrived at the entrance to the third floor, where there were even more monsters. When he arrived here, Qin Hung first cleared a trail and reached the steps of Xia San. Then he raised his hand to summon a small skeleton, which immediately attracted all the monsters in the distance. Now that the player's levels are getting higher and higher, Qin Hung is really afraid that they will form an army and attack the third floor of Woma. After summoning several times in succession, the monsters immediately surrounded the entrance. A dense mass of monsters. Hey hey! Qin Hung then chuckled and entered the third floor. The monsters at the entrance to the third floor were also piled up. After he cleared a path for him to pass, he looked at the monsters around him, rolled his eyes, and after gesturing the distance, cleared out a place not too far from the entrance. A space. Of course, he didn't do this to clean up monsters for players. Because he wants to be even more awesome. After the space was cleared, he began to lure the dark warriors scattered in the hall. It took some time to lure them all to the open space. In this area, the dark warriors attacking from a distance can just see the entrance. But the players at the entrance cannot see them. Chin Hung almost laughed out loud as he imagined the scene of the dark warriors firing volleys. Get a bunch of dark warriors to block the entrance. Anyway, it's easy for him to come in by himself, and he's not afraid. Player levels are getting higher and higher, so we have to guard against them. After doing all this, Chin Hung quickly found the Woma guards. The leader of Woma hasn't been cleared yet, so he can only find the Woma guards first. He quickly found two Woma and repeated his old trick, destroying them respectively. This time the two Woma guards exploded very powerfully, each producing a piece of Woma brand name equipment. Silver Snake, Attack July 14th. Taoism 1 of 3. Accuracy plus 1. Weight 26. Durability 24-24. Requires level 26. This is a Talus Priest's brand name Woma equipment. Unfortunately, the level requirements are too high, and Jean Hung cannot get it for the time being. Life Necklace. Magic 1 5th. Accuracy plus 1. Durability 6 6. Weight 1. Requires 25 points of mana. This piece is the Master's Woma brand necklace, which is also valuable. In addition to these two pieces of brand name equipment, the two Woma guards also gave three skill books, Magic Shield, Fire Wall, and Ghost Shield. They are all valuable goods. There is still more than an hour to refresh the leader of Woma. Qin Hung has no intention of leaving and will wait here to spawn monsters. This time, he came to the place where he had cleared the monsters last time. He had fought here once and the monsters were not so dense. After clearing a small area, Qin Hung finally replaced the invisibility ring. You can't wear this thing all the time. It will wear out its staying power. He has now learned the art of invisibility. And has already mastered the Taoist's top skill of becoming invisible step by step. Using invisibility. He can easily pull out a Woma monster from the pile of monsters. When you are far away from other monsters. Start to let go of the skeleton baby. One person and one baby will pull the monster to fly the kite. And you will soon kill the opponent. I looked at the character panel. The prodigal son of the end of the world. Level 20. Experience, 40,000 slash 140000. These 40,000 experience points were basically given by defeating the Corpse King in the Corpse King Hall. A Corpse King gives 800 experience. But there are more than 40 Corpse Kings there. Killing them all will give you a lot of experience. There is still 100,000 experience left. And you only need to kill more than 370 monsters here to almost level up. And his speed of killing monsters was much faster than before. He has now removed the invisibility ring and replaced it with a Talus 0 slash 3 pearl ring. In addition, the bracelet was replaced with a 0 slash 2 Talus priest bracelet, and his total Talus skills reached an astonishing stage. Weapon, Talus 1 3rd half moon. Necklace, 1 3rd phoenix pearl. Bracelet, a Talus 0 slash 2 steel bracelet, a 0 out of 2 Talus bracelet. Close, during leveling. In order to pursue high damage, he wore 0 2 Talus cloth. Anyway, the monster basically died before it even touched him. So it was safe. Ring, Talus 0 slash 3 Pearl. 0 of 4 Platinum. My own 5 out of 5 Taoism. 
This adds up to a staggering 720 force points in his total talisman skills. The basic power of a first level soul fire talisman is around 15 points. In this way, the damage of his soul fire talisman fluctuates between 2239 points. Coupled with the increase in poison casting skills, it becomes even more awesome. Speaking of poisoning, he had already reached level 1 of poisoning without knowing it. The level 1 poisoning spell Red Poison reduces the opponent's defense by 10%, which means that his damage is increased by 10%. The Green Poison deducts 2 drops of blood every second. So converted, with the increase in poisoning, the power of his Soul Fire Talisman fluctuates between 28 40 fifths. Every time the ant's towel is rubbed on the Woma monster, it can absorb about 37 drops of its blood. In addition, each monster of the little skeleton can be slashed at least 3 times and about 20 drops of blood have been removed here. Taken together, Chin Hang's attacks, and the small skeleton reached a terrifying 57 drops of blood. How many drops of blood does a Woma monster have? The Woma warriors are 265. The Woma warriors and war generals are 285. The flame Woma are 340. And the dung worms and dark warriors are only about 200. Altogether, he killed the most Woma warriors. And Woma warriors, and generals only needed 5 attacks to kill them. But in fact, sometimes there is a deviation. Because sometimes the hit is missed, and the monster dodges it. No matter what. The speed when fighting monsters has increased a lot. Which increases his safety factor. At least the monster almost died without touching him. However, the time is actually not much faster. Because he is not wearing an invisibility ring now. It is not so convenient, and quick to use invisibility to attract monsters. He needs to run and become invisible. Otherwise, he will attract a lot of monsters and become impossible to fight. In short, he basically kills a monster within 15 seconds. If it's quick, it can be done in 10 seconds. But where the monsters are concentrated, it will take 15 seconds. Use the poison spell to hook up. Trot two steps. Become invisible. Use the soul fire talisman to continue hooking up. Trot two steps. Become invisible. The hook comes over. The little skeleton chops and he uses the ant's towel to cover his face. When leveling up, time flies by very quickly, and seven or eight minutes pass in the blink of an eye. A melodious mechanical voice sounded. Ding dong! Do you want to sign in? Huh? It's past twelve o'clock? So fast. Sign in! The sign in was successful. Congratulations on getting fifty thousand gold coins, a bundle of scrolls to return to the city, and a copy of Group Invisibility. Dot! Not bad. They also give away gold coins and skill books. It would be good to sell this book. With a sigh, Chin Hung continued to kill monsters. More than an hour passed in the blink of an eye. A white light rose. Chin Hung upgraded. Level 21. Chapter 68 A Clever Plan to Enter the Corpse King's Palace In the main hall on the third floor of Woma Temple. After more than an hour of killing monsters, Chin Hung finally upgraded. The Prodigal Son of the End of the World Level 21. Experience 66 slash 250000. The experience value for promotion to level 21 is only 140,000. But the experience value for promotion to level 22 has more than doubled. This is the horror of the game legend. The higher the level, the harder it is to level up. And level 22 is definitely a hurdle for novice players. As long as you are promoted to level 22, you can wear professional attire. You are officially out of the novice stage and can learn various powerful skills. After looking at the experience again and calculating silently, Chin Hung came up with a painful result with a wry smile. He needs to kill about 930 Woma monsters to level up. Convert it into time. It takes nearly 4 hours of non-stop cutting. However, it is still good to level up here. After more than an hour of leveling, Chin Hung obtained a total of 5 pieces of common equipment of over 20 levels. This is the leader's hall. And the explosion rate is pretty good when playing games in the previous life. If you played on the first or second floor, the explosion rate was very low. At level 21, Chin Hung can now learn a new skill from a Taoist priest. Group Invisibility This is a large-scale invisibility skill that can make teammates and babies in the same group invisible at the same time. Chin Hung looked at the Group Invisibility Technique in the package and was speechless. He wondered if the system saw that he didn't bring out the skill book he learned at level 21. So it specially rewarded him with one thanking the system master in his heart. Chin Hung happily finished learning the Group Invisibility Technique Collective Invisibility Level 0 Proficiency 0-4000 Note, 
a more powerful invisibility technique can hide all players within a 3 by 3 range. It is a very useful protection measure during collective combat. After learning the collective invisibility technique, Chin Hung felt safer when killing monsters. When the little skeleton is standing with the Woma monster, he can use the collective invisibility spell to make the little skeleton and himself invisible at the same time. As long as it doesn't move, it's fine. After killing monsters for more than 10 minutes, Chin Hung began to touch the place where the leader of Woma was refreshed. And it was almost refreshed. In order to better kill the Woma leader, he always beat monsters in circles against the walls around the hall. Because it takes a lot of monsters to kill the leader. It is easier to kill him by helping him block the attack of leader Woma. Otherwise, he is only level 21. And it would be very tiring to fight the leader of Woma while running. If one of them is not good, if the leader of Woma teleports up close and attacks madly, he will have to lie down. Therefore, Chin Hung will not touch the monsters in the middle of the hall and at the entrance. Just hitting him against the wall of the hall would kill him endlessly. Soon, Chin Hung found the leader of Woma in the center of the hall. The old trick was repeated. And this time it took less than five minutes to defeat the leader of Woma. With the sound of a bell, a lot of equipment, potions, etc. exploded on the ground. After Chin Hung worked hard to clean up the situation, the Woma leader exploded very powerfully this time. A Woma horn, a copy of Magic Shield, a handful of Purgatory, a Dragon Ring. Not bad. The current leader is really good. It is estimated that if we fight for a while, it will become a parallel import. However, Chin Hung still felt a little regretful. According to the explosion rate in the previous life, the leader of Woma can explode several special rings, such as Memory Ring, Teleportation Ring, Invisibility Ring, Flame Ring, etc. Therefore, every time before the Woma leader explodes, he is looking forward to it. But unfortunately, it is too difficult to explode. Think about it. In the previous legendary game, there were only a few teleportation rings and memory rings on a single server before he traveled through time because many old players had escaped from the trap. He was the only one left in the entire server with the teleportation ring with his time travel. It is now out of print. In short, special rings are really difficult to get and everything depends on character. Apart from these four goodies, other equipment is ordinary. The best ones are not so easy to come by. After beating the Woma leader, Chin Hang's parcel became full again. Three Woma guards and one Woma leader revealed something. Can you be dissatisfied? In order to pick up everything that the leader of Woma revealed, Chin Hung only left a city return scroll in his package. Even the unused amulets, medicinal powders, powerful solar water, etc. were all drunk and thrown away by him. Call out. Chin Hung returned to Beach City and came to the warehouse. I quickly stored everything and checked the durability of the equipment. It was okay. The weapons and clothes could last for a while. I looked at the time. It was half past one in the morning. The corpse king in the corpse king's palace should be refreshed. Quickly buying potions. Randoms. Amulets. Etc. Chin hung randomly went all the way and came to the eastern mining area of Beaky Abandoned Mine Area again. What makes Chin hung speechless is that there are many people mining here. Compared with a dozen people digging here a few hours ago. Now it is crowded with people. It is estimated that there are more and more level 11 players. And the mining army is constantly expanding. Everyone came here to dig. As soon as he arrived, many people stared at him and whispered to him. And many even ran over to greet him warmly. Brother prodigal son, come and mine too. Brother, master, please take care of my little sister. I'm in China. Brother prodigal, your equipment is so perverted. My poor girl is already level 14 and she still doesn't have any equipment above level 10. Do you have any junk equipment? Give me some junk you don't need. Chin Hung looked at the surging and enthusiastic crowd around him speechlessly. This is really hard to do. There are so many people. When the Corpse King's palace opens later, wouldn't he be exposed immediately if he goes in? He did know that there were still a few coordinate points that could be entered. But those coordinate points, including the Viper Valley, were probably overcrowded. There are too many people mining now, and no matter where you go, there are always people. Players are mining while waiting for zombies to spawn. It seemed that he was going to be a bad person. He clasped his fists and said, Ha ha, I don't have any extra equipment. I just bought it with money. Everyone, please squeeze in. I am also poor and have no money to buy medicine. After saying that, he squeezed in with the others next to the refresh coordinate point and began to take out the pickaxe and start digging. In order to show how poor he was, 
when someone threw garbage into the mine. He would happily go up and pick it up without even pulling it. In this way, everyone no longer looked at him strangely. Those who want money and equipment are too embarrassed to ask. Haven't you seen that others are so poor that they are picking up rubbish? If you ask for it again, you will become annoying. During mining, whenever a zombie spawned nearby, Qin Hung would shoot it with a soul fire talisman from a distance. Coupled with the ferocious attacks of the little skeleton, a zombie can be killed in just a few hits. He was so frightened that no one else dared to fight with him to grab the surrounding monsters. Even when zombies spawned from behind, they didn't even take a look. This is also the effect Qin Hung wants. After more than 10 minutes, the bald monk in yellow robe finally emerged from the ground with a rumble. Qin Hung called out again. Only a few people took a glance and stopped paying attention and continued mining. After being beaten to death, Qin Hung stood next to the entrance of the cave and looked around to see that no one was paying attention to him. He quickly put on the invisibility ring, stepped on the pit, and disappeared in a flash. As soon as he disappeared, a group of people appeared angrily in the distance of the passage. It was members of the Kwangtong family. Chapter 69 Cleaning Up the Warehouse East of the abandoned mining area of Beach City, at the entrance to the Corpse King's Hall. Where's the man? Damn! Still want to mine here? Hack him to death. Let him not dig or... Ha ha! Kill him! A group of six or seven players with the Kwangtu family name, led by Kwangtu's eldest cousin, rushed over aggressively. The surrounding players, who were mining suddenly scattered in fear. Someone accidentally stepped on the entrance of the lower corpse king's palace and disappeared in the blink of an eye. But it was so noisy at this time that no one paid attention. Even if they saw it, they would think they were frightened and teleported away. How would you have thought it was related to the corpse king palace? Where's the man? Why is he missing? Fatty, didn't you say he was mining here? He pulled his eldest cousin around and looked around, but didn't see Chin Hung. He asked a player who was approaching with a pickaxe. This is a Taoist player. He pointed with the pickaxe at the place where Chin Hung was just now. Well, he has been mining just now and picking up garbage or is thrown by others. He probably picked up enough. Let's go. He may still pick up some. Come again. Okay, then let's wait for him here. Huh? The lady has spoken. And I will kill him when I see him. I still want to mine and level up. But there is no way. Huangzhou's eldest cousin didn't say anything. And the next moment, he had disappeared from everyone's eyes. Call out! The eldest cousin appeared in the palace of the corpse king. Corpse king palace? The eldest cousin looked surprised. But when he saw the corpse king on the screen and was thinking about what to do, the next moment, he had been teleported out. A whistling sound came from a passage in the southern part of the abandoned mining area. Cousin, where are you? Why did you fly? Someone chatted with him privately. I, I entered the Corpse King's palace out of nowhere. There are many Corpse Kings inside, but there is no one there. Ah, cousin, aren't you rich? Let's fight. Hit your sister. I don't know why I was teleported out again. And now I'm in the south of the abandoned mining area. Quantu's eldest cousin felt annoyed. After finally entering the legendary palace of the Corpse King, why did it end before it even started? It's so irritating. Ha ha. This is a normal phenomenon. Someone posted a message online. And it was sent out as soon as I entered it. Damn it. I'm really unlucky. I'm already level 18. And I still want to get a copy of. Soul Fire Talisman. He dragged his eldest cousin to the east of the abandoned mining area. Cursing. And prepared to continue to guard Chin Hung. Ha ha. Stop bragging. There are so many corpse kings. Can you beat them? Roll. In the palace of the corpse king. Ah. Uh, as soon as Chin Hung entered the Corpse King's Hall, he saw Corpse Kings everywhere. There were not many at the entrance. Chin Hung rolled his eyes and immediately took off his invisibility ring. The zombie kings around him immediately rushed over. We're invisibility again. Call out! At random, Chin Hung was teleported to a corner diagonally opposite the Corpse King's palace. The corner of the entrance was no longer visible. He didn't move and waited quietly. The cave that opens the Corpse King's Palace usually disappears within three minutes. He wanted to see if anyone else would come in during these few minutes of opening time. After all, there are too many people nearby. If someone accidentally steps on the entrance hole, they will definitely be able to get in. When the time comes, I will come in and see that he is fighting monsters at the entrance. So he must be exposed. As long as this person speaks and others think, they can guess that he has mastered the method of entry. If you think about it carefully, 
The secret that most likely came from the entrance of the cave will be exposed. Now he led all the monsters to the entrance and ran away again randomly. When others come in, they cannot see him. You will think that you came in by mistake. He was just trying to defend himself. But he didn't expect that after he waited for a few seconds. Someone actually teleported in with a hiss. A scream rang out. And then with a hiss, the man was teleported away by the Corpse King Palace again. Sure enough, someone stepped in. Wait a few more minutes. Wait until the hole is refreshed before playing again. Also, when he beat the Corpse King later, he had thought about it and must lure the Corpse King to a place where he could not see the entrance and beat him. After all, if a person comes in occasionally, he will be teleported away immediately. But if he sees that he is fighting, it is not good to teleport him out. Who made him so famous now? It's really annoying. After more than 10 seconds, there was a soft sound. And sure enough, someone came in again. After hearing that the other party teleported away, Chin Hung still waited quietly. It wasn't until 5 minutes later that he came out of the corner. Use the poisoning technique to lure a corpse king to come and kill him. There are not more than 40 heads refreshed in the corpse king palace this time. Only about 20 heads in total. It took Chin Hung more than 20 minutes to finish them all. Three heads exploded. Six skilled books including Half Moon Scimitar, Hell's Thunder, and Ghost Shield were released. In terms of equipment, there are equipment ranging from more than 10 to more than 20 levels. After throwing away random and ordinary potions, etc., and picking up a package full of things, Chin Hung returned to the city. After storing things, it was already half past two. The Woma Guard should be refreshed. After buying random potions, etc., Chin Hung entered the Woma Temple again. This time, I didn't meet anyone from the Quantu family and went directly to the second floor. The second floor was still a restricted area for players. Chin Hung quickly found the Woma guards and killed them. Time passed by for more than half an hour. And Chin Hung successively killed two Woma guards and Woma leader. This round, only the leader of Woma exploded a ruby ring. And Chin Hung didn't care. These things all have a chance. How can every boss drop brand name equipment? After beating the leader, Chin Hung did not continue beating him because the package was full. It's already past 3 o'clock. It's time to go back and clean up and sell things. We also have to buy a lot of gold or and so on. Time is tight. After returning to Biki City and storing his things, Chin Hung immediately contacted the gold metal merchant and others. Wow, big brother. Your equipment is getting more and more abnormal. How many goods do you have this time? I'm afraid you won't be able to swallow it. Hee <laughs> hee. That's not necessarily the case. Now we have received a lot of funds. Chin Hung didn't waste any time and started putting in equipment ranging from level 10 to level 20. These were all revealed by the Corpse King. Most of the equipment exploded by the Corpse King are between level 15 and level 22. There are two packages of these equipment ranging from level 10 to level 20. The average value of one piece is around 130,000. Each package is worth about 6 million. Chin Hung exchanged two packages of ordinary equipment for 5 million gold coins. 54 skill books and more than 200 packages of medicine powder. Among them, there are three skill books above level 28 each worth 250,000. Summon the Divine Beast, Hell's Thunder, Magic Shield. There are 20 skill books for levels 19 to 26, priced at 200,000 each. There are 6 skill books out of 150,000 for levels 17 to 18. There are 10 copies of level 14, Poisoning Technique, each costing 70,000. Chin Hung confiscated some of the remaining mage skill books, such as Resist the Ring of Fire and Hellfire. He only collected six copies of Light of Temptation for 60,000. After finishing the transaction with the gold metal merchant, Chin Hung continued to trade with other merchants. Chapter 70 Mission Kill 150 Cows Beach Town Chin Hung quickly completed the transaction with Legend Trading Company, Honest Merchants, and other merchants. He exchanged those ordinary level 20 equipment for 12 million gold coins, 100 skill books, and more than 500 packets of medicine powder. At this point, most of the ordinary equipment in his warehouse has been traded away, leaving only some brand name equipment, top quality equipment, and more expensive ordinary equipment. The more expensive common equipment includes three for swords, a pair of skull rings, and a pair of demon subduing rings. It's not that Chin Hung doesn't want to sell these ordinary equipment and top quality equipment, but that the merchants have no money. Besides, since the players haven't reached a certain level yet, 
they naturally have to hold on to their skills first. It will be more expensive then. After the transaction was completed, Chin Hung checked that it was still early and went to the store. But this time I visited the stores in Beach City. But I only bought two small items. This made Chin Hung quite speechless. Could it be that the news about the best products in the store has been exposed? After looking at the countless bustling players in the store, he was not sure who was searching for the best. But someone must be doing it. Otherwise, it would be impossible to get only two small items in one night. It seems that this way of making money is almost gone. It would be really difficult if someone stayed in the store and refreshed it repeatedly. It's not like he can stay in the store all the time. He has to go level up. Maybe it's also related to the post of legendary account, which details the idea that equipment has top-notch attributes. Anyone who has read this post will do so. It is estimated that when I buy equipment, I will first check the equipment attributes. Forget it. A small top quality product only costs two to three hundred thousand. And you can earn several million by going to Walmart's third floor and fighting monsters for a round. After figuring it out, Chin Hung stopped caring about it. Quickly come to the door of the weapon store. There are more people here than before. It's so crowded that many players can't even squeeze in. Walking like a turtle crawling. Chin Hung himself was not affected and could squeeze through wherever there was a place to stay. Quickly squeezing to the weapon shop NPC at the door. Chin Hung began to sweep up gold mines with quality above 15. Each piece cost more than 30,000 yuan. So he bought it all at once. He bought more than 50 yuan and spent 2 million. As for the black iron ore, now that he has money in his hands, he won't even let go of those with quality above 10. This is a must-have material for upgrading weapons. Now that the zone has just opened, players will not upgrade their weapons yet. In the future, this kind of store only sells black iron or that only costs about 1,500 gold coins but can be sold for more than 50,000 gold coins. After thinking about it, it was much more cost-effective than stocking up on chicken nuggets. It's such a tiring job, but you can't make much money. As a result, this purchase was a big deal. After all, this was his first time buying black iron or with a quality of 10 or above. The ones he bought before were all with a quality of 15 or above. Therefore, the number is quite a lot. Chin Hung went back and forth more than 20 times and bought more than a thousand yuan, including good quality. The average price is around two thousand per piece. This only costs two million. In the future, the cheapest ones can be sold for more than fifty thousand gold coins, something that can be doubled twenty-five times. High quality ones are more expensive, and a quality fifteen piece costs more than three hundred thousand gold coins. After buying the ore, Chin Hung visited the drugstore and butcher's shop and bought ten bottles of deer blood and two hundred pieces of quality twenty venison. 50 bottles of deer blood. Chin Hung has given up on those chickens, and those with quality below 20. Too tired. Buying a package of chicken nuggets. Selling them for 5 times the price. And only earning 50,000 gold coins from selling one package is a pain in the ass. Quality 20 venison is extremely rare. But you can still stock up. At this point, Chin Hung still has a huge sum of 20 million yuan in his hand. There was still a lot of time. Chin Hung bought a bunch of random scrolls, and started flying towards the Viper Valley. Call out. By chance, he landed at the gate of the border village. Looking at the players, who were still pouring out crazily, Chin Hung completely gave up the idea of going in to look for deer blood. Flying randomly, he soon arrived at the small village of Viper Valley. With his unique internet speed, Chin Hung quickly swept through the black iron, or with quality above 10, and the gold mine with quality above 15 in the Viper Valley. Once again, a thousand pieces of black iron or in more than 50 pieces of gold or were purchased. At this point, he still has more than 17 million gold coins in his hand. After buying the ore, Chin Hung also found some small pieces of top-notch equipment in the clothing store and weapons store. Could it be that those who raided stores for high-quality equipment only raided BB City? At this time, it was already past four in the morning. But Chin Hung still decided to go to Mengzhongtu City to have a look. In less than a minute, he randomly arrived at Tuching. Here, most of the players are wearing light armor. There are some medium armor, but not too many. The main reason is that medium-sized armor stores cannot sell them. And the current price of a medium-sized armor is about 200,000 gold coins. How can ordinary players have so many gold coins? Only those rich players are willing to spend Chinese coins to buy directly. Chin Hung took a quick tour of the store. Not to mention, he actually picked up more than 10 small items here. After walking out of the store, he was about to go shopping in Shabak again, but stopped again. Selling the Taoist Priest's level 25 skill book. 
Holy armor. For 250,000. No counter offer. A single player was selling skill books. Chin Hung thought about it and bought it. This thing can be sold for at least millions when the player gets up. So of course he won't miss it. I stayed in the safe area for a while. And sure enough, there were several players selling these skill books around level 25. For example, Assassination Sword Art, Burst Flame, Fire Wall, Flashlight Movie, and so on. But the asking prices are all 250,000 gold coins, and the merchant sells them at this price. It is estimated that these people do not want to be sold at a low price by merchants. So they choose to sell it themselves. But where are there such advanced players now? It's hard to sell even after shouting for a long time. Brother, do you want to sell it for 220,000 yuan? Chin Hung began to bargain. Slightly higher than the merchant's price. If you don't sell it, at least 250,000. Chin Hung smiled and said, Brother, except for me and those businessmen, no one will buy it. If you sell it quickly, you can use the money to make a few more copies. Don't waste time. After some haggling, Chin Hung finally bought six more skilled books for 220,000. He flew to Shabak City again and after walking around. Not to mention, he actually found a few pieces of top-notch equipment here. After storing good things in Shabak Warehouse, Chin Hung quit the game. Opening his eyes, Chin Hung looked at the clock on the bedside. It was already past 4.30 in the morning. There was no time to improve his cultivation. So Chin Hung quickly washed up and came to the kitchen. Kitchen backyard. Today we will supply 1,000 young hornbills. And the task of the two of us is to kill 150. Nyoir said with a smile. 150 heads? Chin Hang's face showed a bitter look. But his heart was filled with joy. The more cattle he kills, the more experience he gets. Of course he is happy to do so. Nyo Air sighed inwardly when he saw Chin Hung going to fetch the cows with a depressed look on his face. How on earth did this pretty boy offend manager Xiao? On the third day, he asked to kill 150 young hornbills. He is still an ordinary kid. Skipping chapter 71 does not affect viewing. Chapter 72 The Essence of Feng Yu Sect Feng Yu Building In the kitchen backyard In order to kill the little horn cow before 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Chin Hung had to increase his speed again. This made Nyo Air stunned for a while. The pretty boy was killing the cow faster and faster. The whole process of cutting. Peeling and cutting becomes smooth and smooth. It's almost catching up with the speed of a one-star warrior. Which is really terrifying. You must know that the skin and muscles of the young hornbill are very strong. Which is difficult for ordinary people to cut. It takes a lot of effort. But this guy looked like he was sweating profusely. But his men didn't stop. Carefully check the pieces of meat that the other party cuts. Every knife cuts along the grain. No wonder it can be cut easily. This was the first time he had seen an ordinary person do this. After all, it's difficult to be precise and ruthless while enduring pain. During the killing of the cow, Nyo Air would also chat with Chin Hung. It was nothing more than asking him about his life in the village. There was nothing he couldn't say. And Chin Hung answered them all. When this topic came up, Chin Hung sighed. Well, I don't know which adult led the team to the village last time. I want to ask if they buried the bodies of my parents. Nyo Air was silent for a moment and said slowly. It seems to be Dr. Yuan's team. I heard them say this. Everyone in the village was dead at that time. And only you were saved. They dug a big pit for those corpses and buried them all together. Dr. Yuan? When Chin Hung heard the name, his expression changed. His hand shook. And he almost lost his grip on the knife. Ha ha. What? Are you afraid of Dr. Yuan? Nyo Air showed a smile in his eyes. Dr. Yuan? Not to mention ordinary handymen like Chin Hung. Even martial arts disciples like them would be scared. He was once fortunate enough to be summoned by Dr. Yuan to test the efficacy of a new elixir. After eating it, I had diarrhea for 10 days and 10 nights. From then on, whenever he heard Dr. Yuan's name, he would have nightmares at night. All the Fenji Yula disciples who had been summoned by Dr. Yuan. As soon as they heard that Dr. Yuan had a new experiment, all those who could run out to do the task ran away. There is no one who is not afraid of her. I'm afraid of her? How is that possible? Chin Hung used his knife to pull the little horned cow to the end and changed the subject. Why did you kill so many cows today? Can you finish them all? Nyo Air looked around and saw that no one had noticed. He lowered his head and chuckled. Ha ha. It is said that Mr. Lu Yu received a distinguished guest last night. Today I need to supply more cattle to rush over. Distinguished guest? Nyo Chong? Depend on. This young man's work was really tiring. 
but fortunately, he didn't agree. Qin Hong secretly felt happy after hearing this. On the surface, he asked curiously, How many young masters do we have in Feng Yu Tower? Not many. Three. What? Only three? Qin Hong asked in surprise. There are only three young masters in such a big Feng Yu Tower. Doesn't this mean they don't have to rest 24 hours a day? Yo Air smiled. Ha ha. What do you think the young master is? He is the most powerful, handsome, and awesome disciple of our Feng Yu Tower. Proficient in conversation and behavior. Music, chess, calligraphy and painting, astronomy and geography. 18 kinds of martial arts. Everything. Well, well, how can the young master keep busy with so many female guests? Qin Hong still asked this sensitive question. Ha ha. How noble is the young master? Do ordinary female guests need to be received by the young master in person? The only people who can be received by the young master are princes, nobles, rich ladies, and ladies from wealthy families. Nyo Air laughed. As for ordinary female guests, it's enough. Xiao Tong? Xin Hung heard another new term. And after secretly guessing it, he couldn't help but ask. Brother Nyo, do you think that will happen between Xiao Tong and those female guests? Ha ha. What do you think our place is? A brothel? Isn't it? Nyo Air shook his head. Of course not. I, Feng Yu Lu, advocate the Feng Yu business and do elegant things. How could I do such vulgar things? No way. I heard you say last time that there were guests staying overnight. Qin Hung was confused. Of course we can stay overnight. But our young ladies generally won't accompany them. Qin Hung caught a word. General. That being said, there are still special circumstances. Next. After Qin Hung asked Mio Air carefully, he finally understood what kind of existence Feng Yu Tower was. Feng Yu Tower is a branch of Feng Yu sect. Fenji Women is an entertainment company similar to its previous life. Mainly engaged in singing, dancing, piano, chess, calligraphy and painting performances. It's just a place where the upper class is fun. This is Fenji Women's first business. Because Feng Yu business is doing so well. It attracts elite talents from all walks of life to join. Ling Feng Yu sect gradually developed into a diversified sect. Engaged in alchemy, trading, weapon refining, escorting, etc. In today's world, entertainment is very monotonous. It's nothing more than singing and dancing, music, chess, calligraphy and painting, poetry and so on. Feng Yu sect specializes in top-level entertainment. And the young men, young ladies, and young men they have trained are all top-notch in the industry. This also attracted the pursuit of countless princes, nobles, and heroes, especially the ladies and gentlemen from Feng Yu sect. They are really knowledgeable, naturally beautiful, and drop-dead handsome, and they know how to do everything. The trendiest clothes and coolest hairstyles every year are all designed by Fenji women. In short, in the words of the previous life, this is a top trendy entertainment company. So, wouldn't such a popular Feng Yu sect be jealous of peers or others? Of course. However, the master of Feng Yu sect is an 8-star grandmaster. In addition, over the years, there have been quite a few sects and sects that have married into Feng Yu sect. Who dares to touch them? It is said that there are many top-notch young ladies from Feng Yu sect who ended up living among the princes and nobles. It can be said that Feng Yu sect is a behemoth with an extremely complex network of relationships. How can ordinary people dare to touch it easily? After understanding the power of Feng Yu sect, Qin Hong felt completely at ease. It's great to enjoy the shade under the big tree. As long as the Feng Yu sect doesn't fall. He can live in peace and practice while playing games. Qin Hong spent the day chatting quickly with Nyo Air and the disciples who were killing pigs and cattle. Qin Hong spoke humorously. And the disciples next to him were also happy to chat with him. In fact, most of the conversation was with other people. With Qin Hong occasionally interjecting. In addition to learning about the nature of Feng Yu sect. Qin Hung also heard many interesting things from the talkative Nyo Air. For example, the poster Ming Yu likes to eat Nyo Chong. Manager Xiao is henpecked. Dr. Yuan is obsessed with studying elixirs. Mr. Lu Yun has a bit of obsessive compulsive disorder. So and so is a natural eunuch. And so and so is a three second shooter. In short, in the entire Feng Yu Tower, it seems that Nyo Air can pull out some gossip news. This made Qin Hung very speechless. That such a person can survive to this day is enough to prove that the atmosphere of Feng Yu Tower is very harmonious. Otherwise, he would have been defeated long ago. In addition to Nyo Air Bagua, those who kill pigs and cows nearby are also a bunch of talkative people. At the end of the day, 
Jean Hung could hear them talking about who and who didn't like what. And what so and so liked. These things are all new to Jean Hung. He tried to remember every gossip he heard. Maybe he could use it one day. In this kind of environment, life will not be monotonous. In the blink of an eye, the day passed. Chapter 73 went over Guan Hai. After finishing work, Jean Hung declined Neo Air's invitation to take him out and return to his residence. It's already half past five in the afternoon. After closing the doors and windows, sitting on the bed, Jean Hung checked the character panel. Jean Hung, host, martial arts two stars, zero slash four zero 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 zero. Remaining experience value, 280,000. Gold coins, 1688888 seal. The experience for promotion to two stars was still not enough. Jean Hung was silent for a moment and chose to promote. Brush. His experience suddenly dropped by 280,000 points. The legendary door in my mind opened again. And countless energies poured down. More than 20 minutes later, after the initiation, he opened his eyes and felt his body change. And his strength increased a lot. After looking at the character panel, it turned out that things had changed. Jean Hung, host. Martial Arts 2 Stars. 280000 slash 400000. Remaining experience value, zero. Gold coins, 1688888 seal. Sure enough, this improvement does not necessarily require raising 400,000 yuan. As long as you have experience, you can improve your strength at any time. But you can't break through the realm if you don't have the breakthrough value. Opening the map, the area has expanded again. And there are several more courtyards that can be seen. After looking at the map carefully, there is still nothing else except the two green dots next to each other in the nearest place. Looking at these two green dots, Jean Hung was a little curious as to who was here at this time every day. Unable to suppress his curiosity, he turned on the invisibility ring function with a swipe. He became completely invisible and walked out of the bedroom. Soon, he came to the courtyard and just walked outside the courtyard wall. I heard an extremely depressing and strange sound coming from inside. But with his two-star strength, he could still hear clearly. Jean Hung had a strange look on his face, touched his chin, and finally walked in curiously. Unfortunately, the doors and windows in the house were closed tightly. Jean Hung, who originally wanted to learn some skills, had to shake his head with regret and return to his residence. I wonder what the differences are between ancient people and modern people. After a moment of silence and a sigh, Jean Hung finally entered the game. No wonder Jean Hung was curious. It was because he was a bachelor in his previous life. Although his parents left him a large inheritance. He was a homebody. He stays at home and plays games with his brothers every day. How is it possible to find a girl in this situation? Relatives from far away once offered to introduce him to marriage. But he declined them all. If you lose your freedom after getting married, how can you play games every day? However, he definitely wanted to continue the family lineage. He just wanted to play for a few more years. Who knew that I could travel directly through time? Brush. Chin Hung appeared in the warehouse of Sabak City. After walking out of the warehouse and looking at the deserted Shabak City, Chin Hang's eyes moved and he walked towards the clothing store. In the corner of the clothing store, after rubbing his body, he flashed and entered the secret passage. Uh, uh. As soon as I walked in, the screen was filled with densely packed zombies. It seems that no one has been discovered here yet. I wonder if those players who are worried about monsters will be mad if they know that there is a leveling map that no one has played. It's a pity that such a good place is left untouched. He can level up on the third floor of Woma for a long time. So he won't come here to fight. It will take a long time for people from other guilds to go in and level up later. By that time, he would have already risen in level. And he would not come here to level up anymore. After thinking silently for a while, Jean Hung decided to tell Guan Hai the secret. This guy looks pretty good. And he's a mage. When Guan Hai's level reaches a high level, you can ask him to take you to Roast Pig to level up. This is much faster than doing it alone. Also, since I have offended the Quantu family, it must be much better to have multiple loyal friends. If there's a fight, someone can be brought over to help. Speaking of fighting, Jean Hung thought of naming families in need. Should I tell him the secret too? After pondering for a while, Jean Hung gave up the idea. There is no shortage of money to name a poor family. And there is also a group of brothers. So there are probably plenty of places for leveling up. Besides, this place is not very big. So if there are too many people, it won't be effective. Brother prodigal son, where are you? Do you want to go leveling together? 
There are many monsters in Death Valley, but they are a bit difficult to kill. Our team should be able to play very quickly. Just as he was thinking about it, Guan Hai came over for a private chat first. Where are you? Qin Hung asked. Tu Ching, we are preparing to go to the Centipede Cave in Death Valley. As soon as Wama was unable to fight, more than 20 people from the Kuangtu family were there. Qin Hung smiled and said, Come to Sabak City. I will take you to a deserted place to practice leveling. Where there are all zombies. By the way, don't tell others. It's not a big place. What? Okay. Come right away. Guan Hai's surprised voice came from the other side. A few minutes later, Qin Hung saw Guan Hai and Guan Yun. Introduction. This is my girlfriend. As if he was afraid of causing Qin Hung to misunderstand that he was bringing someone here. Guan Hai spoke first. Hello. Guan Yun said H, low and then said nothing. He just stood silently next to Guan Hai. Qin Hung looked at the two of them. Guan Hai has reached level 19. While Guan Yun is only level 18. The two of them were dressed in level 16 professional attire. With only one or two small items on them. Hey, didn't you explode a big magic bracelet? Why didn't you wear it? Qin Hung asked in surprise. Ha ha. I sold the Chinese coins. They are quite valuable. Guan Hai smiled. Qin Hung was speechless. He heard a hint of pity in the other party's words. And he must be a little reluctant to part with it. This guy probably doesn't have a very good family background. Otherwise, he wouldn't be selling the best equipment. Follow me. Arriving at the warehouse. Qin Hung traded to Guan Hai a magic 0 slash 2 blue crystal ring and a magic 1 steel bracelet. Ah, the best blue crystal ring and magic steel bracelet. They are a bit expensive. I don't want them. Guan Hai canceled the transaction. If you're a brother, just take it. At worst, there will be something good for me to use in the future. Okay, thanks. After asking about it, I learned that Guan Yin had not learned the soul fire talisman yet. So he gave Guan Yin a copy of Soul Fire Talisman and Summoning Skeleton. Since he planned to win over the two of them, Qin Hung naturally couldn't be stingy. Thank you. Guan Yin finally showed his first smile after meeting. Then he returned to his calm look. Qin Hung guessed that this girl probably didn't like to talk very much. And he didn't know how he got this guy Guan Hai. After Guan Yin finished learning the Soul Fire Talisman, Qin Hung told her to buy an amulet. After everything was settled, Qin Hung greeted the two of them. Follow me and watch how I go. The two of them walked around the corner of the clothing store with doubts. Qin Hung took the lead in entering the secret passage of the Xiangshu tomb. As soon as he entered, Qin Hung immediately cast an invisibility spell on himself. Immediately calming down the restless zombies. In front of the two Guanhai people, he didn't wear the invisibility ring. Brush. Guanhai and Guan Yin walked in confused and appeared behind him. Then, they opened their mouths wide and looked at the dense zombies in front of them with confused expressions. Chapter 74 The Fall of Woma Temple In Secret Passage Bang! Qin Hung used a collective invisibility technique to hit Guan Hai and the other two, causing the surrounding zombies to stop commotion. Secret Passage? Holy shit! They're all zombies! Guan Hai looked at the dense zombies under the steps in shock. More! Guan Yin only said one word, but with a thick smile on his face. With so many zombie monsters, the two of them were really excited. At present, the level of the two of them is neither high nor low. And they spend a lot of time running around looking for monsters to kill during the day. When I went to the zombie cave, there were too many people. So it was difficult to get a hold of them. Go to Woma Temple. There is a member of the Kwangtai family. Go to the Stone Tomb Array, Pig Cave, and Zuma Temple next to the Tuching Safety Zone. These two places are not for people at all. As soon as you enter, the screen is full of pigs, wedge moths, big rats, etc. If you can't stand for three seconds, you have to run away. The only way to go to Centipede Cave is that there are not many people inside now. So you can still enjoy it slowly. But the monster's defense is very high and difficult to kill. In addition, the refresh there is very fast and there are many monsters. If you are not careful, you will get dumped by the monster. The fight was extremely unsatisfactory. Now they suddenly saw a place full of zombies. And the two of them were really surprised. In an instant, the two of them developed a stronger impression of Qin Hung. In this stage where monsters are hard to find, someone can share a secret hidden map with you. This kind of friendship is enough to prove that the other person is really good to them. If three people kill here, they will definitely level up. It will be much faster than killing in Centipede Cave. But something happened that puzzled the two of them. Qin Hung just fought with them for a while. And after cleaning up the zombies around the steps, 
He was about to leave. Brother prodigal son, are you here to fight monsters? Guan Hai's eyes were full of confusion. Even though Qin Hong was level 21, he didn't think it would be fast for him to go to Centipede Cave to kill monsters alone. No, I still have something to do. You can just level up here and don't tell others. By the way, if you go over there from here, you can also enter the second floor. But I don't recommend you go there. There are pigs, witch moss and so on. After explaining, Qin Hong walked out from the steps. Guan Hai and the two were left looking at each other. No wonder he upgraded so quickly. I didn't expect there to be such a good place. Guan Hai sighed. Explosion. Hi. Guan Yun stepped on the potions and gold coins that exploded from the zombies on the ground and softly spat out two words. He is a good man. Guan Yun added three more words. In just a moment, they had already destroyed a zombie and there was a big explosion. Xin Hung just symbolically picked up a few pieces of equipment and left, which caught the two of them by surprise. After Qin Hung left the secret passage, he walked around the Sabic store and found a few small items. Came to Tuching again. I stopped in the safe area for a while and took a quick look at everyone's levels. I found that there were still not many people above level 18. Most of them were around level 16. I only saw two Taoist priests with skeletons walking around coquettishly outside the safe zone. I didn't see anyone above level 20. I don't know if the masters have all gone to level up. In the Tuching store, he was lucky enough to find a few top-notch items again. And then he flew toward Biki City, passing by the Viper Village. Jean Hung went into the store to look around and found two small items. As for the ore, he didn't buy it and planned to get it together when it was about to go offline. Now it is more important to go to Wilma Temple and kill the leader. Soon after arriving in Beach City, Jean Hung went to visit a few shops, but couldn't buy any top quality equipment. My day, looking at the bustling players in the store. Jean Hung was very sure that someone was definitely scanning for top quality equipment here. Otherwise, it would be impossible to have none at all. However, this person is a bit lacking in brains. Does he not know how to visit Tuching in Viper Valley? Helpless Qin Hung came to the pharmacy and luckily bought 10 bottles of deer blood. 60 bottles. This deer blood itself is difficult to dig out from the deer. In addition, some players drink it as potion. It is good to be able to collect 10 bottles here. The weapon's durability was running out. So Qin Hung didn't go to repair it. There were too many people in the weapon store. And it would take a lot of time to squeeze through. He changed his weapon to an ordinary demon subdue and used most of his long-range attacks as his clothes. But he still had a lot of durability. As for jewelry, it is difficult to keep it off for a long time. And it has not yet reached the critical point. In addition to using it to fight boss, the invisibility ring was removed during the third leveling in Woma. Therefore, the durability is still three-fifths. Demon subjugation, attack June 11th. Taoism one half. Accuracy one. Duration 17 17th. Weight 20. Requires level 20. Compared with the top quality Banyu. This weapon only lacks a little Taoism. The difference is not too big. That's fine. In fact, he still has a lot of Taoist priests top notch equipment on him. But he has kept them and hasn't sold much. Such as the best horn ring. This thing is very good. But it may not be of much use to him now. But it is very useful in the real world. Add defense. Add magic and add attack. This is his real pursuit. The higher the defense, the more damage he can withstand and the safer he is. Therefore, in reality, defense is ranked first by him. With everything ready, Qin Hung flew all the way to Woma Temple. There are more players at the entrance of Woma Temple. At a glance, there are at least two to three hundred people here. There are people looking to form a team. People doing business. People standing waiting for others. People chatting. There are all kinds of people. Qin Hung saw three Taoist priests with skeletons at a glance. There is even a mage wearing level 22 professional attire. It seems that the leading players are upgrading very quickly. If he didn't have to work during the day and continue to play games, he would definitely have reached level 24 by now. Experts gathered. But Qin Hang's arrival still attracted the attention of others. There is no way. His cuckold is too conspicuous. He is the only one in the server. Qin Hung quickly escaped from the pointing eyes of others and entered the Woma Temple. When I came in this time, the feeling was different. The entire first floor of Woma Temple has become a player's world, with figures running or waiting everywhere. Many big forces still divide their territory here, but the Woma Temple is too big, and they can't occupy it all, unless a guild is established and more players are attracted. The absolute strength to clear the field can be formed. 
Qin Hong didn't stop and flew all the way to the entrance of the second floor. When he got here, his heart skipped a beat. There are no monsters at the door. My day. Will the second floor fall? Upon entering, sure enough, the door was empty. There are a lot of monsters at the door. How did these people get in? After thinking for a moment, Qin Hong understood. Now there are level 20 Taoist priests and mages. As soon as the Taoist priests come in, they will immediately fly away randomly, become invisible after landing, and slowly beat them one by one. After clearing an open space, if the mage comes again, they will beat faster. It doesn't take too much. As long as a few Taoist priests gain a foothold on the second floor, the second floor will definitely fall in one day. There is no need to fight on the second floor. I don't know what the third floor will be like. Flying all the way to the door of the lower third floor, Qin Hong saw countless players gathering at the door from a distance. At a glance, there were at least several hundred people. Is this going to hit the third floor of Walmart? Chapter 75 Players Attack Woma 3 for the First Time The Entrance to the Third Floor of Woma Temple Qin Hung hid in a corner and watched players coming over and gathering in the crowd. After some estimation, there were at least two to three hundred people. Needless to say, these people must want to attack the third floor of Walmart. Who organized it? With the light of the players' candles, Qin Hung saw several major forces gathering here. There are several people wearing level 22 professional attire. Name the poor family. The Crazy Prince, the Crazy Princess, the Iron-Blooded Overlord, and the Dynasty Son. Looking at the names of these five people, they basically represent four forces. Qin Hung was not surprised at all that the naming of households with difficulties was mixed up with these people. He himself has a grudge against the Quan Tai family, but he doesn't have to name the poor family. At this time, five people were standing among the players, discussing something. Qin Hung came closer and listened carefully and immediately heard their conversation, naming the households in difficulty. This time we join forces together to really make a sound. Everyone grabs based on their ability, and whoever gets it gets it. However, dividends are indispensable. Princess Quan Zhao, I have no objection to this. However, is the horn really on the leader of Woma? Prince of the dynasty. Ha uh ha. -huh. Princess, it is said on the official website that the horn is at Woma Temple. We have fought against the guards on the first and second floors. Do you have a horn? No. Of course it's the leader of Woma. Iron-blooded overlord. The horn of Woma should be on the leader of Woma. Let's discuss how to divide it if the horn actually comes out. The household with difficulty naming it smiled slightly and said calmly, If any of you find something you don't want, you can sell it to me. I'll pay you 200,000 Chinese dollars. Among the forces present, he actually did not leave many players. However, he hired 60 players above level 18 to come over. Woma Horn. He is bound to win it. Thinking about it, this is a guild established in the first virtual game. I am really excited to be the boss of tens of thousands of players. Ha ha. Let's not talk about money. Is 200,000 Chinese dollars money? If you really want it, you can buy it with money. I'll give you 1 million. Which one of you has it? Princess Quantu chuckled. After hearing these words, Jean Hung suddenly understood something. The names of the poor households and the crazy princesses are probably the ones who are not short of money. The conversation between the two made the dynasty prince and the iron-blooded overlord look at each other. They all saw a joy in each other's eyes. Cough. The iron-blooded overlord coughed and said with a smile. Both of you are big bosses, but brother Huang Chao and I are different. It's better to negotiate the money. The prince of the imperial court nodded. Yes, we still have a group of brothers to support. Let's do it this way. You two quote a price. If it really comes out this time, brother dynasty, and I don't want the Woma horn, we can just split the money. The iron-blooded overlord agreed. He had already discussed it privately with the prince of the dynasty. Otherwise, he would not dare to make the decision for him. Both of them are big gaming guilds. And of course their first goal is to make money. Although establishing the first big guild has great advantages, it does not mean the guilds cannot be established later. They play this mainly to make money. And of course they have to make a fortune first. The difficult to name family and Princess Quantu did not answer. And neither of them said a word. The young master of the dynasty and the iron-blooded overlord were not in a hurry. Of course they knew that the two men were discussing the price in private. After a discussion, the person who named the poor household smiled and said, We are really going to release the Woma Horn. Its value is worth 100,000 Chinese dollars. Do you have any objections? The price was suddenly reduced by half from 200,000 yuan. 
and both the dynasty prince and the iron-blooded overlord looked ugly. The prince of the imperial court sneered. Ha ha. Believe it or not. It really came out. I will sell it. I think someone will buy it for 500,000 yuan. The iron-blooded overlord also said. The price of 100,000 yuan is really too low. I will pay you 110,000 yuan. If you find it, I will share the dividends with you. After some haggling, several people finally settled on the price of the Wilma Horn at 150,000 Chinese dollars. Although the young master of the dynasty and the iron-blooded overlord are still a little dissatisfied, the leader of Wilma will reveal other things, which will bring another sum of money. This trip should make a lot of money. Qin Hung was in a dark corner not far away, listening to their conversation and feeling speechless for a while. 150,000 Chinese dollars. That's a pretty idea. However, naming the poor families and the crazy families are really rich. 10,000 gold coins are exchanged for two Chinese coins. Converting 150,000 Chinese dollars into game currency is 750 million game currency. Thinking about the two Walmart horns in my warehouse. It would be great if they could be exchanged for 1.5 billion game coins. It's just that there are not so many game coins at this stage. Yes, if you monopolize the entire third floor of Walmart for a while, players will probably be able to collect hundreds of millions of gold coins, and it will probably be fine. If you want to completely occupy it, you have to put in some effort. Qin Hung was thinking secretly here. Naming the poor households and Princess Kwangtua were discussing how to fight. Qin Hung didn't leave or go out. He just hid in the dark and listened to their conversation. He wanted to see if these people could rush down. After some discussion, they named the poor households and others decided to let the Taoist priest in first. Teleport away randomly. Become invisible. And then clear a place inside to stabilize first. After the Taoist priests have created a space. The others can join together randomly after entering and having a meal. By then, there are hundreds of people. Not to mention one woman leader. Even ten or eight can be killed by it. After everyone's discussion, more than thirty Taoist priests stood at the door. After taking a deep breath, they dragged the Taoist priests in first. In fact, Princess Kuangzhou is at level 22. So she should go in first. But she is dressed in top quality. So of course she doesn't want to be the first to go in. More than 30 Taoist priests filed in. While others were waiting for news. When the Taoist priests open up a space, they can go down and join together. Originally, everyone thought they would have to wait for a while. But as soon as everyone entered, for people immediately retreated from inside in panic. The blood bar on the top of his head is only half full. Ring ring ring. Ring ring ring. Gula gula. Their faces were pale. And they quickly performed healing spells on themselves and drank potions wildly. Eh? Why are you out here? You're just flying around. What are you doing out here? These people were thugs recruited from households in need. Seeing them withdraw, they immediately stepped forward and asked dissatisfiedly. Boss, there's no need for randomness in this. The monsters are too scary. They were all crowded together and many people died. Some people probably flew out. Damn! There are so many monsters inside. I almost got killed when I just entered. The four people were all talking, complaining with lingering fears. The people in need looked at each other after hearing the name. Princess Kwangtua asked in confusion. There are many monsters, but not many of them attack you. Right. How could it be so miserable? This group of people are around level 20 after all. But they couldn't hold on for more than 10 seconds. This is ridiculous. A player shook his head. I don't know about this. But as soon as I entered, the people in front kept falling. And I kept being attacked. And my health dropped like crazy. Another player was afraid and said, I entered last. There were no monsters around to attack me. But my health kept dropping sharply. I didn't even see clearly what was attacking me. And my health was about to bottom out. Chapter 76 Crazy Me Grinder Make a Fortune the entrance on the third floor below the second floor of Wilma Temple. Listening to the explanations of several survivors, everyone was speechless for a while. Soon, they received messages from the dead and flying players one after another. Everyone said the same thing. There were a lot of monsters in it. They were super ferocious. And there was no way to use randomization. In less than five minutes, those who died and flew randomly flew back again with random scrolls and gathered together again. Many players have begun to complain about people who have difficulty naming families and the princes of the dynasty. Tian Tian. Boss, I have lost a medium armor. Game puzzle. Boss, I also lost a sturdy glove from my equipment. Kishi Yutengu. Boss, I dropped a snake eye ring. Shadong, 
Please do the statistics. If our equipment is lost, I will compensate you in cash. The household who had difficulty naming the people waved his hand and asked a Taoist priest named Ming Ming Xiao down next to him to do the statistics. The players who had lost their equipment immediately became happy and clamored for a second attack. Anyway, someone will compensate for the loss. So of course they have nothing to worry about. Together, the leaders took a different approach this time. The warrior goes first. The Taoist priest follows up, adds blood to become invisible, and the mage comes in last. Remember, everyone must rush in as quickly as possible. Otherwise the brothers in front will not be able to bear it. Don't be afraid of losing things when you die. We will be responsible for compensation if you drop things. Qin Hung listened to the other party's deployment from a distance and almost laughed out loud. Is this about queuing up to give away people's heads? With a look on his face, he moved closer. After everyone lined up and prepared, they named the needy households and started shouting. Three, two, one, enter! In an instant, more than 80 soldiers at the front rushed down in a swarm. The households with difficulties in naming were lined up in the middle to hold the line and followed. As soon as he entered, he was shocked to find countless monsters and people crowded together in the entrance corridor. I couldn't walk or squeeze in at all. The warriors wearing medium armor desperately used the weapons in their hands to attack all the monsters they saw around them. The promise of naming a poor family gave them the courage to kill all the monsters around them without any scruples. But because there are so many people, it becomes a bit stuck here. Often when they slash the monster once, the monster has already attacked them two or three times. What frightened them even more was that dense bone needles were continuously shot from a distance, causing their blood volume to drop wildly. Some people kept screaming and falling down, but no one retreated or run away with no worries. They all thought, even if I die, I will chop the opponent a few times. It's a pity that courage is commendable, but the reality is cruel. In addition to the ferocious monsters around, the bone needles that kept shooting from the distance were like rain, shooting in large tracks. How much health can a level 18 little warrior have? It's just a mere 192 drops of blood. Even a household with difficulty naming at level 22 only has 258 drops of blood. But what they didn't know was that Qin Hung had seduced 50 or 60 dark warriors and placed them here in the front corridor. At this moment, they are a group of living targets. Not only do they have to withstand the attacks of the surrounding monsters, they also have to withstand the crazy volleys of the dark warriors. What is the concept of a dark warrior hitting you with more than 10 drops of blood and 50 or 60 volleys coming at you? The players in the front row basically just came in, made a slash, and then nothing happened. Watch the players fall down like wheat. The households who had difficulty naming were so anxious that they shouted loudly. Hold still. Kill me. If you die and drop your equipment, ask me to pay for it. The tugging prince who came in from behind yelled equally loudly. Hold still. I will kill them with a knife. Open a passage and come out. The iron-blooded overlord. Hold it. If you die, the boss will pay compensation. Several people kept shouting, and the players stopped running away and killed all the monsters around them without thinking about their own safety. Under the crazy killing of players who were not afraid of death, monsters also died one after another. A level 20 warrior with ordinary equipment can inflict about 20 drops of blood with one strike. A Woma warrior only has 265 drops of blood and will die after 15 cuts. Imagination is beautiful, but reality is really cruel. Hundreds of monsters gathered at the door, including Flame Woma and a group of dark warriors ambushed by Qin Hung. When the Taoist priests rushed in, there were only about 20 soldiers left. No one escaped. The entire ground was covered with potions. Random equipment. Gaga gaga. Stealth. Jia jia jia. As soon as the Taoist priests came in, they named the needy households and dragged the prince wildly. The other soldiers shouted wildly. As soon as he shouted, less than 10 of the more than 20 soldiers were left. People keep falling down. The leaders who named the poor households and dragged the prince were completely exposed to the eyes of the monster. Moment. Countless bone spurs shot towards them like a torrential rain, causing their blood volume to drop continuously. Fortunately, as the bosses, these few people carry a lot of sun water. Otherwise, they would have been unable to hold it and fly. After all, other players can die, but they dare not. The equipment on me is good, but it would be heartbreaking to lose one piece of it. It's not about money. It's about these equipments that you can't buy even if you have money. But to the horror of the named poor households and the Kwangtai prince, as soon as the Taoist priests came in, 
They all fell down before they could even turn invisible. Instant kill. Those who were not instantly killed were just turning invisible and frantically adding blood to themselves. No one can care about them at all. There were no other warriors in front of them. So it was obvious that these few warriors could withstand the attacks of the Dark Warriors. The Quantite Prince and the young master of the dynasty were the first to be unable to bear it and ran away directly back to the city. Nima. Once the two of them ran away, the only remaining soldiers left were to name the poor man and the iron-blooded overlord. He cursed angrily and ran away. With a whoosh, when he returned to the safe zone, he only had a dozen drops of blood left. What a danger! However, at this time, he was surprised to find that Prince Kwangtu had died in the safe zone. Why did you die? The person named from the poor family asked in surprise while drinking blood. What the HL? I ran out of blood the moment I flew. Prince Kwangtu, who was lying on the ground, was so depressed that he wanted to vomit blood. When he couldn't bear it anymore, he went back to the city. But he exploded immediately after returning to the city. He actually flew back with a corpse. A goddess scattering flowers made the players in the safe zone so happy that they were like dogs. Licking the equipment on the ground clean. When he opened the equipment column anxiously, he suddenly found that a top-grade attack 2 silver bracelet on his body had also exploded. He was almost going crazy. Are you still going? Hee <laughs> hee. Seeing the tragic situation of dragging the prince, the poor man who was originally depressed that he ran away in embarrassment suddenly felt very relieved. This is how people are. If someone is worse off than themselves, then their bad mood becomes balanced and comfortable. Go. Damn it. Change into trash and go again. I don't believe it. I can't fill the gap with just a few people. The prince said fiercely. There are only so many monsters anyway. And as long as they keep sacrificing their lives, they can always get through. Please don't go down. Don't go down. It's too fierce down there. We all ran away. Households who have difficulty naming can privately chat about naming tips. But he saw the name trail suddenly appear next to him. What do you want to ask the households with difficulties in naming? You you. Boss. We are all dead. It turned out that after just a short while, after the soldiers died, the Taoist priest who came in behind without knowing it could not stand at all. A Taoist priest around level 20 only has about a hundred drops of blood. As soon as he comes in, he will be killed instantly. Needless to say, the mages who rushed in unknowingly and madly behind didn't even see the monsters clearly. They all fell down in pieces like wheat. And as many as they entered died, no one can escape. This is the disadvantage of not having a guild. You cannot have unified command. If there is a change, everything will be ruined. In the blink of an eye, players were running and dying at the entrance to the third floor of Woma. And there was no one alive anymore. At this moment, a sneaky figure walked in, but was not attacked by any monster. He is Chin Hung. My day. Get rich. Make a fortune. Looking at the equipment all over the floor, Chin Hung laughed and saw a piece of brand name equipment at a glance. And his breathing almost stopped. Chapter 77 The Secret Contest Between Chin Hung and the Players The Entrance to the Third Floor of Woma Temple Where I just came in. The Woma Warriors. Woma Warriors. Etc. here were no longer so dense and some of them were killed by the players, who were desperately hacking. Jean Hung waited for the others to go down, and then went down less than half a minute later. As soon as he entered, he was shocked to find that everyone was gone. Apart from equipment, potions, random items, and monsters, there was no human body on the ground. This relationship is good. At least the matter of him picking up the equipment will not be exposed. His eyes excitedly scanned the mountains of equipment and potions around him and he saw a piece of brand name equipment at a glance. Z-bead necklace. He immediately stepped forward excitedly and stepped on it. This was a Talus priest's brand name equipment. I don't know who the unlucky guy was who broke it. He didn't have time to check the attributes now, but quickly looked around carefully. After confirming that there was no brand name equipment, he started frantically picking up equipment on the ground. These birdmen might come again, so we need to hurry up. In fact, if a group of ordinary players were to join in as a team, just this wave of losses might have caused the other party to stop seeking death. But naming a poor household is different from dragging a princess. Listen to them talk. In reality, they are all capable people. It doesn't matter if the player level is not good or the equipment is not good. Just use money to open the passage. Life for life. As long as you hold on to the idea that you can kill faster than the system refreshes. Regardless of gains and losses, it will definitely be fine to use the human sea tactic to open a passage. This loss is nothing more than drizzle to those who can afford it. 
Maybe. This crazy behavior is the source of their happiness. Exciting. Damn. Luckily I prepared a group of dark warriors. Otherwise we would definitely be doomed. Maybe the opponent can really fill it in using the crowd tactics. But now? Do you want to enter Walmart 3? You have to ask me first. Hey hey. Jean Hung had a smile on his face, and quickly picked up various equipment exploded on the ground. He always picks up high-level equipment first. Such as, Saber Saber. Demon Subduing. Ling Fong. Ba Huang. Medium Armor. Pearl Ring. Black Crystal Ring. Taoist Bracelet. Ebony Bracelet. Devil Necklace. Most of the players who come in are wearing medium armor. Level 18 and 19 bracelets. Level 20 rings. And level 17 necklaces. The garbage spots are light armor. Large bracelets and the like. This time hundreds of players died at once. If two or three players dropped one piece of equipment on average, there would be more than 50 or 60 pieces on the ground. After Chin Hung threw away the random potions in the package, he quickly picked up the package. Seeing that there were more than 20 pieces of equipment on the ground, he immediately walked to the side. I started to look at the equipment with a slightly lower level and threw them in a corner. Go back and pick up all the remaining lower level equipment and check them one by one. Keep the best ones and throw the low-grade ones in a corner. Brother, where are they? Jean Hung was picking up equipment while chatting privately about naming needy households. Ah, brother prodigal son, I was just planning to find you. I'm at the entrance of Woma 3. The household with difficulty in naming said with a smile. Oh, what do you want to do? Jean Hung asked cheerfully. Fight the leader of Woma. Come on. We have gathered hundreds of people. It's definitely a big scene. Fight the leader of Woma? Can you win? Ha ha. Of course. A little Woma leader. Hundreds of us can drown it with just a spit of spit. That's not a piece of cake. The household with difficulty in naming said casually with a smile. How long will it take for you to go in and fight? We are still gathering people. We are going to gather more people. It will probably take about half an hour. Come quickly. Sound the Woma horn and give you dividends. Okay. I'll come over here after I check my things. Wait for me. Okay. All we need is a master like you. Come on. We're waiting for you. The household with difficulty in naming laughed. Okay. You have to wait for me. After having a private chat with the person who had trouble naming, Sheen Hung temporarily relaxed and checked various equipment more quickly. It seems there is enough time. He threw away all the rubbish he didn't need. Finally, he returned to the pile of higher level equipment that he had left behind before and stepped on them. After comparing one by one, the one with the highest value was picked. After doing all this, Sheen Hung began to think deeply. There is no way to pick up the equipment that was thrown on the ground. After all, the families with difficulty in naming are all there. If he entered the third floor of Walmart without wearing an invisibility ring, he would definitely be killed instantly. Moreover, there are so many members of the Quan Tai family here, and they might all get into a fight when they meet each other. It's impossible to fight. There are too many people. However, Jean Hung did not leave immediately. If these people want to enter the third floor of W Mart, they are robbing him of his territory. Cut off his wealth. This is absolutely not allowed. Thinking that there was still enough time, Jean Hung immediately entered the hall. He took off his invisibility ring and became invisible step by step, attracting a large number of monsters. These monsters followed Chin Hang's footsteps, bypassing the dense group of dark warriors, and once again blocked the entrance. He originally wanted to lure the dark warriors that spawned in the hall one by one, but this thing is long-range attacks and moves slowly. So there is no time now. Otherwise, how can we explain this by just meeting someone who came down? He didn't want to become a wanted person across the server. However, if he can't lure the dark warrior, he can lure the two big guys over. After a quick glance, Jean Hung attracted two more Woma guards and stopped in front of the Dark Warrior. With these Woma monsters, plus the more than 60 Dark Warriors, it is probably enough. As long as these Woma warriors and Woma guards can block the players for a while, the Dark Warriors in the distance can open up their firepower and make them doubt their lives. The most important thing is that with the existence of these two bosses, interesting things will definitely happen, and the player army can basically be destroyed. After doing all this, Chin Hung returned to the city with a hiss. When he arrived at the in warehouse and opened the parcel column, Chin Hung looked at a package of things and his breathing was a little short. There are so many good things I got this time. The most valuable thing is a designer necklace with a round brand name strung with jewelry. ZB necklace. Taoism 1 of 5. Durability 7-7. Weight 1. 
requires 22 talus points. This is much stronger than his phoenix necklace, which is one third of the magic. Jean Hung immediately put it on happily. When he looked at the Z-bead necklace, his eyes suddenly lit up. A hidden attribute was displayed on it. Add 1% to the best explosion rate. When playing the legendary game in my previous life, I heard people say that wearing a Z-bead necklace to kill monsters can increase the explosion rate of the best. As a Talus priest himself, he often wears Z-bead necklaces, but the ones he produces are only SOSO, and he feels they are not very effective. Now here, that's marked directly, but is it useful to increase the best explosion rate by 1%? Jean Hung is not sure either. Forget it. Its own attributes are very high, and with this hidden attribute, it is also a very abnormal thing. In the future, even if he doesn't wear it anymore and sells it, it will still be very valuable. In addition to this Z-bead necklace, Jean Hung also obtained more than 10 pieces of top quality equipment for various professions this time, such as the strong gloves of G1, the big bracelet of M2, etc. But the most abnormal one is a white tiger tooth necklace. When he saw this necklace on the third floor of Walmart, Jean Hang's eyes almost popped out. It's so perverted. Chapter 78 Luck and Curse Pick up the leak in the beach city and warehouse. Even though he had already seen the properties of this necklace once, Jean Hung was still very surprised. White Tiger Tooth Necklace Attack 0 slash 2 Taoism 1 of 3 Magic Dodge 40% Luck 1 Durability 5 7 Weight 1 Requires 11 Taoist points. There are two more attack points. A little more Taoism. Magic Dodge was originally 20%. Now it's 20% more. And a little more luck. Let's not talk about Taoism. This magic evasion is very useful in legend. Magic evasion, as the name suggests, means that after wearing it, you can avoid magic attacks. Monsters' magic attacks and mages' attacks are all available. Adding 20% is not very obvious. But when it reaches 30%, it begins to show its power. The chance of evasion increases. When it reaches 40%, the probability is even higher. In his previous life, Qin Hung had a white tiger tooth necklace that increased evasion by 70%. When wearing it, he could PK with a mage and shock the opponent while standing, almost without losing any blood. The evasion rate is extremely terrifying, although 40% is not that perverted. If he stands and lets the mage shock him 10 times, at least 4 of them will miss him. Even higher, were 2 more gold bracelets with added magic defense and two rings with added magic defense for subduing demons and eliminating demons. This is the mage's nemesis. In addition, this necklace also adds a bit of luck. What is the value of luck? This is a good thing in the legendary game. As we all know, the attack value of the game legend has a range. For example, attack February 20th. This means that for each attack, the damage will be between 2 and 20, and the data will appear randomly. So how to increase the attack value to increase the probability of high attack? Or even let it maintain the maximum attack? Here you need to use luck value. The higher the luck value of a player's equipment, the higher the chance of maximizing attack value. In the game, with zero luck points, there is a 10% chance of hitting the highest value. Every additional bit of luck increases your chances by 10%. When the luck value of the player's equipment reaches 9 points, congratulations, chance to reach 100. Your sword attacks are all maximum attacks. For example, if the attack is 2 twentieths, then if your luck increases by 9, the attack power of your sword will be 20 points. Therefore, pursuing luck and adding 9 sets has always been the ultimate dream of players. So how can you increase your luck? In Legend, there are only two pieces of equipment that can increase luck. One piece is the necklace. The other thing is weapons. All necklaces themselves do not have luck attributes. Only the best products that appear will have a chance to increase the luck value. In the game of his previous life, Jean Hung had seen the most perverted memory necklace that added 5 to his luck. As for weapons, all weapons themselves also have no luck value. Only when the best weapons appear, there is a chance that they will bring their own lucky value. In addition to the chance of getting lucky points from top quality necklaces and weapons, there is another way to increase the luck points of weapons. And that is to drink blessing oil. Drinking a bottle of blessing oil has a chance to increase the luck value, but it may not increase or even cause a curse. Curse value is the opposite of luck value. The higher the curse value, the lower the maximum attack value. Blessing oil can only be exploded by killing snake and major leader bosses, but not minor bosses, at least as high as the leader of Woma. The leader is difficult to kill, and there is no guarantee that he will come out. 
Xin Hong has killed several Wama leaders, but not one has emerged, which shows that the explosion rate is very low. The price of a bottle of blessing oil is high. According to legends in previous lives, a bottle can be sold for 1 to 2 million gold coins at high prices and is worth about half a million gold coins at low prices. This has led to many poor and crazy players going to the Viper Valley to kill snakes just to try their luck at exploding bottles of blessing oil. But it's not that easy. Qin hung himself chopped down more than 10 heavenly snakes there, but did not come out. Later, one of his friends worked there for a month and finally cut out a bottle of blessing oil. Of course, there's really no way to say anything about the explosion rate. He passed by once and saw someone killing a snake and dropping it. It all depends on face. Good character. If you kill a snake, it will explode. If you have a bad character, you may spend your whole life cutting snakes there, but you may not come out. In short, luck value is definitely a good thing. This white tiger tooth necklace adds attack, Taoism, magic dodge, and luck. This is indeed the best of the best. The only fly in the ointment is that there is no attribute that adds a lot. If all the extra attributes are added to magic dodge or luck, this will be the real best. But things are never that perfect. Such a pity. Jin Hung has no plans to wear this necklace at the moment. There is no use wearing it while leveling. It only works during PK. Although it still has some luck value. Jin Hung doesn't have any weapons of his own. If he has more luck, he might as well wear a Z bead necklace. After quickly storing the things, Jin Hung came to the Biki City grocery store, planning to buy random items before flying to Woma Temple. This group of birdmen also plans to attack the third floor of Woma. Naturally, Qin Hong will not miss this opportunity to make a fortune. However, when he opened the grocery store to buy some random items, he was startled when he saw a bottle of blessing oil. No way. Someone actually sells blessing oil in a store? Chen Tian quickly bought it. But the price was a bit expensive. It cost 20,000 gold coins. He remembered that in this past life legend, selling a store seemed worthless. Right? Trying to sell the blessing oil in his hand. He was surprised to find that the price was actually 10,000 gold coins. Holy shit! 10,000 gold coins. So tall. No wonder some players are willing to sell. In today's era when players are too poor to go mining, 10,000 gold coins is not a small amount. So, is there any blessing oil sold in the small village grocery store in Viper Valley? He hasn't paid attention to that grocery store in the past two days. It's hard to say. Forget it. Go to Woma Temple first. The Viper Valley grocery store really has blessing oil. It costs 20,000 gold coins but no one is likely to buy it. After all, its introduction is too simple. Blessing oil, after use. There is a chance to increase the luck value or curse value of the weapon. Price, 10,000 gold coins. This explanation will probably dissuade most people from using it. Nowadays, this legendary official has not announced what the lucky value is used for. How will players know its value? In addition, the latter one also has a chance to add a curse. And it is estimated that no player will try it easily. I will only focus on the selling price of the bunch at the back. 10,000 gold coins is indeed very tempting. After picking up the leak, Jin Hung whistled happily, went back and stored it, and flew to Woma Temple with a whoosh. As soon as we entered the Woma Temple, there was a private chat about naming needy households. Brother Prodigal Son, are you here? It's just you. I've been waiting for a long time. Well, I won't go. I have other things to do. You can enjoy yourself. How could Qin Hung really follow him to Woma 3? He was planning to go in and pick up equipment at the end. The third entrance on the second floor of W Mart. Qin Hung didn't come. And he looked a little regretful when naming the poor households. After all, Qin Hung is the best equipped Taoist priest he has ever seen. If he can come, he will definitely be of great help to them. Forget it. My friend won't come. Line up and prepare to enter. 20 warriors first. Followed by 20 Taoist priests. Then 20 warriors, and 20 Taoist priests and mages last. When everyone is playing, be faster. Chapter 79 The Charm of Money Crazy Players The entrance to the third floor of Woma Temple. Named Difficult Household and Kuangzhou Prince came in among the first batch of 20 soldiers. As soon as they entered, the two almost cursed. The small space they had finally cleared with their lives was now densely packed with monsters. Is this refresh rate too fast? It's not that long of a difference. Qin Hung was given half an hour to name the households in difficulty. But everyone kept urging because they were afraid that there would be too many monsters spawned. Unexpectedly, it's still too late. Ah, ah. As soon as the two came in, the screen was filled with monsters. 
and players kept falling. Hold on! I'll kill them with a knife! Hold on! The Talus Priest is coming in! When the Talus brothers came in, only seven or eight of the twenty warriors in front were left. Puff Pung Pung. As soon as the Talus Priests came in this time, they immediately named the struggling households and others to become invisible first. Their task is to make this group of people invisible and gain health. And stand firm first. Fortunately, some Talus priests have learned the art of collective invisibility. Otherwise it would be difficult to do it. Ring ring ring. Ring ring ring. The Talus priests, regardless of their own safety, name the poor households. Drag the prince, the iron-blooded overlord and other seven or eight warriors to survive. But the Talus priests suffered a large number of casualties. Although the twenty Talus priests who came in were only attacked by scattered monsters around them. The dark warriors in the distance were not just decorations. The dark warriors who originally attacked the warriors immediately turned their attacks towards them after the Talus priests made the warriors invisible. How much help do Talus priests have? A volley came over. And seven or eight Talus priests in the front row fell down at once. Those at the back reacted slower. And four or five more fell down. The remaining few finally recovered after being invisible to themselves. As everyone died, the ground was once again covered with various equipment potions. There are strong gloves, medium armor, large bracelets, magic helmets, eight waists, etc. Originally, the players wanted to install it from a store below level 10. But those who have difficulty naming do not agree. If you wear such low-level equipment, who can you impress? Don't worry. I will pay for the equipment if it falls off. Having said that, attentive players still discovered that all the top-notch equipment on this boss had been replaced with ordinary equipment around level 20. But no one said anything. Who lets others be the boss? Besides, equipment around level 20 is also expensive. Better than most of them. Kill! At this time, 20 more warriors rushed in from behind, frantically slashing the surrounding monsters. Those who died on the ground quickly exited the game and were coming quickly. They named the poor households and dragged the prince and they got mad. This time they invited all the players outside the Woma Temple. There were almost 500 people in total. They just wanted to rely on a steady stream of new troops to get through the third floor of Woma. I'll. Nowadays, players cannot defeat monsters in the third floor. It's not that they can't defeat them, but that there are too many monsters at the entrance. As long as they open the entrance and gain a foothold, they can slowly clear out and kill the leader. As for the money and equipment lost, is it a waste of money to name a household in need? He is not short of money. All he wants is excitement. Exciting. Moreover, he and his partners have video recordings of this battle to challenge the third floor of Woma. They are just waiting for the final challenge to be completed. If they are released, they will definitely become famous. What does it take to play a game? That's pretense. The first one to lead players to defeat the leader of Woma will definitely arouse the admiration of countless players. The iron-blooded overlord and the young master of the dynasty also had the same idea of dragging the prince. As long as the reputation is established and a guild is established in the future. Will no one join? Kill! Following the soldiers rushing down was a group of mages who knew how to use thunder and lightning. As soon as the mages came on stage, they used their thunder and lightning skills to electrify the surrounding monsters. At a glance, the whole screen was filled with thunder and lightning. It's a pity that no one was killed after a round of thunder and lightning. The attacks of the mages are too scattered. Concentrate your firepower and kill one! shouted the person who had difficulty naming someone. But these mages are not well-trained troops. How can they be easily commanded? The main reason is that there are monsters in front of you. Which one should you fight? Some of the surrounding monsters were hacked to death by the players. But the passage ahead was still densely packed with monsters. When one monster dies, more monsters will fill in. It's like they can never be killed. The addition of mages speeds up the cleaning up of surrounding monsters. But players die faster. The first batch of warriors, except for the named Difficult Family, the Quantite Prince and the Iron-Blooded Overlord, were all dead. Without these human shields, the Talus Priests behind would be in danger, and many would die at once. Fortunately, they were able to hide themselves in a hurry. But the soldiers who came in behind were not so lucky. The poor households and Talus Priests became invisible, and they were exposed to the monster's attack. Especially the bone needles that are constantly shooting from the dark warriors in the distance are simply the most powerful harvesters. Soldiers keep falling. The Talus priests hurriedly made everyone invisible and increased their health. But the mage came in again. And as a result, most of the soldiers became invisible. 
and the mage had no one to resist the hatred of the monster. They just came in and after one round of attacks, they all fell down. The Taoist priests were struggling to make them invisible and increase their health. The soldiers around them couldn't stand it anymore and shouted, Jaya Jiajia. In short, the fighting method discussed in advance is completely useless. The players are all in chaos. Fighting on their own. Monsters keep dying. Monsters fill in. And players keep dying. Don't worry about the formation. Let them all rush in and kill. Seeing this, he named the dynasty prince, who was still in trouble, and had a private chat with him. The prince of the imperial court was shocked and immediately shouted, Come all in. Don't be afraid of death. The boss will subsidize you. Don't run. There will be no compensation for those who run away. Kill me. As soon as he finished speaking, the hundreds of players still above all rushed in. In an instant, hundreds of players were crowded at the entrance to Walmart's third floor. At this time, the advantage of having a large number of players becomes apparent. Because when there are more people, the monsters don't know what to cut. And among these people, there is a small elite team. It was an elite team composed of the dynasty, the Quantua family, and friends from families in need. They were well equipped, and five or six people acted in unison, attacking whatever they were told to do. A few hits can kill a monster instantly. Monsters keep dying, and of course more players die. In this kind of melee, many players will pick up equipment, potions, etc. that fell at their feet. However, it is hard to say whether they will explode after they die. Soon, the monsters at the entrance were cleared away by the players at the cost of bearing weight, and they began to move forward. At this time, the attacks that players have to withstand become more intensive, because they were completely exposed to the attack of 50 or 60 dark warriors. Players will disappear when they move and become invisible. Therefore, when everyone moved forward, they were immediately mercilessly crushed by the surrounding monsters and the dark warriors in the distance. Players continued to fall. Don't be afraid. Kill! Kill all the monsters around you. And then you can rush forward and kill those dark warriors. If the equipment is lost, I will pay for it. In addition to the original price, each person will receive an additional 200 Chinese dollars as hard work fee. He was named as a boss from a poor family and was cared for by a group of Taoist priests. And he is still alive and kicking to this day. There must be a brave man under the heavy reward. The players rushed forward to fight. Outside Woma 3, players kept rushing in. Among this group of players, Qin Hung seized the opportunity and followed him while wearing an invisibility ring. He went in to help fight monsters? No. He just wanted to go in and pick up trash. Chapter 80 Fierce Battle with Woma 3 Walmart Entrance on the Third Floor Rumble Ring 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 Boo Hoo Hoo Ouch Ouch Kakaka Puff Pung Pung Thunder and Lightning Roar The healing continues. Fireballs keep coming. The monster roars. The screams of players dying and falling to the ground. The sounds of players killing monsters. A unique piece of music is composed. Qin Hung, who was following behind and picking up things, was deeply moved by what he heard. Passion burns in my chest. As if I have returned to the internet cafe more than 10 years ago. All that's missing is a song that was always playing in the internet cafe at that time. For so many years, I have been smart and devoted my sincerity to. I always thought I would get a fair response. The curly hair beside your bed cruelly illustrates. Lingering love is not as good as momentary happiness. Your passion betrays my love. Cost my life. I sold the world for ashes. Your ruthlessness betrays all love. Good dream suddenly wakes up. Feelings are like an alarm clock that stops when you press it. Of course, although the passion in his chest was burning, Jean Hung didn't rush to kill the monster with enthusiasm. He shuttled behind the crowd, picking up equipment dropped by players. At this time, everyone was very busy, killing monsters, increasing health, and increasing invisibility. It was a mess. Hundreds of people crowded together. No one would notice him. And he didn't crowd into crowded places. Just wandering around in the back corner. No one even noticed him. However, hiding behind is a bit of a disadvantage because other players are also picking up items. Is there any rule against picking it up? But they quickly fell down again. And their equipment exploded with jingling bells. Of course, there are also smart ones. Jean Hung saw a mage named. And you and Jiang Tianmu. Frantically picking up equipment. After picking up seven or eight pieces, he ran away with a whoosh. Not as greedy as others, but ended up blowing up again. Qin Hung picked it up from behind, and the Kuang Yin family members were in front. The players behind him all thought he was invited. 
so naturally they wouldn't pay attention to him. As for his invisibility ability, Taoist priests can become invisible. In addition, Qin Hung pretended to throw invisibility and healing skills over his head from time to time, and it became even more inconspicuous. In this chaotic battlefield, there were a few people who had the leisure to look around. In addition to killing monsters, becoming invisible, and increasing blood, you can also pick up equipment dropped by others. Therefore, Qin Hung is like a duck in water among the players. In a short time, he had picked up a package of equipment and returned directly to the city. After returning to the city and taking a look, Qin Hung was slightly disappointed. Among all the equipment this time, none of them are top-notch equipment. It is estimated that after the player suffered a loss, they stored all the best equipment. However, he immediately became excited again. These are all equipment from level 10 to level 20. This package is worth millions if sold. How cool it is to not have to fight it yourself. After storing it, he quickly bought the random items and rushed towards the Woma Temple again. Picking up equipment, not only can you sell it for money, but it is also a way to weaken the enemy's strength. He didn't believe it. Didn't these people have several sets of equipment? These equipments are in hot demand right now. If they pick up a few more packages, they will have to charge at Walmart 3 with their buttocks naked. Can they still make it through? In addition to this reason, he also had to monitor. If they really break through the Dark Warrior's line of defense, don't blame him for being too cruel. Trying to be wanted by the players, but also trying to lure monsters to kill them. If you want to fight monsters in Woma 3, there is no way. On one side, Qin Hong was on his way to Woma Temple, while on the other side, the poor households and others encountered a crisis, with a large number of players pushing forward desperately. They have almost rushed to the Dark Warrior. This corridor is very large. In addition to hundreds of their players, there are also many monsters. The Dark Warrior hid behind the monsters and kept shooting at them. If it weren't for those damn Dark Warriors, they would have pushed past. Casualties certainly wouldn't be that high. Now it's all about pushing forward bit by bit at the cost of human lives. If you are dead, keep coming. Now named Difficult Household and Quanzhou Princess. They actually no longer care whether they can kill the leader. Instead, immerse yourself in this crazy fight. They are just too bored in reality. So they enter the game. Leading players to conquer difficult maps is their goal. When the monsters standing at the door were cleared away, although there were still team members falling down, the players already cheered. They were happy to name the poor households. And the players were equally happy. Charge! Defeat Wama San! Kill the leader of Woma! Groups of players rush forward desperately, enduring the constant attacks from the monsters ahead. The monsters are obviously not replenished as fast as the players. From death to coming back again. Flying randomly all the way. If you're lucky, it won't take five minutes at all. The refresh frequency of monsters naturally cannot keep up. This made them see the dawn of victory and directed the players to move forward. Death doesn't matter. As long as you kill the monster before you die, you won't lose. Soon, the players were almost in front of the Dark Warrior, but a special howling sound came over. We have Woma Guards! Players who had seen the Woma Guards were immediately pleasantly surprised. There is a boss, which is of course a good thing. If you kill it, you can get good things. When the players heard this, they immediately rushed forward as if they had been given blood. The more than 20 monsters in front were quickly defeated. And from a distance, two Woma guards and a group of young men were seen standing in front of a large group of densely packed dark warriors. A tank in front. An archer in the back. Hey! Will the monsters still form formations? The households, who had difficulty naming, were so angry that they cursed and waved their hands. Go! Kill them! Under the influence of Qian's ability, the soldiers rushed forward like a tide and instantly had sex with a group of boys led by two Woma guards. Ahu, ahu. As soon as they make contact, any warrior targeted by Woma's guards will basically fall down after two rounds. It's not that the warriors have too little HP, but that they have endured too many attacks. Not only have to withstand the attack of the Woma guards, but also have to withstand the attack of more than 60 dark warriors behind them. Who can withstand it? The Taoist priest is poisoning! The mage is calling! The person in need shouted and rushed towards a Woma guard. Click. 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 The two weapons of Woma guard were spinning as fast as windmills. The 22 level man with 258 health drops was beaten to a residual health in the blink of an eye. The next five or six Taoist priests tried their best to increase his health. But they couldn't get it back. After drinking two bottles of powerful solar water in a row, the poor man collapsed. 
I don't have the powerful solar water anymore. How can I carry it? As he fell, the Quantuan prince, who was attacking another Woma guard, and the iron-blooded overlord also fell one after another. The two terrifying monsters instantly chopped down all the warriors in front of them, rushed into the Taoist priests and mages, and killed them indiscriminately, coupled with the assists from the dark warrior behind. It was like chopping melons and vegetables. One knife at a time. One knife at a time. The Taoist priests were busy making themselves invisible, and the mage players instantly became even more confused, hiding everywhere. Don't hide! Poison it! Shock it! Kill it! We have brand name equipment! The person who had difficulty naming the family lay on the ground and roared. He immediately went offline, came online, and appeared in the safe area of Beach City. After buying the random item, he continued to fly to Woma Temple. Chapter 81 A Tragedy Caused by a Platinum Ring The entrance to the third floor of Woma Temple. The players in front are completely confused. Two huge monsters rushed into the group of players, like chopping melons and vegetables, and cooperated with other monsters to kill many players in a frantic manner. The players fought back frantically. But because of the large number of people and the jam, they were often hacked to death by the Woma guards before they could attack them. He dragged the princess to hide on the edge and kept giving orders. The mage concentrates his firepower. Shock them. Electrocute them to death. There were 70 or 80 mages present. But most of them couldn't reach the Woma guards. There are still a lot of people who don't know how to use thunder and lightning among the remaining half. After all, skill books are expensive and not everyone can do it. Another point is that if you want to shock this Woma guard, you have to aim and lock it. This thing moves like the wind. And the players present are stuck. How can it be so easy to aim? After just a moment of slow work, the group of wizards and Talus players in front were almost dead. However, there were too many people, so the warriors behind pushed forward, and the Talus priests also moved forward, slashing and slapping the soul fire talisman. The health of the two Woma guards, who received special attention, was also slowly dropping. Soon it dropped to more than 400 drops of blood. Hurry up! They're about to explode! It's about to explode! The prince of the dynasty, and the Princess Kwangjo were hiding beside them excitedly, shouting, Come on! Be ready to snatch the equipment exploded by the boss at any time. But it's okay if they don't shout. But it's terrible that the shouting is going to explode. The player's attack slowed down instantly, and even almost stopped. Many people, including the mage behind, were rushing forward, trying to squeeze him beside the Woma guards. Nowadays, everyone knows that boss can explode good things. But haven't you seen the most perverted TNL wanderer in the server? They are all wearing platinum rings, which are rumored to be dropped by killing the boss. If you can grab one, you can sell it for a big price even if you don't use it. A fair share of the spoils? Don't be kidding. Everyone doesn't know each other in real life, and they are basically not familiar with them in the game. Most of them are temporary hires. If you can really grab a platinum ring, you don't have to pay for the employment fee for naming a poor person. Everyone has selfish motives let alone on an unfamiliar network. If you don't squeeze in now and help to beat him to death, then wouldn't you make wedding clothes for those Talus priests who are squatting nearby, waiting to grab things? No one is stupid. The player's attack stopped, but the monster's attacks didn't stop. Without the restraint of the mages, the Woma guards chopped down several people in the blink of an eye. The dark warriors not far away were even more terrifying. The bone needles kept spitting out, and they were not afraid of kidney failure. The fragile mages came out of invisibility and instantly became living targets. Rose and Rose fell down screaming. As misfortunes never come singly, the mage behind them suddenly started to commotion. At some point, the monsters further away on both sides of the entrance surrounded them from behind and beat them violently. The entrance terrain is like a convex top shape. Enter from the top of the convex shape. But in fact the entrance corridor is not small. The entrance is in the middle. And the players only clean the middle area leaving the far side near the wall untouched. Now the monsters in the distance are all surrounding, seemingly densely packed, instantly causing a devastating blow to the mage behind. Players kept screaming and falling down. Where did these monsters come from? Of course, it was Chin Hung who did it, seeing that the players are all fighting against the Woma guards. How can this be done? Seeing that everyone was squeezing forward and no one was paying attention to him, he immediately ran to the left and right to attract the monsters and immediately attracted all the monsters. Then he disappeared among the monsters, and kept picking up the equipment dropped by the players. Brother, these are my clothes. Give them back to me later. I have no clothes. 
A player who exploded the medium armor immediately prayed when he saw Chin Hung picking it up. You'd better exit quickly and come up to grab the boss. You can probably get some good stuff, Chin Hung said casually. Return it to the other party? Just kidding. How is that possible? A piece of medium-sized armor is still worth more than 100,000 gold coins. While he was talking, the angry voice of young master dynasty came from the front again. Fight quickly! Otherwise, I won't give you any money next time! Upon hearing this, the players who rushed forward and were still alive attacked the Woma guards one after another. Most of the attackers were mages. Because the Taoist priests who could become invisible had already crowded around the Woma guards to become invisible. And they were all waiting. The soldiers couldn't squeeze in or fight. They could only drink blood and pray that they could hold on for a while longer. He kept shouting at the Taoist priests to give him, Jaya Jiajia. But at this time, something strange happened. No Taoist priest added blood to others. Everyone is improvised and unfamiliar with each other. The boss is almost dead. Are you left to grab equipment? The indifference of the Taoist priests chilled the hearts of the soldiers. When their hearts were broken, they stopped fighting the monsters around them and just carried them around. Mages and Taoist priests, who couldn't become invisible, kept falling down. And people kept pushing up to receive the electricity. Finally, one of the Woma guards couldn't bear it any longer and exploded with a loud roar. Holy crap! Platinum ring! It's a platinum ring! Monster explosion! Everyone saw a sparkling platinum ring at a glance. Everyone rushed over excitedly. If the Woma guards reveal something else, they may not be so excited if they haven't seen it before. But the platinum ring? With the post of legend trumpet. Most people present knew about it. This is equipment that has not been officially introduced yet. And its attributes are super abnormal. Who doesn't want that? At this time, Chin Hung, who was hiding behind, his eyes lit up. Uh-huh. Are you wearing famous brand equipment? Very good. His hanging heart was finally relieved. As soon as brand name equipment comes out, these players are basically useless. The team must disperse. At this time, in front, an invisible Talus priest suddenly stood up. Ha ha ha! The moment he stood up, the player named Ligature Surgeon laughed wildly. The next moment, he was dumbfounded. Because I can't pick it up. I don't know who this boss is. It wasn't him who hit him anyway. There was protection time. Pung! The ligation surgeon made himself invisible to prevent the monster from attacking. He planned to wait until the protection time passed. But how can there be such a good thing in the world? The monsters no longer fight him. But the danger comes from the other players fighting alongside him. As soon as the ligation surgeon stood up, everyone's expressions changed drastically. When they saw that he couldn't pick it up, they all breathed a sigh of relief. In the next moment, more than 20 lightning bolts and a dozen soul fire talismans hit him in unison. In an instant, he fell down, and a lot of things exploded. What the heck? The ligation surgeon, who was instantly killed, was lying on the ground and yelling. He never expected that he would be attacked by his teammates. It can only be said that he underestimated the human heart. This is just a temporary team brought in to make up the numbers. Once something good comes out, isn't that a mess? The few hundred dollars promised by the boss are nothing for a platinum ring. Based on the current prices, if you think about it with your toes, this thing is worth at least several thousand yuan. The next moment, another Taoist priest named Tian Xiang stood up. But he was still beaten. Another night owl stepped on him and was beaten again. A super good thing was revealed. And the players were all red-eyed. Everyone is going crazy. No matter who is standing up, kill with all your might. Kill, 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 kill. Skipping chapter 82 does not affect viewing. Chapter 83 People's Hearts Are Unpredictable Walmart Entrance on the Third Floor A platinum ring lay shining on the floor. All players are going crazy. They ignore all the monsters around them and attack any player who dares to stand up. This is not the scariest thing. The butterfly effect has occurred. The development of things was beyond everyone's expectation. The players in front frantically attacked their companions and pushed forward as hard as they could. The players at the back couldn't squeeze in couldn't even see, and were so anxious that they were running around. At this time, I don't know who took the lead and shouted, Kill! Grab a platinum ring worth hundreds of thousands! It's gone if it's too late! Kill! The words have fallen. A soul-fire talisman hit a mage blocking the road ahead. The mage was being chopped down by a monster next to him. And the soul-fire talisman killed him instantly. He lay on the ground with a cry. I'm going to throw away your mother! He cursed instantly. But then another soul fire talisman was shot at another mage with residual health. 
killing him instantly with the same blow. Whoever stops me from grabbing the platinum ring, whoever stops me will die. Someone takes the lead in causing trouble. The players who couldn't squeeze in from behind stopped hesitating in an instant. And various attacks hit the players blocking the way in front. Thunder and lightning. Soul fire talisman. Fireball. The soldiers were slashing forward like crazy. The mages are going crazy. Everyone was excited by the value of hundreds of thousands. As long as the player is in front of him. He will kill him. Hey hey. Chin Hung chuckled and withdrew from the crazy group of players again. Hiding in a dark corner. Just now. He was the one who took the lead in stirring up trouble. Beating a mage with a weak blood to death with a slap. To his surprise. His name did not change color and was still white. Sure enough. Killing a player with one strike will not result in system penalties. This setting continues the legendary game from the previous life. Therefore, he immediately killed another player with residual health, completely breaking the last sanity of the players. And the crazy killing began, seeing the players losing their minds and killing each other crazily in front of him. Jean Hung smiled with satisfaction. It can be said that the players have reached this point where they are killing each other. And it can be said that it was entirely under his control. He had planned all this since he seduced the two Woma guards before. As a hardcore legendary player, he has seen too many teams turn against each other over equipment. Especially for such a huge team form temporarily. It would be okay if they didn't produce the best equipment. Once it does, unless the first person picks it up and runs away, there will definitely be chaos. At this time, as long as the player's nerves are stirred up a little, they can kill each other. When players bleed blood for a piece of equipment, can they form a second team again in a short time to open up Wasteland? It's simply impossible. After the front foot fight was over and he was killed. Why the H? I am I stupid enough to go fight the boss with you? As a result, he was killed by his teammates in the end? You are so beautiful. It's simply impossible. These more than 500 people can be said to be the highest level group of people in the game currently. After experiencing such a battle, they would not say much about naming the difficult households. Within a few days, they would not be able to form a large team of such a high level. This gives Jean Hung more time to deal with the next attack from the players. This is his plan to disintegrate the player team. Although this plan may lose some brand name equipment, such as this platinum ring. But compared to the consequences of players getting through Woma 3, what is this loss? As long as he firmly dominates Woma 3 for a while, he can produce several platinum rings and maybe even special teleportation and memory rings. But let the players clear up at Woma San, and the leader will basically have no chance with him in the future. Therefore, it is very worthwhile to lose a small profit in exchange for a big profit. Boss, it's bad. A Woma guard exploded a platinum ring, and all the players went crazy and were killing each other. What to do? The massacre of the players immediately reached the ears of the poor people who were on their way to Woma 3. Naturally, some of these players are his friends. How could he not tell him about such a big matter? The person talking to him was none other than his best friend. Dragon Tattoo. What? A fight started? Ha ha. Good fight. Boss. Aren't you angry? These players are all hired by you. Dragon Tattoo was a little confused. You're so angry. They actually started fighting. I don't have to give you the money. And I don't have to pay for the equipment. Ha ha. Ah. The boss is wise. Grab. Snatch the platinum ring from me. I can't squeeze in. There are too many people. Damn. Someone is shocking me. There was no sound from the other side. Which made the person, who was still using random scrolls, whizzing around on the second floor of Walmart feel itchy. A few hundred people fighting? What a scene. And I. What kind of bad luck is this that you can't fly to the entrance? At this time, all players were under double attacks from monsters and players and players continued to die in large areas. What left everyone speechless was that even though so many players had died, the ring still couldn't be picked up, and they didn't even know who hit it. Of course, it is not ruled out that this guy died on the ground and did not go offline. As long as the player who killed the Woma guard does not go offline, even if he dies, there will still be protection time. It is estimated that many players who died had their videos turned on to record the tragedy. This is a big event. When it is posted online, you can make a fortune just from the traffic it brings. Chin Hung is naturally not idle either. He is also attacking the players. However, he only attacked players with residual health. With his attack power. As soon as he called over, a player with residual health would immediately fall down. He would pick up equipment by the way and feel as comfortable as he wanted. More than half a minute passed quickly. 
and only a hundred or so of the hundreds of players were left. And all the others died. And these more than a hundred players are falling faster. The remaining players are pushing forward and attacking desperately. As long as the ring is still there, they will not stop going crazy. At this moment, suddenly, a large group of monsters appeared among the players. This makes players die even faster. Jin Hung was about to follow him. But many players rushed over from outside. The leader was none other than Prince Kwangtu and several family members. They all died before the Woma guards died. Just arrived now. The prodigal son of the end of the world? Cut him! When the prince saw Qin Hung, his eyes turned red. He immediately rushed over, brandished the sword in his hand, and slashed at him. Qin Hung chuckled, turned around and ran into the darkness on the left, disappearing deep into the passage in the blink of an eye. The entrance passage is very wide, and the players took advantage of the large number of people and only cleaned the middle. Not both sides. Qin Hung also attracted a lot of monsters earlier. Boss, do you want to pursue me? A family member asked. Chase them. Grab the platinum ring. Hack them to death. Ha ha. It's really a big scene. At this time, another group of people rushed in. And the leader was named the Poor Households. He and Prince Kwang Tuo looked at each other and rushed into the group of players with their men. Begin to kill fiercely. Chapter 84 The leader of Woma clears the place. The entrance to the third floor of Woma Temple. The monster roars. Players are going crazy. The remaining 70 or so players were killed by monsters and others. And soon there were more than 30 people left. Most of these people are from the four major forces. The family named Difficult brought five people. The young master of the dynasty took a few people. The iron-blooded overlord took a few people. And the Kwangtua family brought a few people. They have Taoist priests under them. And they are still insisting on making them invisible. At this time, another Taoist priest named Yuechen stood up, but was immediately killed by a group of people and monsters. Brush. Princess Kwanja, who had been squatting for a long time, finally stood up and stepped on the platinum ring. She had been not far away for a long time, and she had never dared to go up. Until now, all the individual players were almost dead. And then she stood up. Protect me! Share the dividends! Princess Kwanja turned invisible and smiled at everyone. Okay! The iron-blooded overlord and others did not chop her, but turned to chop at the remaining players. There were still about ten players left and they immediately fought back with all their might. But how could they defeat this group of wolf-like players? And they fell one after another. Seeing this, Princess Kwangtu smiled proudly. It seems that this platinum ring has been obtained, and it can make up for the previous losses. Previously, when she came in for the first time, she was instantly killed by the Dark Warrior before she could see the situation clearly. A Z-bead necklace dropped, which almost made her mad. It would be nice to be able to pick up a platinum ring now. She looked at the other woman guard, who was still attacking crazily in the crowd. And her eyes were filled with joy. She didn't know what this woman guard would explode if he killed it. But I guess there's no chance. Because the dark warriors in front kept shooting bone needles. Players among them kept falling. Just as the remaining players were killing each other. A figure ran over at high speed from the depths of the hall. He ran past everyone in a flash. The people who were fighting fiercely didn't even look at him. The next moment, a huge roar sounded startling everyone. Sun Shun looked up and saw a huge monster with wings on its back rushing into the group of players like the wind. Those two huge claws carry strong lightning light and they slap the player hard. Those two claws are so fast that you can't even see their shadows. Ah! A player is down. Ah! Another one falls, coupled with the constant attacks of dark warriors and woma guards. In the blink of an eye, more than ten players who were not invisible fell down. There were only a dozen invisible players left, standing among the monsters and not daring to move. It's the leader of Woma! The invisible princess Kwangzhao screamed in horror as she stood on top of the platinum ring. Leader Woma? Everyone was shocked. When they took a closer look, they felt a sudden pain in their balls. How could they possibly beat him at this time? There were monsters all around. Ha ha! It's okay! You can go first! After checking this ring, we will organize people to come in and beat the Woma leader. Princess Kwangtu smiled. No, we will protect you to prevent other players from rushing in and killing you. Prince Kwangtu also laughed. It seems that the biggest gain from this attack on Mama San is their Kwangjiao family. Ha ha, how could someone come here to kill me? While Princess Kwang was talking, two poison spells fell on her, followed by another soul fire talisman hitting her behind. In an instant, 38 points of terrifying damage floated from above her head. 
The princess turned around and saw her old enemy standing next to a group of dark warriors, winking at her. It's you? You bastard. Princess Quantu yelled in anger. Take medicine quickly to increase your blood. She herself also hit Qin Hung with a soul fire talisman with her backhand. But it only caused a pitiful 20 points of damage. In the blink of an eye, the two of them were attacking each other. It's the prodigal son of Tianya. Hack him! Seeing his sister being attacked, he dragged the prince so hard that his eyes turned red. And he immediately rushed towards Qin Hung with his men. At this time, he only had two warriors and a Taoist priest left. And all the mages were dead. The Taoist priest was too far away and the soul fire talisman could not reach Qin Hung. So he could only rush forward. Idiot! Qin Hung showed a mocking look and ignored these idiots. And just dragged the princess fiercely. Sure enough, before the Quantai prince and the others took three steps, they were all beaten by the leader of Woma and a group of younger brothers. The jingle exploded with a huge amount of stuff. See this. The young master of the dynasty and the iron-blooded overlord, who originally wanted to help, immediately did not dare to move. There are also only a few of them left. And if they rush out, they are seeking death. Name the big brother from a household in need. How quickly? At this time, Princess Kwong shouted loudly. She could no longer hold on. And the sun water on her body disappeared after being pushed for a few times. Just by adding blood and drinking medicine. You can't increase it at all. The prodigal son's attack is too fierce. She couldn't breathe at all. A few more blows and she will definitely be killed. Not far from her. There was a mage named Difficult Household. He was also the only mage present who could shock Qin Hung. At this time, he was in a state of invisibility. But this did not prevent him from shooting Qin Hung. When the master heard this, he was about to take action. But the person who had trouble naming him stopped him in a hurry. Don't fight! My friend! He is your friend? Princess Kwantu explained. Yes! The person who had difficulty naming nodded. Okay! Okay! After Princess Kwanja said three good words in a row, she finally couldn't bear it anymore and fell down. Qin Hung was moving towards her when he attacked. As soon as she fell, Qin Hung immediately stepped on her. But what made Qin Hung speechless was that he couldn't pick up the ring. Actually, it's a long story. From the time the platinum ring broke out to the time of the fight, less than two minutes have passed. The players were killing each other. And with the monsters clearing the area, they died quite quickly. When he saw that he couldn't pick it up, Qin Hung became anxious. He immediately bent down and dug obscenely into the soft part of the princess. Asshole! I'm not done with you anymore! The princess, who was not willing to be humiliated, immediately went offline. Qin Hung continued to dig up the corpses below. The people who held the corpses immediately cursed and got off one after another. Let me tell you here! The corpse in the legendary game is lying on the ground. And the corpse can be seen. But when the player steps on it, it is the same as stepping on flat ground. Think of the corpse as a painting. Qin Hang's obscene and weird movements made the people from the poor family speechless for a while. With black lines appearing on their foreheads. This guy is so obscene. Too perverted? Not sparing the corpses? Only Qin Hung quietly wiped his sweat. He doesn't want to be a pervert either. But the legend has a hidden setting. If the corpse is lying on an object, it can be automatically picked up after the protection time has passed. If he doesn't humiliate the people below, this platinum ring will definitely not be his later. But before he could breathe a sigh of relief, a green and red poison spell had already landed on him. Then two soul fire talismans hit him in unison. More than a quarter of his health was knocked out in one blow. Chapter 85 The Final Decisive Battle The Entrance to the Third Floor of Woma Temple Bang Bang Qin Hung, who was standing on the platinum ring, was suddenly poisoned and attacked by two soul fire talismans. More than 40 drops of blood were knocked out at once. At this time, Qin Hung, who was level 21, had 140 drops of blood, and almost one-third of his blood volume was knocked out in one fell swoop. Those who attacked him were the men of the Iron-Blooded Overlord and the young master of the dynasty. Both of them had a Taoist priest left. Qin Hung was standing on the platinum ring. They were able to attack Qin Hung. Now attacking Qin Hung at the same time was obviously a secret deal. After all, the platinum ring is too tempting. Qin Hung is a friend of the poor family. Not their friend. Kill him first. Snort. Qin Hang's eyes turned cold. And he swiped poison on each of them. And then hit a Taoist priest in the face with a scarf. He sucked away 38 drops of the opponent's blood in one go. There are still 102 drops of blood. Obviously the other party is also level 21. 
Chin Hung wasn't surprised either. He hadn't leveled up all day long. And the players here were basically the most high-end players in the entire server. The prince is already at level 22. And the Taoist priest is at level 21. It is not unusual at all. If they hadn't been at level 21 and knew the collective invisibility technique, other people wouldn't have been well protected by them. He was ravaged to death by monsters long ago. In the blink of an eye, Xin Hung was fighting with two Taoist priests. Neither side sent out skeletons. There were so many monsters that it was useless to summon them. Don't fight! My friend! Seeing the two sides fighting, the person with difficulty naming quickly shouted. But he obviously overestimated his status in the minds of others. Ha uh ha! -huh. He is your friend! Not ours! Indeed! We don't know him! If it were you, we would never rob him! Fight quickly! The protection time is almost up! The iron-blooded overlord and the young master of the dynasty laughed and did not give face to the poor family at all. They don't know who the poor households are in reality. They only know that this guy has two bad guys. Playing games? Killing people and grabbing equipment is too normal for their union players. Not to mention that they only kill the friends of the poor people. Even if they stand on a treasure. As long as the benefits are great enough. They will kill them. As he spoke, Jean Hang's blood volume went up and down. And the Taoist priest he attacked also saw his blood volume go up and down. Apparently both of them are working on powerful sun water and potions. What the heck? Kill the iron-blooded old man. The other party didn't give him any face. And the name difficulty household whose self-esteem was insulted instantly became angry. He immediately commanded one of his talus priests, Xingming Xiaodao, and another mage, Xingming Xiaofa, to attack the iron-blooded old talus, who was being bombed by Qin Hung. A lightning spell and a soul fire talisman instantly fell on the iron-blooded old man. Knock him to the ground in an instant. And I kill the iron-blooded overlord and the other two iron-blooded warriors suddenly became furious and immediately attacked the nearby households and trails. The five people immediately got into a fight. The mage in the distance also struck with lightning to help them. The six people were fighting on the side. And Qin Hung was also continuing to fight with another Taoist priest. At this moment, the bell rang, and Qin Hung finally picked up the platinum ring. Walk! Seeing Qin Hung pick it up, the prince of the imperial court greeted his Taoist priests and flew away immediately. Jean Hung attacks the pervert. If he doesn't leave, he will definitely die when the potion is finished. As for the Woma leader and Woma guard next to them, these two things are impossible to fight. Surrounded by a bunch of dark warriors and monsters, whoever gets beaten will die. After the people from the imperial dynasty left, Jean Hung immediately cast an ant's scarf on the iron-blooded overlord. His already low blood volume was reduced to just over 20 drops, and he was knocked to the ground by a bolt of lightning that followed. A large amount of equipment exploded with a clanging sound, including the heavy armor he was wearing. What the heck? We are not done yet! The predator cursed angrily and withdrew. The remaining two predators saw that their boss was dead. How could they dare to stay? With a whoosh, he flew out of the Woma temple. I don't know whether I escaped through the dungeon or returned directly to the city. Ha ha! Congratulations! Brother! It's too dangerous here! Let's leave first! After naming the poor man, he bowed his hands to Qin Hingdong, took a step forward, picked up the heavy armor, and ran back to the city in the blink of an eye. At this moment, Qin Hung saw that his blood volume had dropped by more than half. It is estimated that if you wait one more second, you will have to hang up. Thank you! Qin Hung bowed his hands to the others. The remaining three people looked at some of the equipment on the ground around them, and then looked at the Woma leaders, who were watching eagerly. Finally, they gave up their plan to pick up other equipment handed over to Qin Hung, and flew away. They're all gone. So I'm not polite. Ha ha ha. With a chuckle, Qin Hung began to pick up the equipment on the ground and check them one by one. A package of equipment was quickly picked up. After thinking for a while, he led the leader of Woma to the hall inside. By the way, he used the poisoning technique to lure a bunch of monsters over and refill the space just opened by the players. Don't be afraid of 10,000. Just be afraid of what happens. In this way, even if the player comes in and wants to kill the leader, he must first pass another Woma guard and dark warrior. By then, he had returned. With a whoosh, he returned to the city, came to the warehouse, and checked the equipment in the package. An ordinary platinum ring, five small exquisite pieces, and the rest are around level 20 equipment. Not bad. After quickly storing his things, Qin Hong went out to buy random items and prepared to go to Woma temple again. But as soon as he went out, 
he heard yelling and cursing in the area. Mu Shui Wei. Name the poor households and pay them quickly. As a man, you have to keep your word. Named a needy household. I lost my equipment. Didn't you say I would compensate you? Why am I a grandson now? Are you silent? Cloud Emperor God of Killing. Come out! You bastard. Pay me your wages. Pay me back my equipment. Fearless Lone Wolf. What the heck's crazy family tricked us into fighting the boss and even killed us? The Vasectomy Surgeon. What the heck's Dynasty Union tricked us into fighting the boss and even killed us? Game Mystery. What the heck's Iron-Blooded Union tricked us into fighting the boss and even killed us? Ridiculous. In the end, the Platinum Ring was picked up by the Prodigal Son from the end of the world. Ha ha! Cool! The players cursed and cursed. And those from the Dynasty Guild and Quan Zhao family were not to be outdone. Prince of the Dynasty. You idiots! You started killing each other for a Platinum Ring. Do you blame us? Dragging the Prince. A bunch of trash can kill each other with a Platinum Ring. And they still want wages. Just dream. The Iron-Blooded Overlord. A bunch of rubbish. They are also rubbish in naming the poor households. They actually help outsiders beat us. Households with difficulty in naming. Ha ha. You are killing each other. Do you blame me? Don't be me. The Iron-Blooded Overlord. I have already told you that you are my friend. But if you still fight me, if I don't kill you, then who will I kill? Don't be so whiny. Why don't you come out of the safe area and challenge yourself? A group of people stood in the Tuching safety zone and had a verbal spat, which made Qin Hung feel happy. This was exactly the result he wanted. Since these big forces are fighting among themselves, he doesn't have to worry about them attacking Wama San again in a short time. Instead of participating in this boring scolding, Qin Hung quickly bought the random items and rushed towards the Woma Temple again. This time, naming a poor household can help him in turn, which makes him feel happy. This friend is not in vain. In fact, he could still defeat the two Taoist priests even if he didn't take any action to name the households with difficulty, because he still had half a pack of powerful solar water at that time. This was a strategic resource prepared to grab equipment. Of course, Qin Hung would not bring less. But when someone else helped, he still recognized his friend. Well, it's decided. This time he will help. After defeating the boss, he will come back and sell him the super heavy armor. Just be less shady on him. I wonder if he has any gold coins. Alas, how many gold coins will he need to sell? If it's missing, I'll be at a loss. A bit difficult to do. Chapter 86 Beware of Guarding the Woma Hall Boo hoo hoo. After a while, I randomly flew to the entrance of Woma Temple. And there were more people here cursing the family and naming the poor households. With a chuckle, Qin Hung entered the Woma Temple. Qin Hung no longer plans to look for the Woma guards on the first and second floors of Woma. I'm sure you can't find them. Some have been beaten up, flying all the way to the entrance to the second and third floors of Woma. I saw that there was no one around. He put on his invisibility, covered his head and walked in. On on on. A lot of monsters appeared in front of him. But Qin Hung was randomly attracted by a pile of potions at his feet. It seems that someone just came in without fear of death and was immediately killed. Probably a mage. Qin Hung stepped on a Yan Yu, which was a level 20 mage weapon. Magic one third. Not bad. Can be sold for more than 100,000 gold coins. There are still not enough monsters here. Looking at the monsters around him, Qin Hung frowned. After being attacked by players, although he attracted some, the monsters at the door were not as dense as before. It seems that we will get more Dark Warriors later. Qin Hung came to the middle of the Dark Warriors and began to fight the Woma guards. There were a lot of Dark Warriors blocking it. And the Woma kept turning and turning. But couldn't turn around. He was so anxious that he stomped his feet and was hacked to death by Qin Hung for more than a minute. This time, the Woma guards didn't reveal anything good. Qin Hung went inside and quickly found the leader of Woma. He repeated his old tricks luring a bunch of monsters to surround him, and then attack the leader of Woma. While he was chatting, a small voice came over to chat privately. Brother, where are you? I gave you a scroll to return to the city. I got a lot of them. Uh, no need. You can sell it to someone else. Qin Hung was a little confused. No. Mom said you can't owe others anything. If you don't want it, I will keep chatting with you privately. Chatting with you privately. Chatting with you privately and annoying you to death. Stop. 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 Okay. Okay. I want it. I want it to be okay. A black line appeared on Qin Hang's forehead. He was completely defeated by this little girl. 
Ha ha. Isn't that right? Where are you? I'll come find you. The little sly voice came over proudly. Me? I killed the leader of Wilma in Wilma Temple. Come here. Chin Hung said with a chuckle. You're bragging. You're not a good brother. Came the dissatisfied voice of the little boy. I'm really beating up the leader of Wilma. I swear to God. Chin Hung vowed. TCH. Mom said that a man's mouth is a liar. I don't believe you. Unless you send me a video. I will believe you. Gamers can send game screenshots and game videos to each other. Game videos? Jean Hung felt dizzy after hearing this. Of course, he would not send the video of him beating the leader of Wilma to the little boy. Even though she looks like a little girl. Who knows if she will post it online to show off next moment. Jean Hung could only smile and said, Okay, I lied to you. I'm leveling up in the centipede cave. And I'll find you later when I'm done. Jean Hung said casually, Brother, you are dishonest. You just ran into Wilma Temple. I saw you playing bats in the hall. Jean Hung. I'm really no longer in Wilma Temple. There are too many people here. Now I'm in Centipede Cave. If you don't believe me, come to Wilma Temple to find me and see if you can find me. I don't believe it. You can still come to me on the third floor of Walmart. Okay. Then I'm going to mine in the Viper Valley. Remember to find me when you come down to the Viper Valley. Otherwise I will bore you to death. Bore you to death. Okay, okay. While speaking, the leader of Wilma made a loud sound and was beaten by Chin Hung. This time, the leader of Wilma still released a brand name equipment. Memory Necklace. Attack February 4th. Weight 1. Durability 8 8 Requires level 26. This necklace is a part of the memory suit. And its single piece attack is very powerful. The attack is 2 force. Which is more powerful than the ghost necklace, which has an attack of 0 out of 5. In addition to its powerful attack power. The memory necklace can also be combined with other memory equipment to form a memory set. Memory helmet. Memory necklace. Memory bracelet. Memory ring. These four pieces of equipment make up the most powerful team fighting set in Legend. As long as a player wears a complete set of memory suits, they can teleport their teammates to them from anywhere. This is very perverted for hunting treasures and killing people. Among the entire memory set, the memory ring is the most difficult to obtain. In the Legend of Previous Life game, the server Chin Hung was on had no more than five memory rings in total. He owns one set himself. And he bought it from a retired high-level player at a huge price. As for the memory ring, among the legendary monsters, only the leader Wilma can reveal it. Legend has it that when you fight the first Wilma leader, you must explode the memory ring or the teleportation ring. Unfortunately, Chin Hung hit him several times. But nothing happened. I don't know if it's because of my shame, or because it's difficult to change the data here. In addition to this memory necklace, Leer Wilma also released a book called Fire Sword Technique, which is also pretty good. After putting away the other equipment, I don't know if it was because of the Z-Bead necklace, but this time I found three small exquisite items. Skull Helmet. Defense 2-4. Weight 5. Durability 6-8. Requires 30 attack points. This helmet has a little more defense than the original one and is a very good item for warriors. After all, the skull helmet itself is difficult to get. Chin Hung defeated so many bosses, but only two. As for the Wilma mobs, even after killing so many, they didn't even explode. The level 22 clothes are less explosive. Most of them are level 18 bracelets, level 20 rings, weapons, etc. The second best item is the ebony bracelet from Demon 2, which has a little more magic. The third item is a magic one-quarter magnifying glass, which has a little more magic than the original one. Chin Hung was beaming with joy when three pieces of equipment came out at once. While looking at the equipment in the package, Chin Hung was suddenly startled, and his face suddenly showed joy. He actually saw a bottle of blessing oil. It's just that he didn't see it when he was picking up the things just now. It was probably buried under piles of potions. The leader of Wilma had never exploded before, which made Chin Hung a little suspicious thinking that the leader would not explode. Now finally a bottle is out. After beating the leader, Chin Hung did not leave immediately to the Corpse King Palace. He came to the entrance first and cleared out a large area of Wama monsters behind the pile of Dark Warriors. During this period, two pieces of equipment and several bottles of potions were dropped. Then it took an hour to lure all the Dark Warriors in the hall to the group of Dark Warriors one by one. After slowly accumulating, Chin Tian felt that this would not work because if there were too many, the Dark Warrior behind would not be able to reach the entrance. So, 
he lured the other dark monsters to both sides of the entrance. Seeing hundreds of dark warriors densely surrounding a semicircular iron barrel array at the entrance, Jean Hung laughed with satisfaction. He had thought that every time he came in from now on, he would lure the dark warriors that spawned in the hall and pile them up here. As long as there are hundreds of other woman monsters in front of them, these dark warriors will become a nightmare for all players who enter here. Who can withstand a volley from hundreds of dark warriors? Want to come here to fight the leader of Woma? Hum hum. Have you asked me if Chin Hung has? Thinking that the players would not be able to enter here for a long time. And that this place would be his cornucopia. Chin Hung smiled so hard that his mouth turned up. Chapter 87 Another Entrance to the Corpse King's Palace It was already past 7.30 in the evening when Chin Hung returned to Beach City. What left him speechless was that there were still many players in Beach City frantically cursing the poor people, dragging the princess, and others. It seems that whether it is a legendary player in the previous life or a legendary player in this Chinese country, for equipment, that is very important. Thinking about it, it was obviously promised to give hundreds of wages and equipment. But in the end, they were not given anything. And the equipment even exploded. Isn't this depressing? But these people should not be the most unlucky. The most unlucky ones were the players who got popular at the time and the players who dropped the best equipment. Hundreds of people died some of whom were killed red. He had sneak attacks on many famous players at that time. The death of these famous players was the most painful, and they went directly back to the famous village. As for the top-notch equipment falling off, it goes without saying that it would probably make them angry to death. Can you not scold them? I remember that in the legend of his previous life, when one of his friends was trading with others, someone used a special method to force his kitchen knife away. I was so angry at that time that I chased the liar and said good things to him all night long. After the scammer finally ignored him, he stood in the safe area and scolded the scammer crazily for a month. After naming the poor family, he stopped scolding people in the safe area. Chin Hung chatted privately and found that this guy had gone to Centipede Cave. Brother, there are too many people in Woma Temple. You can't go down to the third floor. There are people on the first and second floors. What a fart. Come to the cave in Death Valley. There are many monsters here, as well as a big boss. We also defeated an evil pincer just now. But unfortunately, no good things came out. After talking a lot about naming the poor households, Chin Hung was asked to go to Centipede Cave to practice leveling with him. Chin Hung decisively refused. He himself has to go to the Corpse King's Palace. So he won't go to the Centipede Cave. The thought of drawing him to the Corpse King's Palace flashed through his mind. But he gave it up again. He may not be short of money to name needy households. And he won't talk nonsense. But what about the people under him? Besides, if there are more than one person, he will share it less. It's not necessary. Don't you feel comfortable making a fortune in silence? No people, no faces, but don't know hearts. No matter in which world. The last thing that cannot be challenged is human nature. In the legend of his previous life, he once lent a dragon-marked sword to a brother in the guild who often played equipment with him. But it was lost after he lent it. Others simply stopped paying him back. This is true in the game. But in reality, because he has a little money. Many relatives come to him from time to time to borrow money. I have borrowed tens of thousands, tens of thousands, and more than one hundred thousand. But only one relative took the initiative to repay the money. He has not asked about other relatives, and others have not returned or mentioned them. Just act like he never borrowed it. Therefore, Jean Hung, who had been severely beaten by various societies, would certainly not share such a big secret casually, even if he was afraid that after he said it, Others would squat in the Corpse King Palace 24 hours a day to spawn monsters. He wouldn't have to fight them. This is not the same as the secret passage under Shabbat Clothing Store. That place is useful in the early stage. It can only be said to be a leveling map. If there was a Corpse King inside, Jean Hung would definitely not tell anyone about it. Selling, Magic Shield. Minimum 250,000 gold coins. Private chat with him if you want. No bargaining. With his mind on his mind, Chin Hung was about to fly away to the abandoned mining area after buying the random item. But he heard a player selling, Magic Shield, among the shouts and curses. 250,000 gold coins. The same price as what he bought from the merchant. It is estimated that the merchant's purchase price does not exceed 200,000 gold coins. Chin Hung didn't bother to bargain with him. He just found the deal and kept it in the warehouse. Anyway, now that he sees players selling advanced skill books, he buys them. Call out. You? Chin Hung flew randomly several times in a row and entered the Viper Valley. 
He does not plan to enter from the east of the abandoned mining area this time. If you always enter from one place, it will definitely arouse other suspicion. Judging from the posts posted by the legendary account, someone has also entered the Viper Valley. Then it should be those entry points. He just needs to pretend to mine. And when the time comes, it will be, okay. Entering the Viper Valley, Jin Hung did not just leave randomly, but ran to the Viper Village. Here, there are even more players who come back from mining to sell or Weyong Weyong. Jin Hung clicked on the veteran at the door and teleported to the grocery store. He opened the store anxiously and took a look. My eyes suddenly brightened up. Five bottles of blessed oil. Three bottles of Aries oil. All sold for 20,000 a bottle. Jin Hung immediately bought it with trembling eyes. Sure enough, there are a lot of players who are short of money. This thing sells for 10,000 gold coins. And there are quite a few players selling it. Aries oil, after use. It can restore the endurance of the weapon. Price, 10,000 gold coins. This thing, at present, is really a waste for repairing weapons. Repairing his current level 20 weapon would only cost 1 or 2,000 gold coins. Only brand name weapons are expensive to repair. An awesome repair requires more than 500,000 or 600,000 gold coins. When Jin Hung was playing Legend in his previous life, there were many embarrassing scenes where players who couldn't afford to repair a kitchen knife went to mine. Jin Hong went to the warehouse to store it in a happy mood. This feeling of picking up leaks was so good. By the way, I took out the one-third Dao Technique Banyu, replaced it with the Subduing Demon, and took it to be repaired. The repair cost wasn't expensive, so he didn't care anymore. There are also several players here selling three intermediate skill books. Holy Armor, Explosive Flame, and Assassination Swordsmanship. Jin Hung bought them all one by one. Anyway, he has a lot of money, so he is not afraid. I won't buy the ore for the time being. I'll finish the work together soon. After a few random moments, Jin Hung arrived at the abandoned mining area of Viper Valley. As soon as you enter, the mine walls on both sides of the mine tunnel are full of players wearing civilian clothes and light armor mining. Click. 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 Kakaka. After a brief inspection, Jin Hung ran through the intersection and saw three main passages in front of him. Along the rightmost, that is, the bottom passage. I continued to run forward for a while and came to the middle of the passage. Jin Hung finally stopped. If I remember correctly, this is where the Viper Valley mining area entered the Corpse King Palace. At this time, this place was also densely packed with people mining. Seeing Jin Hung coming over, the group of people glanced at him. After a few more glances at the cuckold on his head, many people continued to dig. But some people gathered around him and greeted Jin Hung enthusiastically. Wow! The prodigal brother is here! Brother prodigal son! You cuckold is so perverted! Oh my god! ZB necklace! Two pieces of platinum! One third Taoist half moon! Two Tao two bracelets! The whole body is the ultimate pervert! So awesome! A group of people were talking and shouting, which immediately caused other players who were mining to stop what they were doing and gather around to watch the fun. This is what legend is like. Whoever has good equipment can immediately attract a crowd of people to watch. In the game of Qin Hang's previous life, when he wore the first Tianzuan Taoist robe in the region, he was chased from Tuching to the seventh floor of the pig cave. Ah! Thank you everyone! Can you please give in? I don't have any money to buy medicine. Come and dig up some money to buy medicine! Qin Hingong cupped his hands and was wary at the same time. He was afraid that a group of players would suddenly attack him. This kind of thing had happened before. Bang! At this moment, a small fireball hit him from behind. Depend on! I'm so jealous! Jin Hung turned his head and looked around and suddenly saw Xiao Dodian standing outside the crowd. His face flushed, waving to him excitedly. Brother, are you here to find me? Chapter 88 Team Up Entering the Corpse King's Palace by Accident The first floor of the Viper Valley Abandoned Mining Area In the middle of the lowest passage, Jin Hung and Xiao Dong were digging side by side. Brother, why are you here? Are you very poor? Little boy blinked and asked in disbelief while digging. In her impression, this eldest brother is extremely rich. He bought it back to the city for 5,000 and gave her almost 100,000 more gold coins. Is 100,000 gold coins a lot? A lot of. Now the value of gold coins is still very high. Still at the ratio of 10,000 to 2 Chinese coins. 100,000 gold coins is 20 Chinese coins. She sold 150,000 gold coins to a gold metal merchant that day. And she was so happy at the time. 
because she can finally make money. This is a good start. Yes, very poor. Jean Hung replied casually, glanced at the little girl and found that she had just reached level 11. He was also wearing a commoner, a gold necklace, a small bracelet, and a hexagonal ring. He was really dressed in rubbish. Ah, I have no money, but I have already sold the 100,000 gold coins, so I can't pay you back. Otherwise, I'll buy it back for you. Hearing that Chin Hung had no money, the little boy stopped the hoe in his hand, feeling a little anxious and uneasy. Fool, I said I would give it to you, so I gave it to you. My brother is rich, but he just came, came, to see you. If you don't believe it, I can trade you one million gold coins immediately. Chin Hung silently chatted in private. He really felt that this girl wanted to buy back the gold coins and give them back to him. So he quickly wanted to dispel her idea. The little boy looked unbelieving. I don't believe it. Show me the deal. Jean Hung had no choice but to stop mining. Turned around. Opened the transaction column with Xiaoyan. And put one million on it. Just click the deal. Yes. Click the deal. Leveling up alone is boring. So Jean Hung naturally wants to find some friends in the game. Jean Hung was not disappointed. After the little boy exclaimed. He cancelled the transaction. I didn't ask for the one million gold coins. Do you believe it? Why don't you want it? Jean Hung bent down and continued to dig. After calming down, the little boy shook his head. Mom said, Don't take other people's things randomly. Big brother, thank you for coming to see me. I am very happy. I will give you an extra scroll to return to the city later. After saying that, Xiao Budian got up, ran to the place where others were mining, and picked up the garbage ores discarded by others one by one. Sheen hung. Why don't you go leveling? It's taken so long to reach level 11? Jean Hung asked casually. What's the point of leveling? I don't like fighting and killing. It would be great if I could mine and make money now. I calculated that if I spend one hour mining, I can earn more than 20,000 gold coins. In one day, I can earn at least 70 Chinese coins. The little one said excitedly. Humph. I want to poach the game company until it goes bankrupt. This, Jean Hung calculated silently and said speechlessly. Earning 70 Chinese dollars a day? It takes at least more than 10 hours of mining. Right. Don't you have to go to school? Go to school? I, I, I won't go to school. The little boy's face darkened. Jean Hung was surprised. Ah, why? How can you do it if you don't go to school? You don't understand. Forget it. Let's not talk about it anymore. It's great to be able to mine. The little boy exclaimed again in a blink of an eye and jumped up to pick up the garbage ores thrown by others. Jean Hung couldn't bear to see it. That one is worthless and only takes up a position. So don't you want it? It's okay. I have a lot of time. This is all money. Mom said, Don't waste it. The little one jumped back. Why do you always like to jump and walk? I'm happy. Jean Hung. I mined for a while with the little boy. And during this period, I spawned a few zombies. They were all snatched away by Jean Hung brutally. And they were so frightened that zombies spawned out from behind and no one else dared to get on. The little one happily jumped up and down to help Chin Hung fight monsters. So Chin Hung had no choice but to pull her into the team. Chin Hung didn't pick up the gold coins or potions dropped by the zombies. Brother, don't you want it? If you don't want it, I'll just pick it up. After asking Chin Hung's opinion, the little boy stepped on it happily. Brother, wait a minute. After I finish digging this package, I will return to the village and give you a scroll to return to the city. The little boy has not forgotten to give Jean Hung a scroll to return to the city. Jean Hung chuckled. He really didn't want to talk unnecessary nonsense to a principled little girl. After a while, a bald zombie wearing a yellow robe finally emerged from the ground next to Jean Hung. Jean Hung cast a poison spell on it, slapped two antis, slashed the little skeleton, and added a small fireball to the little skull and died. Wow! Another gold coin dropped. The little one happily rushed forward to step on the gold coin. Careful! Seeing that the other party was about to step into the hole made by the yellow robe zombie, Jean Hang's expression changed drastically. If you guessed it correctly, it is the entrance to the Corpse King's palace. If this little girl falls in, she will definitely be killed instantly by the Corpse King. But Jean Hung was still a step too late. The little boy had already stepped into the hole. Jean Hung instantly put on the invisibility ring, stepped on it, and followed in the blink of an eye. Brush! As soon as Jean Hung entered, he immediately heard the little one's frightened and excited private chat. Brother! Help! 
There are so many corpse kings. I'm in too. Idiot. Jean Hung used a group invisibility technique to fall on the little boy and himself. The little one was lucky. There was no corpse king at the entrance. The nearest ones were a little far away from her. As soon as the little one clicked, the three corpse kings immediately surrounded her. Fortunately, Jean Hung showed up in a hurry. Otherwise, the little boy would have pressed return to the city and run away, or would have reacted slowly and been killed by the corpse king. The collective invisibility technique covered Jean Hung. Little skeleton and little dot and the three moving corpse kings suddenly stopped. This made the little boy feel at ease a lot, and he asked in surprise, Where is this place? Why are there so many corpse kings? Jean Hung smiled and said, The corpse king's hall has its name on the map. Haven't you heard of it? The little boy shook his head. No, I'm only interested in digging for meat, getting back to the city scrolls and mining. Um, are you short of money? Well, I want to make some money myself. Make a lot of money. You're still young. You don't need to work so hard. Right. I'm 16. I'm not young anymore. The little boy stood up straight with dissatisfaction. You are 16 years old. Yes. You cannot enter if you are under 16 years old. It's just that the voice was too cute. Which made Chin Hung think that the other person was only 12 or 13 years old. Okay. You're an adult. Now. Don't move. Leave it to me. I will move it. Okay. I'm very obedient. I won't move. Come on. Move quickly. People are a little scared. These corpse kings look so fierce. Jean Hung immobilized the little skeleton as soon as he came in. And he has no intention of letting it move now. He moved forward alone and saw a large number of corpse kings surrounding the opposite corner. In an instant, Jean Hung understood why there was no corpse king at the entrance. Someone must have come in before and was probably reluctant to leave. After flying around randomly, most of the corpse kings were lured aside. This was convenient for Chin Hung. He began to change into 0 slash 2 Taoist cloth and clean up the other corpse kings one by one. The other corpse kings were gathered together, and the space in the middle was quite large. After Chin Hung poisoned one of the corpse kings, he pulled his head with a scarf and circled the other two corpse kings. Now his Tao skills are Half Moon Weapon 1 3rd, Z Bead Necklace 1 5th, Commoner 0 slash 2, Both Bracelets 0 out of 2, Platinum 0 slash 4. He is level 21, reaching July 7th. In total, Taoism reaches a terrifying September 25th. If he didn't need to wear an invisibility ring, he could reach 929 by wearing another platinum one. However, September 25th is scary enough. Coupled with the 15 basic attack points in the Soul Fire Talisman, Jean Hang's Taoist attack is 940th. After applying poison to the Corpse King, the first level Taoist magic reduces the opponent's defense by 10% and loses two drops of blood every second. This is equivalent to an additional six points of damage. The damage of his soul fire talisman has reached a terrifying nine of 46. The zombie king's own defense is certainly much stronger than that of ordinary zombies. But even so, he is now attacking the corpse king. And the damage of each attack is stable at more than 30. The average can reach 33 points. A corpse king only has 500 drops of blood. Theoretically, he died after breathing 16 times with a scarf. But in reality, he had to hit each head more than 20 times. Because some of them missed. Soon, the corpse king exploded. There was a jingle. And a lot of things exploded on the ground. Jean Hung saw a special piece of equipment at a glance. And his eyes lit up. Good luck. Chapter 89 A Stubborn Little Kid In the palace of the corpse king. With a ding. The corpse king exploded. The ground is full of equipment. Potions. And gold coins. Wow! Big brother! Gold coins. Gold coins. Lots and lots of gold coins. The little boy's eyes widened when he saw it in the corner. And he resisted the urge to rush out and step on the gold coins. The two little feet were stamping restlessly on the spot. Jean Hung chuckled. Seeing so many things, he didn't dare to rush out to pick them up. It was really hard for this little girl. He stepped forward and stepped on a piece of equipment excitedly. And immediately opened the package column and took a look. Prayer ring. Magic January 5th. Wait one. Duration five fifths. Requires level fifteen. Uh huh. Yes. This is another ring part of the prayer set. The properties are really strong. You must know that the current top level ring of the mage, Zuma's equipment, purple bis nail, has only zero slash five attributes. Excluding the hidden attributes, the prayer ring really surpasses the currently available mage ring equipment. The prayer ring itself is also a set component. 
putting together a prayer set has the ability to stir up the entire server. But in the previous legendary game, its actual value is actually not as high as Zibilio. Because players level up while wearing it, death will disappear. This is destined to have lower practical value. Even so, it cannot be denied that this is indeed a piece of equipment that a mage dreams of. Jin Hun will not wear it for the time being. He can save it to put together a prayer suit. Or he can save it for another character of his in the future. Don't forget, he can also create a character. And then he may be able to choose a mage. But he still wants soldiers. I don't know how many trumpets I can create in the future. It would be awesome if I could create a few more accounts. However, it is hard to say whether the ring can be transferred from the Taoist number to the mage number by then. Unless a shared warehouse is used. With his mind on his mind, Qin Hung picked up other equipment and two intermediate skill books. He glanced at them and saw that there were no top ones. So he continued to poison another zombie while stepping on gold coins. The little one squatted in the corner and gave anxious instructions. Brother, there are still a lot of potions that haven't been picked up. Powerful sun water. Pick up powerful sun water. I think someone will take it for 3,000 gold coins. Although he was shouting, the little boy just couldn't hold back and didn't rush out. Which made Chin Hung very satisfied. When forming a team, you are afraid that your teammates will run around disobediently in order to grab equipment and attract monsters. Don't worry. They're all rubbish. Chin Hung chuckled and continued killing monsters. Garbage? How about selling 3,000 gold coins each? 10 of them are 30,000 gold coins. How about 6 Chinese coins? Is garbage so valuable? The little one had a look of hatred on his face. His face was red from suppressing it. And he must have been hesitating whether to rush out and pick up the powerful solar water. Big brother is so wasteful. Damn it. But I promised him not to move. Mom said you must do what you promise others. Hateful. Hateful. Jean Hung smiled and said. Ha ha. Don't worry. There are a lot of things exploding. Once you pick up the powerful solar water, you can't pick up other things. Really? I don't believe it. Ha ha. A piece of clothing I picked up just now can be sold for more than 200,000 gold coins. And a skill book can also be sold for more than 200,000 gold coins. What do you think? Ah. So many? The little one opened his mouth wide when he heard it. As if he could swallow a 2 yuan fried dough stick in one mouthful. After being stunned for a moment, she stretched out her two hands and pulled at him. A piece of equipment sells for more than 200,000 yuan. Brother, you just picked up about 10 pieces, which cost more than 2 million yuan. Oh my god! This can be sold for more than 400 Chinese dollars. What is the concept of more than 400 Chinese dollars? Mom only earns more than 200 Chinese dollars after working for one day. Was this just caused by a zombie king? How many heads are there here? I guess there are at least about 30 of them. One head costs more than 400 Chinese dollars. Isn't this worth more than 10,000 Chinese dollars? In an instant, the little one was out of breath. Ha ha. Don't get excited. I'll share some with you later. Jean Hung chuckled. The little one's entry this time was really unexpected. And I don't know if she has discovered the secret of the Corpse King's palace. If she tells the secret, it will be difficult. Ah. Is it true? Big brother. Do you really want to share my money? The little one asked in surprise. Then her expression changed and she struggled again. But, I haven't done anything. If you give me something, I don't want it. Fool, we formed a team together. So of course we have to share things. But, I didn't even move. It's all Big Brother who's doing the work. It's all you who's tired. You've worked too hard. I do not want. Jean Hang's ball suddenly hurt, and he was a little surprised. This girl is more principled than watching the sea. At least Guan Hai said he would divide things up and pick them up. This girl probably has to beg her to pick it up. Logically speaking, if you are 16, you cannot be so innocent. But you have to say that the other party is just pretending. I didn't even ask for one million in the deal. Sighing, Jean Hung said with a smile, You coming in to talk to me is the biggest credit. Think about it. There are so many things here. If you don't want them, won't they be wasted if you can't pick them up later? We can fight less and come back after we have saved our things. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's not easy to get into the Corpse King's palace. Do you know how to get in? I don't even know how to get in. Jean Hung asked casually. Of course. Hum. The mining place we just stayed it should be the place where we entered the Corpse King's palace. I remember the time. At this time in the future. If we go to the place where we were just now and kill a random zombie. We should be able to be teleported in. The little one smiled proudly. Jean Hung. 
My day. This little girl has a close mind, which is already a bit reliable. Seeing Chin Hang's dazed expression, the little one became anxious. What? Big brother. You don't believe it? Try it again next time. My feeling will not be wrong. Ah, that makes sense. Let's try it next time. Ding ling. While talking, the corpse king that Chin Hung beat exploded again. Wow. Another 400 Chinese dollars. You are rich. Big brother. The little one jumped up and down excitedly. The corpse king didn't explode anything good this time. So the best thing is a copy of firewall and exploding flame. And the rest are some ordinary equipment. After picking up all the good things, Chin Hung came to the little boy and opened the transaction column. I place five or six pieces of lower level equipment and click transaction. I don't want it. You did it. Big brother. This stubborn girl almost made Chin Hung crazy. He said solemnly. Do you want to make a lot of money? Yes. Then do you think it is faster to make money by mining? Or by killing monsters? Fight the monsters. The little guy answered without hesitation this time. If you want to defeat the corpse king, do you have to level up first? Yes. If you don't have money, how can you buy potions to level up? Level up well. And your big brother will take you to fight stronger monsters in the future. And you will be able to develop better equipment. You can earn more gold coins. Okay. Big brother. You must keep your word. Chin Hung breathed a sigh of relief after finally trading the equipment to the other party. But immediately he said sternly, Remember, the secret of entering the Corpse King's palace cannot be told to others. Otherwise this will become a place for others to make a fortune. Although what Xiao Doyan said is not completely accurate. When the news is revealed, it will still cause a large group of people to follow suit and experiment. If you experiment a few more times, you'll definitely be able to figure it out. Yes, I understand. You can make a fortune by being silent. Mother said. Xiao Budian nodded tightly. His little face turned red from suppressing it. She seems to have discovered the incredible power. Well, from now on, I can't tell anyone except my eldest brother. Protect my great power. In this way I can make a lot of money. Okay. Thinking of happy things. The little one smiled so much that her mouth opened wide. Just when Chin Hong was taking Xiaodian to clean up the monsters in the Corpse King's palace. The legend official website forum exploded again. Chapter 90 The Woma 3 Tragedy Invisibility Ring Exposed On the official forum of Legend of China. At this time, this place has been flooded with hundreds of almost identical posts and videos. All posts and videos are telling one thing. For the first time, players have opened up the hall of the three leaders of Woma. Among them, the title is The Complete Version of the Woma 3 Tragedy. The Mantis Stalks the Cicada while the Oriole follows behind. Who is the final winner? A super artifact is born. This post has the highest number of clicks. Since it was posted more than an hour ago, it has already received over 10,000 views. This video was shot by a gamer named Mu Shui Wei. The entire post recorded the entire process of how these four major forces organized their manpower at the entrance to Xiaoma San, including naming the poor households, the Kuang Tua family, the Dynasty Guild, and the Iron Blood Guild, and how they opened up Wasteland in Wama 3. At the beginning of the video, the four major forces had organized their manpower. After a while of discussion, they entered Wama 3 in batches. The person who recorded this video is a Taoist priest. He entered midway. As soon as he entered, the screen was filled with monsters, and the sounds of players constantly falling and dying. Mu Shui's blood dropped slowly, and before he could react, he was already lying on the ground with a groan. But he did not log off immediately but continued recording. From the angle he was recording, he could see that there were more than a dozen fighters ahead. After struggling for a while, they all fell into the street. The ground is full of equipment, potions, and random items. The scene turned, and groups of Taoist priests and mages rushed in from the entrance behind them. But after everyone came in, they couldn't survive more than two seconds before falling down in pieces. Many mages or Taoist priests wanted to retreat, but they were blocked by the crowd that kept rushing in. If he hesitated again, he couldn't run away and was instantly killed. Large swaths of equipment and potions fell, covering the entire entrance. The screen stopped here, and Mu Ping's explanation sounded. Brothers, above is the video of our first attack. The main reason why so many people died is that we don't know enough about the dangers of Woma San. The leader's hall. No one expected that so many dark warriors would be gathered at the entrance. We can't hit them, but they can keep attacking us. According to later brothers, 
there were estimated to be hundreds of dark warriors hidden in front. Who the age? I can handle this. Maybe you will say, wouldn't a group of fools fly to other corners of the hall randomly? I solemnly tell you that randomization cannot be used here. Unable to use random. Unable to use random. Say important things three times. The following is the second attack, which dropped a super good item, triggering a huge PK tragedy among players. Everyone rushes to the street. Please take a look. As the explanation continued, the scene turned, and Mu Shui and other players gathered together again under the organization of the people named Difficult Households and Quantai Prince. This time, the number of people was even greater, reaching more than 500 people. Having learned the lesson from last time, this time I entered with a mix of three professions. Mu Shui is one of the first Taoist priests to follow the warriors this time, because he is level 20 and can become invisible. As soon as he entered, Mu Shui we made himself invisible and increased his blood, and he held on. Then he witnessed the shocking scene of players using their lives to attack forward bit by bit. Countless players, deceived by claiming compensation for the death of needy households, continued to fight without fear of death, paving a way forward with corpses. The whole process is extremely heroic. The Woma monsters were already densely packed, and there were countless bone needles shooting from the darkness in front of them. Many players only had time to kill the monster once before dying. Don't be afraid of death. As long as you can kill the monster with one knife, you'll be fine. Death compensation equipment. Increase the salary and add chicken legs. In the fierce battle, the troops of the four major forces have been cheering the players up. This makes players even more crazy. Finally, we almost reached the Dark Warrior. But something unexpected happened. Two Woma guards appeared. The appearance of the Woma guards made the players even more crazy. Not long after, one of the Woma guards was destroyed. Mu Shui had been hiding in front of him. As soon as the Woma guards broke out, he was about to rush forward and step on them, but was stepped on first by a Taoist priest called a ligation surgeon. The screen paused for a while, and Mu Shui's explanation sounded. Brothers, do you think he picked it up? The biggest tragedy of this century is about to take place. Screen continues. As soon as the ligation surgeon stepped on the platinum ring, he burst into laughter. The next moment, I was dumbfounded and couldn't pick it up. What's even more tragic is that more than a dozen lightning spells, fireball spells, and soul fire talismans hit him, kill him instantly. Then, in order to compete for the platinum ring, a big melee among players began. Mu Shui was the fifth one to step on it. After hanging up, he stayed offline and continued to record everything. People keep stepping on it, and people keep dying. Soon, almost all the individual players were dead, leaving only a dozen or so people named Difficult Households the young master from the dynasty, the crazy princess, and the iron-blooded overlord. At this time, it was Princess Kuangzhou who stepped on the platinum ring. Just then, something unexpected happened. A player named Tianyao Prodigal ran past everyone like the wind. Before other players could understand, a terrifying figure appeared, Leader Woma. As soon as Leader Woma appeared, he immediately killed all the players who were not invisible, and the rest did not even dare to move. The rest of the time is for the prodigal son of Tianya to kill Princess Kuangtua and exhume the body. The unbearable humiliation Princess Kuangtua and others are offline. He originally didn't want to quit, but he got disconnected. The final result was not recorded. There was a pause when he was offline. And Mu Shui explained, I lost the connection here, but a friend of mine died not far away. I edited his video to make it even more exciting. The scene turned, and the prodigal son of Tianya fought against two Taoist priests. Tai Shui and the people from the dynasty turned against the poor households. Finally, the platinum ring was picked up by the prodigal son of Tianyao. Mu Shui we finally explained. Brothers, through this video, I want to tell everyone, don't believe those nonsense from family guilds in the future. For example, naming the families in need, dynasty, iron blood, crazy drag, these big forces are nothing. It was agreed that wages would be paid but not paid, and compensation was not given. All of us who participated suffered a huge loss. But it's worth it to witness such a big scene. Fortunately, the last platinum ring did not fall into their hands, but was taken by the prodigal son of Tianya. Speaking of the prodigal son of the world, he is also a famous person. I believe everyone has seen the post of the legendary trumpet. He is my idol. The best all over. By the way, there is also a photo of the opponent's equipment taken at Woma 3. It will definitely surprise you. He owns an artifact, 
an artifact even more powerful than a platinum ring. No nonsense below. Just go to the picture. A piece of TNL Prodigal's equipment list was put up, with the attributes of each piece of his equipment marked out. And the camera took a big close-up of one of the rings. Invisibility Ring. Chapter 91 The public sentiment is raging. It is recommended to block the account. On the official forum of Legend of China. Mu Shui's explanation continued. Brothers, the equipment of TNL Prodigal is so abnormal. Take a look. The prayer helmet is currently the only one in the server. Apart from him, I have never seen anyone else wear this cuckold. The weapon ban you is the best with two more points of Taoism. The ZB necklace. Looking at its name and attributes. Is definitely another piece of super equipment that has not been officially announced yet. The clothes and medium-sized armor are ordinary. So I won't mention them. The two bracelets are perverts that add two points of Taoism and defense. The platinum ring is the only one in the entire server. No one is wearing it except him. But these are nothing? Look at this last ring. Invisibility ring. Durability three-fifths. Weight one. Requires level 16. At first glance, this invisibility ring does not have any attributes. But do you think the most perverted player in the server would wear a ring with no attributes? Therefore, I deliberately took this ring literally. After studying the video that my friend sent me and combining it with the video I recorded. Finally, I discovered the biggest secret of this ring. And also the secret of why Tinao Prodigal has so many perverted equipment. Speaking of which, Mu Shui edited several videos and pieced them together. Brothers, take a look at these videos. This is the video when he lured the leader of Woma to run over. This is also the video when he is running. This is the video after he stepped on the platinum ring. Do you understand? You don't understand. Do you? Then let me explain. First of all, I want to tell you that at level 20 of the Taoist profession, you can learn the art of invisibility. However, the invisibility technique has a fatal flaw. That is, after becoming invisible, the invisibility technique will lose its effect when running. But look at the prodigal son from the end of the world. He ran here all the way. He was in a state of invisibility. And the monsters around him didn't react at all to him. Only the leader of Woma is chasing him. This shows what? Explain that the properties of the invisibility ring are. You can always be invisible. Unless you attack monsters. Otherwise you can come and go freely among the monsters with the invisibility ring. You say, with an invisibility ring that allows him to move freely among monsters. He can't kill any boss he wants to kill. If you want to play on a high level map. It's no problem. Such as Dalmans and Zuma Temple. I seriously doubt that the prodigal son of Kenya either hangs out at the Zuma Temple or at the third level of Woma every day. So he can play so many abnormal equipment. This is really a super artifact. I don't know what kind of monster he fought to explode. Okay. That's it for this video of mine. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like it, please give it a like. Thanks again. So far, the number of clicks on this video has been growing like crazy. Crushing all other videos of the Walmart tragedy. Because only his post announced the news that the prodigal son of Kinyaw has an invisibility ring. And nothing else. After the post was published, it naturally attracted a large number of onlookers to speak. Brother Chi 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 Chi. Damn it! Fortunately, I didn't go there just now. Otherwise, I would have been fooled by these big forces until I lost my pants. Ga ga ga! Game puzzle. Ha ha. Isn't it? I almost went there. But luckily, these big forces are nothing. SA World. I think it's interesting to participate in such a large-scale wasteland reclamation activity. Inexplicable romance. Trash names needy households. Drags down families. Iron blood. Dynasty. They are all fighters in the garbage. Quickly pay for my equipment. Many players who suffered losses are yelling angrily. The people who had difficulty naming the name also jumped out and responded one after another. Household with difficulty in naming. Ha ha! I hired you to help me beat the leader. But you ended up killing each other just for a piece of equipment. And you still want wages and compensation? Dream on! Idiot! Dragging the princess. A bunch of rubbish. Kenya prodigal. You pervert. Don't let me catch you. Iron-blooded overlord. A bunch of rubbish. Even those who have trouble naming are also big rubbish. Prince of the dynasty. A bunch of rubbish. I want to see the villain. Ha ha. Princess Kwanja. Please tell your story with the prodigal son from the end of the world. Pulling the princess. Talk about your sister? This is a scolding. There are more discussions about the equipment of Tianya prodigal son. Brother Guanhai. That's nonsense. This invisibility ring definitely can't be that powerful. 
I seriously suspect that the original poster has done some post-processing to deliberately confuse the audience and attract traffic. Guan Yun. You're right. This must be a processed video. The poster has no lower limit for the sake of traffic. Mu Shui Wei. Damn it! Whoever processes it is a dog. V Yang Ong V. Based on my 30 years of professional experience, this video has not been processed. Yu Jian went to HL. TSK TSK. This invisibility ring is really awesome. Doesn't it destroy the balance of the game? Bai Yifei 01. What the person above said makes sense. This is obviously an equipment that destroys the balance of the game. I seriously suspect that the prodigal son of Kinya is a relative of the official family. Tian Tian Duster. That's right. This really destroys the balance of the game. Crazy Princess. Yes. It destroys the balance too much. It is recommended to ban him. If we don't ban him, we will leave the game. We are still playing with such perverted equipment. The person with difficulty in naming. Fong, your sister? He must have made this by himself. It was originally the equipment in the game. Super Fat Rabbit. Uh-huh. Go and type it up and show it to me. And we won't say anything. Dragging the prince. It's really affecting the balance of the game. I suggest you take back his invisibility ring and a full set of top-notch equipment. Amid the heated discussions. And at the instigation of thoughtful people. Players finally went to the official website to complain. Complaint that the invisibility ring of Tianyao Prodigal Sun is too abnormal and affects the balance of the game. In a short period of time, the number of complaints exceeded thousands. This shows how influential this game is. In fact, most of these people suffer from Pinkai. Anyway, it's not okay if others have such perverted equipment. But Jin Hung didn't know about all this. He was still fighting against the corpse king with the little boy. There are about 40 zombie kings and we have just beaten more than 10. During this period, a large number of equipment and skilled books were revealed. The best is a copy of the Half Moon Scimitar and two other small masterpieces. At this time, just after destroying a corpse king, a burst of white light rose, and the little one was upgraded to level 12. She was originally level 11, and here she teamed up with Qin Hung to defeat the corpse king. Each corpse king has an experience value of 800, and she can get 400 experience points. It only costs 8,000 experience points to upgrade from level 11 to level 12. She originally upgraded a few more. So she only upgraded after killing more than 10 zombie kings. Wow! Big brother! I upgraded so fast! It only took a while! The little one yelled excitedly. Fortunately, the corpse king couldn't hear the sound. Otherwise, he would have to go over and make out with her. Calm down! Calm down! Ha ha! After the fight is over... I will take you to a place and let two masters take you to level up. Okay. Ah. Uh, aren't you willing to take me? The little boy said in a disappointed tone. Ha ha. You can't go where I go. While joking, Guan Hai's private chat suddenly came over. Brother prodigal son. It's not good. Chapter 92 Let Fate Happen. In the palace of the corpse king, Qin Hung and Xiao Dong were beating the corpse king. When Guan Hai heard a furious voice. Brother prodigal son. Something bad is going to happen. Jean Hung was confused. What's wrong? Your invisibility ring was exposed on the official forum. And now thousands of people are complaining about you. Why are you complaining to me? Jean Hang's heart skipped a beat. An anxious voice came from Guan Hai. They said you are a relative of the official family and have something that disrupts the balance of the game. They suggest that the official take back your invisibility ring and top-notch equipment. Or block your account directly. Oh, really? Don't worry about them, Jin Hengxiang said calmly. Ah, why don't you explain how this ring came about? You're not really an official relative. Are you? I don't even know my relatives. Don't be afraid. They can't do anything to me. Ha ha. Jin Hengxiang's calm voice made Guan Hai speechless for a while. Okay, pay attention to yourself and think about how to deal with it. After finishing the conversation with Jin Hung, Guan Hai struck a zombie with lightning. With a sound, the zombie exploded. Gee, the explosion rate in this place is really high. Tianyao Prodigal is a good person. Said? Guan Yun stepped on something and asked. Well, he told us not to worry about it. He should have something to do. Damn it. I'll give him a thumbs up post later. The equipment I'm using isn't good enough. Here, Jin Hung had just finished the private chat with Guan Hai. And immediately received another private message from a household in need. Brother Prodigal Son, you have been reported... Saying that you are, you say I'm an official relative. Right. I understand. Ah. 
What are your plans? They have all complained. It's okay. Don't worry about them. Well, I want to ask. Are you really a relative of the official family? Came the hesitant words from the person who was in trouble. Of course not. Then you broke out this invisibility ring yourself. Very good. If they dare to take back your equipment, just tell me and I will go to their headquarters to find them. Hack you. Okay. Thank you. I will come to you if needed. So you don't have to worry about it for now. By the way, I have the best heavy armor you can wear. With defense 4 for 9 and magic defense 2 of 4. Do you want it? Jean Hong did not mention brand name equipment such as horns, dragon rings, and purgatory. These things cannot be sold now. Households with difficulty in naming cannot afford so many gold coins. The other party has no shortage of Chinese coins. But Qin Hung cannot get the Chinese coins. We can only hold it down first. Since these things can be sold at a high price in the future. As for that top quality heavy armor. It's better to get it early. Otherwise it won't be worth anything when the God of War armor comes out. However, he wanted to give these clothes to a needy family as a way to make friends. By the way, I have killed several Wama leaders. Why didn't even a piece of the God of War armor explode? Wouldn't it be only Zuma or Pig Cave that exploded? The excited voice of the person who had difficulty naming him suddenly came. What? The attributes are so good? Of course. Damn it. I even doubt whether you are a trap in the game. I'm in Beach City. Where are you? I'm in the Stone Tomb Formation. Jin Hung was talking nonsense. Of course, he would not tell the other party that he was in the Palace of the Corpse King. You can't say that at Walmart 3 either. These two places. The other party said that they want to be together. How can this be done? Stone Tomb Array. Damn it! Can you enter such a perverted place? The last time we went in, the door was full of wedge moths. The monsters that randomly flew there were all over the screen. And there was no way to fight them. It seems that only your invisibility ring can defeat it. The tone of naming the poor household sounds extremely envious. I'll see you when I come back later. Jean Hung said casually. After ending the private chat with a person who had difficulty naming. He received private messages from other people one after another. The three gold metal merchant sisters. The legendary business firm. The honest merchant and more than a dozen merchants all informed Chin Hung. These merchants had done business with Chin Hung many times. And now that something big happened to Chin Hung. They immediately informed him. After thanking him. Chin Hung fell into deep thought while beating the corpse king. He said he was not afraid of official account blocking inquiries. But actually he was panicking in his heart. After all, strictly speaking, he is the villain of this game. What would happen if Huagua found out that he did not have an account? Block his account? How to seal it? Not letting him into the game. But I don't have a network cable or an account. Can the other party control me? He doesn't know either. Now he can only pray that his own system will be awesome. Awesome. And awesome again. Otherwise, there is nothing he can do. Just leave it to fate. Shaking his head, Jin Hung stopped thinking about it and concentrated on killing the corpse king. Jin Hung, the corpse king, killed him at the corner of the entrance and exploded everything on the ground. The little one looked at the things on the floor. Gula swallowed his throat and said vaguely, So many! Too many! Wanted so much. But Big Brother told me not to move. What to do? It's better to let the Big Brother come. Why are you so stunned? Pick it up! Jin Hung picked up two relatively valuable skilled books and waved to the little one. Here, the remaining corpse kings cannot be seen, and the little one can move. Ah, great. The little one stepped forward and stepped on the gold coins, potions, and equipment without picking up any of them. Why don't you pick up the equipment? Jean Hung was speechless. The little boy shook his head and said, Big brother did this. The equipment is so expensive. I don't want it. Jean Hung was too lazy to correct her. He picked up all the equipment and checked it. There was no top quality equipment. Then he threw the lower level equipment on the ground and said, Pick these up. Each piece can be sold for 10 or 20,000 gold coins. Share equally with the other party. It's out of the question. He himself also needs a lot of gold coins. Give it to me? Then I'll pick it up. The little boy happily stepped on the equipment Chin Hung left behind. Chin Hung chuckled and prepared to continue killing the remaining corpse kings. But the next moment, the little one's behavior made him speechless again. I saw the little guy throwing the ore outside, picking up the equipment, and then throwing the equipment and picking up the ore. Going back and forth made Chin Hung feel dizzy. Just pick up the equipment. Those ores are worthless. Yes, but I dug this out hard. I don't want to throw it away. What a waste. 
The little one was a little confused. A black line appeared on Chin Heng's forehead. If you don't pick it up, those powerful solar water will be wiped out by the game later. After saying that, he ignored her and continued to kill the remaining corpse kings. After killing one, he turned around and saw that the little boy had already thrown a corner of the ground full of oars and was stepping on the powerful solar water. Fortunately, there is still hope. When there were still a few corpse kings left, the little boy exclaimed again and upgraded again. It only takes 10,000 experience points to go from level 12 to level 13. A team of zombie kings can get 400 points evenly. So the speed is certainly impressive. When Chin Hung finished killing the last corpse king, the little boy had a satisfied smile on his face. So many. So satisfied. Big Brother is awesome. Chapter 93 Chin Hung's Small Goal Chin Hung and Xiao Dong return to the Viper Valley Village. After reading everyone's reactions, it seems that I don't like this little one and even said that I would lick it. Okay, after this chapter, I will try not to write about her in the future. I feel that I can't write about women, and I can't be kind to women. Otherwise it will be. Licking a dog is so difficult. Chin Hung received a package of skill books and equipment above level 20. The little one also received a package of mid to low level equipment and skill books that she would use in the future. For example, thunder and lightning, bursting flames, etc. After harvesting so many things, the little boy was so excited that his face turned red and he followed Chin Hung around the safe zone. Chin Hung strolled around the grocery store, but unfortunately did not find the blessing oil and god of war oil. Let's go. I'll take you to Mingzhong and find someone to help you level up. After the two bought things, Chin Hung wanted to take the little one to Guanhai. He was going to warm a three on his own, so he couldn't take the little ones to level up. Are we going to the Corpse King's palace? Xiao Budian asked via voice transmission. That's the boss. How can you kill it so fast? Remember, don't tell anyone the secrets of the Corpse King's Palace. Otherwise, you won't make any money. After Chin Hung finished his instructions, he said, I'll wait for you in Shabak City, Mengzhong. But something happened that made Chin Hung depressed. Big brother, where is the city of Shabak? The main city of the Alliance? The little one looked troubled. Chin Hung. It took more than an hour to take this girl, who had never been to Mingzhong, from Viper Village to Shabak City. Chin Hung almost died from exhaustion. The map is too big, which is not good either. Follow me. Remember, you are not allowed to tell others this map. Chin Hung took the little one through the corner of the clothing store in Savak City and took her into the secret passage. Guan Hai and Guan Yun were already waiting at the entrance. Chin Hung smiled and said, This is my friend. Please take care of her here. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's okay. There are a lot of weird things here. By the way, does your matter really not matter? Guan Hai asked with concern. Is there any use in worrying? Don't worry. The boat will be straight when it reaches the bridge. You guys have fun. 88 inch. Goodbye. Big brother. I will definitely level up quickly. And then I will be able to help you fight monsters. The little boy waved seriously. After Chin Hung left, Guan Hai asked doubtfully, What did he mean by 88? Guan Yun shook his head. Ha uh ha. -huh. It probably means goodbye. The little one said with a smile. Chin Hung exited the secret passage and appeared in Shabak City. I browsed the shops here and found a few little gems. However, this time he saw several players entering pharmacies and other places in the city. Alas, it seems that you have to pay attention to the secret passage. Otherwise it will be discovered sooner or later. Chin Hung told Guan Hai his worries and asked him to tell the other two people to pay more attention every time they entered and exited the secret passage. I know. Don't worry. We will be careful. Guan Hai said solemnly. Of course, he would guard the secret passage carefully. This is a cornucopia. The leveling is fast, and the explosion rate is high. In just one day, he and Guan Yun have made a lot of money. They even put on a small set of top-notch equipment. You can fight faster only if you have equipment. How could he not understand this? When I didn't find this place before, it was too difficult to make money, and I needed to spend money outside. I had no choice but to sell the Magic 2 bracelet. Now, everything is different. And all this was given selflessly by the prodigal son of Tianya. This favor is really too great. He even discussed with Guan Yun that he could make a lot of money every day just by practicing leveling here and finding treasures. Now, looking at the little ones jumping around next to him and Guan Yun, Guan Hai didn't feel any awkwardness. The friend of the prodigal son in the end of the world is his friend. Well, the equipment will be divided into three parts later. 
so that the prodigal son will not say that I am stingy. Guan Hai talked to Xiao Bu Tian and Guan Yun, and they both nodded. The little one nodded his head rapidly. Her legs were disabled since she was a child. She was frail and unable to walk. Her father disliked her and abandoned them as mother and son. It was her mother who raised her up. Her mother had to teach her to read and write. And she also had to go to work to earn money to support her and spend money on her treatment. She basically has no contact with outsiders. So she has a relatively simple personality and talks like a child. Although unable to move, she really wanted to share something with her mother. This time, Legend opened the server for an event. And she was lucky enough to win a virtual game helmet and enter the game. Originally, she just wanted to make money by mining. But her elder brother opened another door for her. My mother said that people outside are very bad. But she thinks her eldest brother is a good person. Otherwise, why would you give her so many gold coins and equipment and let her level up? Now you can level up well. If your level is high, you can earn more money, help your big brother fight monsters, and your mother won't have to work so hard. Thinking of this, the little one was even more excited to learn to watch the sea shuttle back and forth among monsters and learn how to fight monsters. Boo hoo hoo. After a random meal, Chin Hung came to Tuching, scanned the goods, and got a few top notch products. He also bought explosive flame and assassination swordsmanship for 200,000 each from the players selling them. In the Tuching safe zone, Chin Hung stood in the safe zone and opened the grocery store next to the safe zone to buy random items and amulets. I bought a full package. He is now a celebrity and is equipped with the best equipment. Naturally, he cannot go to the grocery store to buy random items every time he goes out. Otherwise, he would be targeted by someone who wanted to do something against him in the grocery store in Beach City. It wouldn't take a second. It's not like this has never happened before. In previous games, players who were crazy and poor could do anything. Gather a large group of mages and give him a blow. And he will kneel down in an instant. This is a common problem among legendary hardcore players. No matter where you go, there is a paranoia of being persecuted. For example, a mage, as long as he is in an unsafe place and someone comes, he will activate his magic shield as soon as possible. This is the fear of being beaten by others. The same goes for talus priests. If anything happens, just protect yourself first and then add magic defense. When Shin Hung exits the game now, he doesn't even dare to log off the character in a safe zone in the city. Just for fear of too many surprises. Only in an inn or shop is it safest. Shin Hung currently has unlimited warehouses. So why not buy more random amulets? In this way, every time he comes back from Walmart, he can just pick it up from the warehouse. No more trips to the grocery store in Beach City. It's just not safe there. After a shopping spree, Chin Hung was surrounded by a large circle of people. People kept slashing him with weapons striking him with lightning, poisoning him, and hitting him with fireballs. But in a safe zone, these attacks are ineffective. Tian Tian Daji. Wow! He is a master of perversion! Emperor Yun's god of killing. Damn! He is indeed the best! What a pervert! Brother, please give me some money! Brother, please help me level up! People keep harassing Chin Hung. And some are even more explicit. Good guy! Give me some equipment! I'm from the University of City B. Give me a platinum ring. I'll give you a fate tonight. Sheen hung. And I, in previous games, I had a copy of Magic Shield to accompany me to bed. And I guess it will be soon now. It's a pity that I can't follow the network cable. Otherwise, he really wants to end his single life, which has been single for almost half his life. Thinking of this, the idea of going to Feng Yu Tower to find a girl flashed through his mind. But he gave it up instantly. If you have no money, no capital and no good cultivation. Who can you win over? Forget it. When I reach the full level of legend and become invincible, what kind of woman won't be able to get it? Even Mingyu herself wanted her to kneel down and sing conquer. If she wants me to be a master, then I will make her a maid and wash my feet every day. Shampoo. Snort. Huh? Why does Mal want to think about Mingyu? Thinking of the other party's temperament and beauty, Chin Hung had to admit that this was the most attractive woman he had ever seen. He just has the ambition to conquer others when they see him. I just don't know if the other person is a black rose or a pink rose. Phone you tower. I think black rose is more likely. But she is the landlord. Hard to say. Forget it. No matter how pink or dark she is. One day. She will definitely wash his feet. Wash your hair. Thinking of this small goal. 
Qin Hung teleported to the inn with a hiss, preparing to store his things. Brush! There was a loud bang. And as soon as he landed, he was attacked by poison and lightning spells. And his health bottomed out instantly. Chapter 94 Fierce Battle in the Inn First floor of Tuching Inn. Swish. Bang. Boom. As soon as he was teleported into the inn, Qin Hung was poisoned, followed by two lightning spells, and the ant's scar fell. He was stabbed again at the same time. Qin Hang's blood volume bottomed out instantly. Ha ha! Kill! Several players laughed wildly and attacked again. Call out. Qin Hung used the return stone without hesitation. The store does not drop equipment. But he is still wearing a prayer helmet. If this person was beaten to death and disappeared, it would be an unjust death. Ring ring ring. Ring ring ring. After performing several healing operations on himself, Qin Hang's blood volume recovered. What the H? L. Qin Hung, who was attacked for no reason, was furious. These birdmen must have been killing people in the store for fun. They almost knocked off his prayer helmet. It was so hacked up. In addition, he was already worried and irritable because of the exposure of the invisibility ring. Therefore, after being attacked, his blood suddenly surged with anger. If we don't regain our position, this tone is really hard to swallow. After removing the prayer helmet and placing it in the package, Jean Hung looked at the package and saw that there was also a bundle of powerful golden elixirs and seven or eight bottles of powerful solar water. It was enough. He is holding a breath in his heart now and has only one thought. Go back and kill. 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 Just a bunch of brats. Call out. Qin Hung passed through the old soldier and teleported back to the first floor of the inn instantly. Rumble. Puff Pung Pung. This time, he teleported to a corner on the second floor of the upper inn. Not far away. The birdmen were fighting with other players. Good chance. Qin Hung took the opportunity to rush to the second floor. I saved the extra random teleportation packets and amulets. Took out the tiger tooth necklace that increased magic evasion by 40% and replaced it with the Z bead necklace. I also took a top quality magic helmet that I got not long ago and put it on. On the head. Defense 0 slash 2. Magic defense 0 out of 2. The defense and magic defense have been increased a little each. With everything ready, he summoned the skeleton and rushed down the first floor. Below. There are already 7 or 8 players fighting in a pot of porridge. Qin Hung was a little dumbfounded. At a quick glance just now, he didn't see the name clearly at all. There are so many people now. And he doesn't even know who wanted to kill him before. Who the H, L should I hit? However, this does not trouble him. After taking a closer look, he spotted the group from before. Since there is only one Taoist priest here, those who are with the Taoist priest must be killing people for fun. This is indeed the case. The Taoist player named, I am so good, is laughing maniacally constantly swiping poison and throwing ant scarf at the other three people. There were three players who were poisoned. Two mages and one warrior. They were all wearing medium armor and were of low level. There were four other people with me. My good Taoist priest. Three mages and one warrior. All wearing medium armor. The five people chased the three people and kept killing them. After a while, two mages were already lying down. Only one warrior named Yuan Di killing God is still struggling. Qin Hung immediately rushed forward giving me and others the poison one by one. Fortunately for me, who was attacked, I and others immediately abandoned the warriors and turned to attack Qin Hung, the Taoist priest with less health. Brush. Qin Hung dodged the attack of a warrior named Mysterious Man Mo Yen and landed on a mage. A terrifying 35 points of damage suddenly appeared. This mage, who was only level 18 and had 68 drops of blood, immediately screamed, turned around and ran away. He was really frightened. A soul fire talisman knocked out half of his blood. What kind of attack power is this? Boom. At the same time, Qin Hung turned to one side and dodged my soul fire talisman attack. But he was attacked by lightning from two other mages. Two thunderbolts struck him. And Qin Hung only lost 28 drops of blood. Another lightning strike missed. This is the ultimate tiger tooth necklace opening effect. Seeing this, Qin Hung laughed and stopped worrying. He drank a bottle of golden sore medicine and performed a healing operation. He did not dodge or evade. And caught up with the mage, crazy minotaur, who was attacked by him again. Beat his blood volume to the bottom. Call out. The mage used the random teleportation scroll without hesitation. It was obviously not the first time he had piked in the inn. And he understood that the inn could randomly teleport. After the random teleportation scroll is used on the first floor of the inn. 
it will randomly go to any corner of the first floor of the inn. As a result, with a whoosh, the crazy minotaur randomly came to the side of the cloud emperor killing god, who was rushing over. He was taken away by the surprised Yun emperor with a killing blow. Hack! The crazy minotaur yelled angrily, and the body disappeared instantly. Obviously after exiting, he was ready to come back again. Beautiful! Chin Hung praised, dodged to avoid the pursuit of Mo Yan's mysterious man, and called out to another mage named Dujaludadada. At this time, the mage was being attacked by Chin Hang's little skeleton. But the attack power of the little skeleton was only about 15 drops of blood each time. So he ignored it. Chin Hung called over. But he didn't run away at all. He followed another mage and me. It was me who threw two lightning bolts and an anti at Chin Hung. There was a loud click. This time Chin Hung was attacked by a bolt of lightning and a soul fire talisman. And his total blood volume only dropped by more than 40 drops. Damn! How come my lightning can't hit him? Doodaloodoo, who was hit by Chin Hung and then hit with an axe by the little skeleton, cried out depressedly, and then randomly dodged Chin Hang's blow. Killer. Ding dong! You and Emperor Killing God invite you to form a team? Do you agree? A game system prompt sounded, and Chin Hung immediately agreed. Kill the mage first! Changing to the team attack mode, Chin Hung shouted and rushed after Doodaloodoo Dada again. Okay! Ha ha! The God of Death, Emperor Yun, held his sword to attack the Dulidudu from another direction. Damn! Stop chasing me all the time! He turned around and ran away. But how could he outrun Chin Hang's ant scarf? After being summoned, he lost some health and randomly flew to the side of the skeleton again. He was chopped down to the ground by the little skeleton with a knife in his hand. Wait! Ha ha! Dudududududa didn't get angry but laughed. In a blink of an eye, he went offline, obviously ready to come back again. This is obviously a madman who loves PK. At this time, Chin Hung was attacked by four people at the same time because he attacked Dudududududa. Two lightning bolts, a soul fire talisman, and a warrior slashing. As a result, Chin Hang's tiger tooth necklace showed its power and became immune to a bolt of lightning. The soldier cut him and lost 15 drops of blood. The mage shocked him and he lost 23 drops of blood. But the soul fire talisman only lost 20 drops of blood. His health was instantly brought back by a powerful solar water. I'm dizzy. Why can't I hit him? Impossible. I obviously hit him. Why doesn't he lose blood? The mage said in shock. Oh my god. His defense is too high and he doesn't lose much blood. I mean, I won't lose any blood if I hit him with thunder and lightning. Several people were surprised that Chin Hung and Emperor Yun would not stop killing the god. The two of them, together with a skeleton, chased and intercepted each other's mage and could kill one in three strikes. The three mages were quickly killed by two of them. And they turned towards me because it was me. A Taoist priest. At level 18. He only has a little over 100 HP. How can he withstand the attacks of two people? He was beaten so hard that he ran away with his head in his arms. The soldier chased after Chin Hung and slashed at him. His attacks were like tickling. But Chin Hung didn't throw him away at all and only hit the Taoist priest. Just chopped at me to death in a few strokes. Whoosh whoosh. At this time, the other three mages came back. But they still couldn't defeat Chin Hung and Emperor Yun's god of killing. And were killed repeatedly by the two. After more than ten times, I finally felt depressed and stopped coming to the inn. They are here to torture people. Not to be tortured. If they can't win, there is no point in continuing the fight. Might as well go leveling up. At the same time, when Chin Hung was piking with others in the inn, a game that determined his fate was being played out in China in another time and space. Skipping Chapter 95 does not affect viewing. Chapter 96 SSSS Level Authority Game Announcement In Tuching In Ha ha! It's so fun! It's great to fight with a celebrity like you! Let's make friends! Emperor Yun, the god of killing, stretched out his hand. Ha ha! So cool! Chin Hung shook hands with the other party and added him as a friend. After chatting for a few more words, Emperor Yun, the god of killing, hurriedly went to level up. Chin Hung began to privately chat about naming needy households. Brother, where are you? I'm on the second floor of Tuching Inn. Ha ha! I'm at Centipede Cave. Just wait! and I'll come back after you defeat this monster. Soon, Chin Hung met the person who had difficulty naming himself at the inn. Chin Hung stood face to face with him, opened the transaction column, and placed the top quality heavy armor. 
How many gold coins? The person who had difficulty naming asked drooling. No need to pay. I'll give it to you. Chin Hung said casually and clicked the transaction. This man is very loyal. Chin Hung really wants to give him a gift. So he should win over more friends. He he. The person in need of naming canceled the transaction and chuckled. Brother, who do you look down on? I am the person who named the person in need. Do I need charity from others? Don't say whether to give it away or not. Otherwise you won't have to do it. Make an offer. I'm not short of money. Don't make it too low. Don't make me angry. Ha ha. Okay. You figure it out. Chin Hung said speechlessly. It's better not to guess what the rich are thinking about. The person who named the poor household hesitated for a moment and said, Five million gold coins. Although he is not short of money. When he sees the gold coins now, he thinks of the pain of mining and gets a headache. Chin Hung did not hesitate and said with a smile, Three million. I'm an old acquaintance. I'll leave you some gold coins so you don't have to go mining. Okay. Have fun. A glimmer of light flashed in the eyes of the households who had difficulty naming. The price of 5 million is definitely not too high for this piece of clothing. This is also a test for him. If Chin Hung happily accepts the price of 5 million, he and the other party will not have a deep relationship. And they will be just ordinary friends at best. Although Chin Hung wanted to give it to him just now, he thought that the current price of 5 million was high. This is also a subtle ambivalence in naming households with difficulties. I don't want to ask for other people's things for free. But I also want a suitable price. Chin Hung reduced the price to 2 million which was the price he could accept as a friend. Obviously, Chin Hung regarded him as a friend. The two of them finished the transaction, and when the poor man was about to say something, Chin Hung opened the transaction column again and placed a helmet and a pair of rings. A pair of skull rings with two force defense and zero slash three attack. How many gold coins? Seeing these three things, the poor family was immediately overjoyed. He was wearing an ordinary skull with a defense of two out of three. As for the skull ring, he didn't play it. The two rings he wears are a black crystal ring with 0 slash 3 attack power and a bronze ring with 0 slash 4 attack power. But the total durability of the bronze ring has been repaired by him to only 2 points. And he is worried about changing it to a better one. But in the hands of the merchants, there are no attack 0 slash 4 rings, nor any skull rings. Even if he has money, he can't buy it. Jean Hung traded a pair of skull rings with him, which solved his urgent need. You say, 12 million? The household who had difficulty naming asked uncertainly. He felt that 12 million was not enough. Yesterday, he bought an ordinary skull from a businessman and it cost him 600 Chinese dollars. Now a top quality skull is coupled with a pair of skull rings that have never been seen before. This is obviously a set. Maybe this skeleton equipment is the kind of brand name equipment that only boss can explode. About 9 million. Okay. Thank you, brother. I'll give you 5 million first and I'll pay you back the rest later. The named poor household was overjoyed. After the transaction was completed, the named poor man put on top quality heavy armor, top quality skulls, etc., holding a Shira axe obtained by a level 22 warrior, and immediately ran around Chin Hung triumphantly, cut him twice from time to time. Handsome? Well, he's so handsome that he almost falls off his face. At this point, Chin Hung owned more than 24 million gold coins. Later, Chin Hung declined the invitation to practice leveling together by naming a poor family member and excused himself to run away because of something else. Whoosh, whoosh. After flying around for a while, he flew to Woma Temple, entered the Woma Temple and killed the third floor, quickly killing two Woma guards. As a result, the most popular one was Hail Roar, which the leader had not released so quickly. Chin Hung spent some time first and led all the dark warriors refreshed in the hall to the entrance again adding more than 40 to them again. Afterwards, he returned to the city to store the items exploded by the Woma guards, then returned to Woma 3 and began to calm down and level up. What Chin Hung didn't know was that things about him had become increasingly serious and legend official. With the encouragement of caring people, they said that he was the sensible son of a certain legend official, that he had an invisibility ring, and that he had exposed a large amount of equipment to sell for money. In short, why is it so dark? Complaints calling for his account to be blocked and calls for his invisibility ring to be withdrawn are getting louder and louder. The number of reports and complaints has exceeded 10,000 in a short period of time. In a corner on the second floor of Woma, Princess Kwantua and others are leveling up here. How is it? Has there been an official response? Kwangjiao Princess fiercely used her aunt's scarf to kill a dung worm. 
she became even more resentful after learning that Jean Hung was wearing a Z bead necklace. Damn it. She must have dropped it. Not yet. The Navy we invited are still complaining vigorously. Many people are following suit. I believe the official can't sit still. Prince Kwantu smiled proudly. The mad princess sneered. Very good. Um, it would be fun to fight with me and block his account. The prince laughed and said, Actually, it's best to take off his invisibility ring and all his equipment. This way, we can kill him every time we see him in the game. Otherwise, if his account is blocked, wouldn't we be able to take revenge? That would be boring. Eh? It's true. Ha ha. At this moment, I, who had been staring at the website, suddenly interjected. An official announcement has been made. Oh, what did you say? Princess Kwantu's eyes lit up. They said they are checking it and will get a reply after the verification is completed. Princess Quan Zhao said fiercely, Okay, let's see how they respond. If we don't solve it to our satisfaction, we will let the Navy keep making trouble online. The state of Hua is one of the most powerful countries in the Yen Wang continent. The Kamikaze building is located in Kyoto, the capital of China. More than 2,000 meters high, it is the most powerful technology company in the entire Yen Wang continent. A large hall 1,000 meters underground in the Kamikaze building is the most important core place of the entire Kamikaze technology company. The world's number one supercomputer is currently located here. Why is it called super? Because the core of this computer is made of an extraterrestrial meteorite. It is precisely because of the special data carried by this magical meteorite that Kamikaze company used it to create the world's first virtual game. Legend! In the main hall, there are hundreds of staff sitting in front of the supercomputer, busy working. Behind them stood a dozen powerful company leaders. Have you not found the other party's information yet? The person who spoke was the company's president. Mr. Chen. Mr. Chen. Wait a minute. The programmer supervisor responded with sweating profusely. While waiting, Mr. Chen said angrily, What's going on? Those special rings shouldn't appear now. I remember that we were not even arranged to go in. How can the player hit it first? Look. Look what's going on outside now. Mr. Chen. We don't know. Currently, Shinjo manages it by itself. The programmer supervisor wiped the cold sweat from his face. Shinjo, the name of the super intelligent computer. Suddenly, the supervisor's eyes lit up. China has responded. Please look at the big screen. Oh, great. We want to see where he got the invisibility ring. A group of people brightened up and looked at the huge screen hanging in the hall. The next moment, after seeing the words above clearly, everyone was stunned and opened their mouths wide. Querying this player's information requires SSS level permissions. Looking at the big characters on the big screen, everyone felt like they had been immobilized by Sun Wukong, unable to move for a long time. Querying this player's information requires SSS level permissions. How high is the SSS level authority? No one knows at all. Because Mr. Chen's highest authority in the company is only SSS. The SSS authority is very powerful and can already query all the information of the entire Kamikaze company. But now, they just ask programmers to query the information of a game player. And they actually need 4S level permissions. What is this concept? No one knows. Because the company's highest authority is only 3S. The 4S authority level has never been set. After the shock, everyone fell silent. The only explanation at present is that there are more advanced permission codes within China. And this player was set by Kamikaze to be a level 4S player. This means that they can't find out who the player's real name is at all. How did he obtain the invisibility ring? All information in reality and in the game cannot be queried unless China intentionally asked them to query a section. There is nothing they can do. After a long silence, Mr. Chen came to the edge of the supercomputer Shinjo and brushed his face. This is SSS level permission. Start talking directly to Shinjo. In China, is it really impossible for the prodigal son of the world to inquire? Your authority is not enough. Please upgrade it to SSS level authority first. Shinjo Machinery's cold voice sounded. How can I become a success level authority? Mr. Chen changed the topic. In the past, if you wanted to obtain any permissions, China would remind you how to do it, upgrade the system, and so on. Your authority is insufficient to obtain the answer. Please upgrade to SSSS level authority first. Mr. Chen and everyone. This, what the HL, you asked me to improve, but you gave me a way to improve. If you don't tell me, how can I improve? When Mr. Chen heard this, he almost suffered internal injuries. After taking several deep breaths, he said respectfully, Shenzhou, 
If you don't tell me how to upgrade, how can I be upgraded to SSSS authority? Please upgrade to SSSS level authority first before you can get the answer. Shinjo's unhurried voice sounded again. Mr. Chan and everyone. Come on. China has completely blocked their road. It's really impossible to find this prodigal son from the end of the world. What kind of player is he? People are filled with doubts. After a moment of silence, Mr. Chen changed the topic. So, can you upgrade the game? There are more and more players. And they are all complaining that it is too laggy. There are too many people. And there is no place to level up. Now that the prodigal son of the end of the world has happened again, the players must be given an explanation. In the past two days, the company has been trying to get China to upgrade its games, etc., but has received no response from China. This made Mr. Chen and others very angry. But there was nothing they could do, because the legendary game comes from China. And Shinjo not only comes with legendary games, but also has many mysterious high technologies. It is precisely because of Shinjo that the Kamikaze Group has become the most powerful black technology company in the world in just a dozen years. It can be said that without Shinjo, there would be no Kamikaze Group today, and there would be no more powerful China. After all, many high technologies were given to the country by the Kamikaze Group. Half a year ago, China suddenly conveyed the information that it would launch a brand new virtual game that comes entirely with it. The company started work urgently and built virtual equipment based on Shinjo's information. This supercomputer really lived up to expectations, and the legend was sought after by countless people as soon as it was launched. However, all the explosion rates, upgrade systems, etc. are controlled by China itself. They can only view data. But the data clearly shows that there will be no special rings at the moment. So why is there one again? Unfortunately, they don't have enough authority. Now, Mr. Chen simply took advantage of this opportunity to ask Shinjo to upgrade the system. This time things have become a bit big. It would be bad if we don't attract players' attention. Yes, but you have to increase the memory for me. And the power supply must be doubled according to the number of people. Shinjo Balabala set a lot of requirements. Everyone in the company was overjoyed to hear that this guy was finally willing to upgrade. As for the matter of the prodigal son of Tinya, with their wisdom, it is really a very simple matter. They just used this reason to find Shinjo to upgrade the game. Soon, two announcements were uploaded on the official website of Legend of China. Announcement. Previously, some players complained that Tianyao Longzi was a responsible relative of the company, engaged in malpractice for personal gain, and used the game to make money. After investigation, this matter was found to be false. Players are welcome to visit the company in person for verification. The company adheres to all principles of fairness and justice and is committed to creating an excellent gaming environment for players. So players can rest assured. After investigation, the invisibility ring of the player Tianyao Prodigal Son is a special artifact of this game. It was exploded by him when he killed the boss. It was entirely his luck and there was no cheating. This game also has many unknown special artifact rings and jewelry which are hidden in major bosses and some special monsters. I wish you all good luck. There is another announcement below this announcement. Announcement. In the near future, the game will undergo a large-scale upgrade to completely solve the problem of game lag and few maps. At the same time, public beta charging will be started simultaneously. Stay tuned. As soon as the two announcements came out, they instantly caused a huge sensation among players. Leave messages in the comment area below the announcement. Brother Guanhai. Uh-huh. Let me just say that the prodigal son of Kenya cannot be the trustee of a game company. Mu Shui Wei. Shit! You were suspecting that my video was fake. Dragon Tattoo. Don't make any noise upstairs. Guess what boss Kenya prodigal killed and exploded with the invisibility ring. Brother Chi 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 Chi. Uh-huh. I guess it's the corpse king or the skeleton elf. The other bosses are either too high level and can't be beaten when he's low level. Or they're too low level and can't explode good things at all. Legendary Trumpet. Well, it's most likely the Corpse King. SA World. Ha ha. It should be the King of Corpses. Damn it. I want to explode one too. Game Puzzle. If the Corpse King can explode, wouldn't the Woma Guards and the Woma Leader be able to explode even more awesome rings? Inexplicably Romantic. Ha ha. I'm sure. Let's go. Let's go. No more chatting. Find the boss and kill him. Edgeworth goes to hell. Wow. The game is going to be upgraded. Is it going to have a new map? Great. I finally don't have to step on this damn moonwalk. Countless players are discussing what kind of boss will explode. What kind of special rings will be released. 
and what kind of new maps will be released. As for the Tianyao prodigal son, that's what the official said. They couldn't say anything except envying each other's luck. Brother, the official announcement has been made and your problem has been solved. The gold medal businessman was the first to tell Qin Hung, who was killing monsters in Woma 3, about the good news. Oh, what did you say? I was fighting monsters and didn't go out to sea. Qin Hang's eyes lit up. I'm fine now. I should be fine. After he listened to the announcement made by the gold medal businessman, his eyes narrowed slightly. The official even said that his ring was exploded by fighting the boss. But it was clearly given by his own system. This is a bit intriguing. The authorities should have checked his information. As for what he found out, he guessed that there was either no result and the other party had no choice but to help cover it up. Either that or he has a Chinese identity set up by the system in the game. No matter which one it is. It comes down to one sentence. You are safe. That's enough. Without thinking much, he continued killing monsters. Chapter 97 Level 22 Jing Zhongyue Walmart Second Floor What? The official said he was justified? The princess gritted her teeth and used her anti towel to kill a dung worm. Yes. I nodded my head. According to our friends in the Kamikaze group, this matter alarmed Mr. Chen of the Kamikaze group. Mr. Chen went to check it himself. Does that friend have specific information about the prodigal son of Tianya? Princess Kwantua's eyes flashed with a dangerous light. Being killed while playing games. Or having equipment exploded. It doesn't matter. But the prodigal son of Kinyaw digged and buckled her body. And this revenge had to be avenged. I shook my head and said, No. He doesn't have the right to query player information yet. Then find someone who can look it up. Princess Kwantu snorted coldly. The prodigal son of the end of the world. The prodigal son of the end of the world. Just pray not to let me know who you are. Otherwise, I will dig you in reality and let you have a taste of it. Do you still want to hire the Navy? I asked frantically. Of course. If you can't punish him, you will continue to make trouble. It will disgust him to death. Qin Hung didn't know that Princess Kwangtua was obsessed with him. And even if he knew, he didn't care. In the blink of an eye, after killing monsters in the Woma Leader Hall for more than an hour, he obtained several pieces of equipment and some potions. Ding dong! Do you want to sign in? At this time, the system prompt rang. And it was past 12 o'clock. Yes! Qin Hung was a little surprised by what he got from signing in this time. 50,000 gold coins. 6,000 years of snow and frost. And a return stone that can be used 10 times. Wan Yin Shui Shuang is also a super potion that instantly restores blood and mana. And its effect is much better than the powerful solar water. The powerful solar water instantly restores 50 health and 80 mana. While Wan Yin Shui Shuang can instantly restore 100 health and 100 mana. The life-saving effect is much stronger than that of powerful solar water. What really surprised Qin Hung was the return stone. This thing should not appear now. It is something that appeared in the later version of the legend. So, if you continue to sign in, will you get things like bloodstones and double experience scrolls? Qin Hung was looking forward to it. After killing for a while, he killed the newly spawned leader of Woma. And once again obtained a piece of brand name equipment. A Woma horn and a copy of Wall of Fire. Ghost Gloves, Defense 0 slash 3, Weight 5, Durability 8 eighths, Requires Level 25. This is a brand name piece of defensive equipment, which is a set with a ghost necklace and ghost suit. Wearing a complete set can increase one's attack speed, which is a very good piece of equipment. After practicing for almost an hour, a burst of white light rose, and Qin Hung finally leveled up. The Prodigal Son of the End of the World, Level 22. Experience. 88 slash 300000 compared with the 250,000 experience required to upgrade to level 22. An additional 50,000 experience is added here. This is the case with legendary games. The further you go, the more experience points you need. After the upgrade was completed, Qin Hung no longer stayed here to practice and returned to the city with a hiss. At this time, it was already 1 o'clock in the morning in the warehouse. After Qin Hung stored his things, he took out a top quality soul suit with a little more Taoism. Taoism 0 of 3. Defense 3 to 6. Magic defense 3 of 3. Weight 15. Durability 20. This is the professional attire for a Taoist priest at level 22. The legend of the soul suit is woven from a mysterious thin ribbon. When you uncover the woolen outer cover of the soul suit, you will see the soft armor made of mysterious thin ribbons. Extremely fine metal wires and linen threads that are woven into threads and then made using clothing-making methods. 
like a metallic thick sweater. It has a considerable defensive effect on slashing and puncture. There are rumors in the world that this material can be used to store mystical skills. Talus priests will use healing skills, ghost shields, and other restorative defensive mystical skills on the clothes before wearing them. And then cast them at a later time. Become a protective robe for Talus priests. As soon as he put on these clothes, Qin Heng's whole person immediately changed. In the past, the medium-sized armor made the character look like a child. What about the current soul suit? After putting it on, the black and white color of the clothes has a metallic luster, and the back looks like a tuxedo. Very beautiful. How can one word describe the way he sways when he walks? It's so cool when you run. Xin Hung took out another, ghost shield. It was level 22, and he could learn new skills. Xin Hung had a thought, and immediately finished studying. Ghost shield, after release, it can increase magic defense. Level 0. Proficiency, 0 slash 5000. Note, Taoist priests learn the power of summoning the four sacred beasts by delving into the mysterious Taoist thoughts of the East. The ghost shield is to increase the ability to resist magic attacks for yourself and your surrounding comrades by summoning the Xuanwu beast. The higher the Taoist skill, the longer the defense will last. Pung! Qin Hung waved his hand, and the amulet flew out, and instantly turned into a huge energy shield of Xuanwu phantom that enveloped him, and then disappeared. But the effect had already been produced. The system prompts that your magic defense has been increased for 25 seconds. A system voice sounded, making Qin Hung smile. This skill is not bad. After learning it, his magic defense will be greatly improved in a short period of time. After learning the skills, Qin Hung walked down to the next floor, where several players were trading. After seeing Qin Hung, his eyes suddenly lit up. Look at the name again. Huh? Isn't this the prodigal master from the end of the world? They immediately gathered around him enthusiastically. Master, where is your invisibility ring? Can you put it on so we can have a look? Qin Hung had a headache, put on his invisibility ring, fulfilled the wishes of these people, and went out immediately. Running all the way into the crowded safe area, countless pairs of eyes looked over. Gold medal businessman number three, who was in the safe period, even ran over and said in a sweet voice with great interest, Brother, your clothes are so beautiful. Ha ha. Not bad. Jean Hung said ha ha. Turned around and left. Brother, how are you preparing? Baby, our sisters are all excited. Ha ha. Don't worry. Make more preparations. And come over to trade with you after three o'clock. Ensuring that the quantity is large and the supply is sufficient. I'm afraid you won't be able to swallow it. Ha ha. Impossible. I promise to swallow it all for you. The laughter of gold medal businessman number three came from behind. At this time, the Corpse King Palace has already been refreshed. Half an hour later, Qin Hung entered the Corpse King Palace again from the Viper Valley. As soon as he entered, there was a large group of Corpse Kings in front of him. Qin Hung followed the old method and randomly went to a corner. Wait quietly for three minutes. Not to mention, there was a player who accidentally hit the player who came in from the entrance he just entered, but was teleported away after shouting in surprise. After three minutes, the entrance through which he came in was closed. At this time, he started to clear monsters. As for someone coming in from other entrances later, there would be nothing he could do. There were more than 20 corpse kings refreshed this time, and it took Qin Hung less than half an hour to defeat them all. The good books this time include Summoning the Divine Beast, Half Moon Scimitar, Howling Hail, and Magic Shield. There are also a bunch of other books and equipment. There are two pieces of small exquisite products which makes Qin Hung a little depressed, because he has never found the kind of abnormal top-notch equipment. Not to mention him. Even among the current players, there seems to be no particularly abnormal one. If anything, it was the white tiger tooth necklace he picked up that had 40% evasion and added one luck. After returning to the city and storing his things, Qin Hung continued to rush to the Woma temple because the Woma guards were refreshed again. Arriving on the third floor, Qin Hung was speechless that after defeating two Woma guards, he still couldn't get enough brand name equipment. The best thing is a copy of, group healing, and a skull ring. Damn it. The explosion rate is so low now. With so many people. How expensive is this brand of equipment? Qin Hung felt that he was at a loss by selling the skeleton suit and named it to those who were in need. After defeating the Woma guards, Qin Hung continued to level up on the third level. After practicing until about 3 o'clock, Qin Hung stopped and returned to the city. I've accumulated stuff all night. It's time to sell it. 
Jean Hang's eyes lit up when he thought of the packages he picked up at Woma Sanha Corp's King Palace. As well as the equipment exploded by the major bosses. How much can this sell for? In Beach City Warehouse. Jean Hung, the gold metal merchant, and others traded a total of six packages. This does not include top quality equipment and high level equipment, but only ordinary equipment from level 10 to more than 20 levels. For example, Jean Hung does not trade the frost sword, skull ring, and skull helmet. Prices have not dropped over time. They are still so expensive. Each package of equipment was sold for an average of 5.5 million. Six packages is 33 million. Of course, Jean Hung did not directly obtain 33 million. He also obtained some other things. First of all, skill books. There are 10 skill books above level 28. And the most valuable ones are 5. Summon the Divine Beast, Half Moon Scimitar, Hail Roar, Magic Shield, and Fire Sword Technique. Others are Holy Word, Hell's Thunder, and so on. Jean Hung felt that the merchants probably didn't leave any high level skill books in their hands. And at most, they kept some for their own use. After all, 24 hours a day. If the zombie king in the mining area refreshes every two hours, 12 waves will be refreshed. In the Viper Valley, each wave should have two ends. One on the first floor, and one on the second floor. It's much bigger than the Cheeching mining area. A little more. Maybe four. Even if there are six corpse kings refreshed at once. 72 heads a day. Judging from the explosion rate, it would be good if five of these 72 corpse kings can produce a high-level skill book. That's only 15 books a day excluding some players, who save them for their own use. It is already good for merchants to receive the 5 most valuable advanced skill books. But now, these 10 books above level 28 are purchased for 250,000 gold coins. In fact, when the gold metal merchants and others saw Chin Hung eating a lot, they also speculated that he might be hoarding goods. But after learning from friends that 250,000 experience was needed to advance to level 22, the gold metal businessman and others completely gave up the idea of stocking up on advanced skill books. The time span is too long. As the first batch of level 22 players, they went to a high level map like Centipede Cave. It took them a day to rush up to the monsters in a steady stream. After reaching level 23, the experience value has increased a lot. It is difficult for them to imagine when players, whose average level is only around level 15 now, will be able to level up to level 28 or above. Two months? Or three months? Or maybe it will take half a year. When the time comes, as long as there is one official event, it will be over. As professional game merchants, they have suffered a lot in other games. The most deceptive thing is a fighting game previously released by the Kamikaze Group. Equipment that was originally worth several thousand Chinese dollars suddenly turned into garbage that could only be sold for less than one Chinese dollar. Countless businessmen have been cheated out of nothing. This is actually a disguised suppression of game merchants by game companies. Aren't your prices high? Then I'll hack you to the end. I won't kill you. Therefore, they will not hoard high-level skill books. If they hoard them, they will sell them for more than 300,000 yuan at most. And they have to bear the risk. So they will not play with them. If you acquire it now, take action immediately and make a profit. In addition to skill books above level 28. Chin Hung also received 30 skill books from level 22 to level 26. It was also purchased for 250,000 copies. In the words of a gold metal businessman, the price of this thing has increased. Chin Hung also received 30 skill books from level 17 to level 21, each purchased at a price of 100,000. Among the skill books below level 16, Chin Hung only acquired Light of Temptation and Poisoning Technique. 30,000 copies contain 30 copies of Light of Temptation. 80,000 copies were purchased to purchase 50 copies of The Art of Poisoning. Chin Hung strongly requested to keep the poison technique. So there are more. These two books, Light of Temptation, are essential skills for the mage in the future. After learning them, they can be used to lure babies to help fight monsters. Needless to say, Poison Technique. These skill books were all saved by the merchants for a day. And Chin Hung collected them all at once. This time nearly 18 million gold coins were spent. Jean Hung only received 660 packets of medicinal powder. Because many people have already used poisoning techniques. So the businessman has some less. And almost 2 million has been spit here. At this point, Jean Hung exchanged those ordinary equipment for 13 million gold coins. Plus a pile of skill books and 660 packets of medicine powder. Jean Hung does not plan to sell those top quality equipment of more than 10 levels. He will stock up first. Nowadays, 
it is difficult for players to even obtain common equipment of more than 10 levels. And the price of these top quality equipment will only become more and more expensive. Of course, what changed his mind was actually naming the poor households. When Jin Hun was leveling up just now, he completely changed his mind after asking about the price of top quality equipment for those who had difficulty naming themselves. The market price of the large bracelet with a score of 1 has been around 500,000 gold coins. Don't be afraid that players don't have gold coins to buy. They have Chinese coins. Therefore, Xin Hang's top quality equipment that he sold for around 300,000 yuan in the past was really a loss. But why not sell the skilled books he took to raid those stores? Therefore, Qin Hung still made a lot of money. Originally, the price he sold to merchants was around 300,000. And the merchant sold to players for 500,000. Which was normal. Coupled with the fact that he is fighting Woma guards today, the probability of shipment is getting lower and lower. In the future, when everyone's level rises, brand name equipment cannot be matched. And top quality equipment will definitely be the first choice. Therefore, Qin Hung planned to suppress it first. At this point, Qin Hung has more than 37 million gold coins in his hands. After the transaction was completed, Qin Hung browsed the stores in Beach City, but couldn't find any top quality equipment. Damn it. Someone is really squatting here to scan goods. Right? With a depressed sigh, he had no choice but to collect deer blood. Gold or in black iron ore. The deer blood is not bad. I harvested 10 bottles again, making it 70 bottles. Qin Hung bought a total of 300 gold mines, with a purity of over 15 after buying the ones in Beach City and Viper Valley. This is normal. Thousands of people dig non-stop every day. The probability of getting one with quality 15 for 300 yuan is already very low. An average of 35,000 gold coins per piece. And another 10.5 million gold coins were spent here. More black iron or with a quality of 10 or above will be produced throughout the day. A full 2,000 yuan. The average price per piece is 2,500 gold coins. Another 5 million gold coins were spent here. At this point, Qin Hung still has more than 22 million gold coins in his hand. Looking at the time, it was already 4.20 in the morning. Instead of going to Tuching to hunt for treasure, he went to Woma Saiyan, beat up the two Woma guards and the Woma leader. This time, the two Woma guards still had no brand name equipment. The better items only dropped a handful of frost. A skull helmet and a demon slaying ring. Demon subduing is pretty good. It's a top notch one. With one third attack. Originally, the demon suppressing and demon killing ring was more expensive than the skull ring. After adding a little more attack power, it became even more valuable. What makes Qin Hung happy is that the leader of Woma has not disappointed him yet. Finally, a better equipment was released. Jing Zhongyue, attack July 22nd. Weight 58. Durability 30 thirtieths. Requires level 28. This is a piece of equipment that is like a big kitchen knife. And is jokingly called a kitchen knife by players. It is the top weapon used by level 28 warriors. Compared with a 0-25 attack purgatory. It is a level higher. Unfortunately, the zone has just opened. So players cannot afford it with gold coins unless they sell Chinese coins. Today he sold three pieces of garbage skeleton costumes to named needy households and they all sold for a sky-high price of 9 million. How much does a piece of brand name equipment cost? Not to mention this top-notch brand name equipment. We can only press the bottom of the box first. Chapter 98 Refugees The three views are inconsistent. After defeating the leader of Woma, Qin Hung did not kill any more monsters. He returned to the city, stored his belongings, and exited the game. Looking at the time, it was already past 4.30 in the morning. There was no time to improve my cultivation so I could only wait until work was done in the afternoon. After washing up, Qin Hung came to the kitchen in advance. What surprised Qin Hung was that Nyo Air and Nyo Air had been killing young oxen all morning today. After breakfast, the two of them were asked to stop killing cattle. The two of them were called to the kitchen by fatty manager Xiao, who pointed to dozens of large barrels of meat porridge that had been cooked in the kitchen. You guys carry this porridge to the door with them. The wooden barrel containing the meat porridge is so large that it is difficult for one person to hold it. Qin Hung and Yo Air carried the porridge and followed the people in front. Qin Hung asked in confusion, Is this porridge for the guests? It doesn't look like it. The customer's things are so rough? Huh? How is that possible? This is to help the refugees. Nowadays, there are frequent frictions in the border areas of several big countries, making it difficult for the local people to make a living. There has been a severe drought this year, and there is no harvest. Many people have fled here. Alas, 
while Niu Er was talking. Qin Hong silently carried the porridge. There is chaos and famine. It seems to the outside world that it is much more chaotic than imagined. Soon, Qin Hong and Niu Er carried the porridge, passed through the courtyards, and finally entered the huge six-story luxury hall on the first floor. This was Qin Hang's first time here, and he couldn't help but take a few more glances. The lobby is very large and looks like a restaurant. It has elegant tables and chairs made of various top-quality woods. It is a place for eating and drinking. Very luxuriously decorated. There are many unknown famous paintings hanging on the walls. And the entire building is made of unknown fragrant wood, which makes people feel relaxed and happy when smelling it from a distance. What surprised Qin Hung even more was that there was a huge stage in the middle of the hall. There are a lot of musical instruments on it. Nightingale song. Peacefulness. Drunken dreaming. Battle on the battlefield. Several words popped up in Qin Hang's mind. At this time, there were more than a dozen tables of customers dressed in brocade clothes, eating exquisite breakfast in a leisurely manner, seeing Qin Hung and the gang of handymen passing by carrying porridge. Their eyes showed admiration. He lowered his head and whispered. And with Qin Hang's hearing ability at this time, he could naturally hear clearly. Fong Yu Lu Rini. He helps the homeless at the door every day. Ha ha. Brother Wang. While I'm having fun here, aren't I actually contributing to the refugees? Ha ha. What Brotherly said is absolutely true. Extremely wonderful. Qin Hung. After passing through the Vermilion Door, Qin Hung finally came to the street outside Feng Yu Tower. The entire street is paved with gravel and can accommodate three large trucks passing side by side. Opposite Feng Yu Tower, there are no other shops. There is only a huge square covered with sheds and many luxury carriages parked inside. It should be the car of those distinguished guests who come to Feng Yu Tower to have fun. As for the places on the left and right sides of Feng Yu Tower, there are no shops next to each other. It looks like a single large manor. At this time, on this street, there was already a long line of people lined up at the entrance of Feng Yu Tower. With no end as far as the eye could see, all of them were carrying simple luggage, dressed in tatters, and looked sallow and thin. Among them, there are many with families and children. These people were all looking at the more than ten buckets of porridge. Their throats were rolling. There was a strong desire in their eyes. And there was a trace of confusion and numbness. What surprised Qin Hung was that the people serving porridge to these people at the door were all beautiful young ladies. The leaders were Mingyu and Dr. Yuan, both dressed in white. Mingyu, Grandmaster of the Seven Stars. Yuan Yuan, Six Star Martial Artist. Scanning the two people, the game prompt function is turned on. And the cultivation level of these two girls is immediately clear. Seven Star Grandmaster. Very strong. I like it. The more awesome you are, the safer you are. Qin Hung was secretly happy in his heart. Looking at the other ladies, the ones with the lowest cultivation level are all two-star warriors. And those with higher cultivation levels are also five-star. This young lady from Feng Yu Tower is actually a warrior. Everyone, line up. Don't rush. Everyone has a share. Ming Yu's sweet voice sounded as she skillfully prepared porridge for the refugees. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Miss. I wish you peace and well. Thank you. Miss. Thank you. Sister. Sister. Are you a fairy? Every refugee who received the meat porridge kept bowing and saying words of thanks. Then he took his own portion, walked to the side carefully, and started to eat hungrily. A breeze blew, bringing with it the aroma of meat porridge, but more of a disgusting sour smell. Those are all emanating from the refugees. But the ladies who served them porridge didn't even frown. Continued to serve everyone enthusiastically. Qin Hung watched this scene from a distance. And his heart was really touched. He had never thought that Feng Yu Tower had such a side. In his impression, Feng Yu Tower was just a place for eating, drinking and having fun. The ladies inside are probably not serious. But now this scene really completely subverted his three views. Perhaps, staying in Feng Yu Tower is actually a good choice. Not long after, Qin Hung suddenly discovered that there were some relatively cleanly dressed people among the refugees. Are those refugees too? It doesn't feel like it. Qin Hung asked doubtfully. Niu Er shook his head. No. Those are the poorer people in Feng Yu City. Ah. Is there someone who sneaks in to eat for free? Qin Hung asked in surprise. He thought of the uncles and aunts in his previous life, who would immediately snap up any discounts offered by merchants. Niu Er smiled and said, Ha ha. Do you think our Feng Yu sect is blind? This entire Feng Yu city is my Feng Yu sect's territory. Who does what? Isn't it clear? Who dares to pretend to be poor 
and come here to eat and drink. Besides, people from generally well-off families don't come out here to be embarrassed. There were a lot of refugees, and they had been busy for more than an hour before Ming Yu and others finished their work. Just when Qin Hong thought it was over, Ming Yu came to the refugees drinking porridge with a smile. Hello everyone. I am Ming Yu, the steward of Feng Yu Tower. Now I have good news for you. Our Feng Yu sect is recruiting a large number of people and disciples. If you are willing to stay and work, please stand on the right. Hiring? Recruiting disciples? Fenji Weiman? Qin Hong noticed a word. Ming Yu was not talking about Feng Yu Tower, but Feng Yu Gate. And Feng Yu Tower is a branch of Feng Yu sect. Does Feng Yu sect need so many people? Qin Hong understood it after thinking about it for a moment. According to Niao Er, the young ox he killed every day was raised by Fenji women himself. Other chickens, ducks, fish, and even various vegetables are all raised and grown by ourselves. This requires a lot of manpower. And Feng Yu sect not only has the entrance of Feng Yu Tower, but also has other branches. For example, there is Qin Yun Tower in Feng Yu City. They are also engaged in the business of playing and singing. In addition to playing, playing and singing, there are other industries, etc., which also require a large number of manpower. But what surprised Qin Hung was that Ming Yu only recruited a few dozen people this time. He counted carefully and found that there were only 25 people in total. There is still a bit of reluctance on the face. Others were evasive and unwilling to join. Compared with nearly a thousand refugees. This is so pitiful. Why is this? Isn't it nice to have a job to do? At least food and clothing can be solved. Why are they unwilling? Qin Hung asked Nyo Er doubtfully. Nyo Er looked sarcastic. Ha ha. Those who are unwilling are all new refugees. They feel that Fong Yu City is a place full of gold. Maybe they feel that the business here is not suitable for them. Or it lowers their status. They want to try somewhere else to get better development. Qin Hung. Holy shit. This co-author is really eating from the actors. But he still looks down on the actors? What kind of mentality is this? Ha ha. Don't you feel aggrieved? What's even more ironic is that they still come here to drink porridge every day. Nyo Air had a sneer on his face. A look of disgust on his face. Qin Hung. Seeing the refugees in front of him evading Mingyu. Qin Hung couldn't express his feelings. After carefully searching the memory of his body owner. He did find some reasons. The dead cheap dad taught Qin Hung a lot of knowledge during his lifetime, including various world concepts in this world. People are divided into three, six or nine grades. First class royal family, second class nobles, third class officials, etc. Among all the professions, the ones with the lowest status are the actors who play, play, play and sing. How low is it? Even a beggar can look down on them. Don't look at those rich businessmen, nobles, and warriors who come here to play every day. But in their hearts, you are actually an actor with a low status. Even if you are the top family member here, those dignitaries may call you Gongzi on the surface. But when you step out of this door and lift your pants, you are still nothing. If Feng Yu sect, a powerful martial arts sect, did not exist behind Feng Yu Tower, its status would be even lower. This is really the opposite of Qin Hang's three views. In the previous life, the awesome actor was really loved by thousands of people. Income, popularity, and connections all belong to the upper class in the world. Many people sharpen their heads to get in. Unlike here, I am polite to you on the surface. But behind my back, the beggars look down on you. I would rather beg for food than join the ranks of actors. Actors have no status. Qin Hung now truly feels this deep-rooted concept. In the end, despite Ming Yu's hard work, she only received 30 people. The others thanked them, and dispersed one after another. Qin Hung even saw from their eyes that they seemed to be giving Feng Yu Lu face by coming here to have some porridge. Looking at Ming Yu's helpless eyes, Qin Hung suddenly recalled the day when he readily joined Feng Yu Tower, and the sister's expression suddenly became extremely aroused. I guess it's rare for recruiting people to be so efficient. Right? Just as he was thinking about something, he suddenly saw Ming Yu and Dr. Yuan walking towards him. How is life here? Are you used to it? Ming Yu smiled. This smile is very friendly and has an invisible charm. For Qin Hung, an old bachelor, his lethality is a bit overwhelming. Qin Hung took one look. His heartbeat suddenly accelerated. He quickly lowered his head and said respectfully, It's good. It's like home here. Oh, very good. Hearing this, the eyes of Ming Yu, Dr. Yuan, the young ladies and handyman disciples around them all lit up. Ming Yu even said kindly, How about it? If you find it hard to work as a handyman, 
You can ask me to change your job at any time. My door is always open for you. Qin Hung shook his head. I think my current job is not bad. And killing cattle is good. Bright moon. Killing a cow is fun. Right. Okay. I'll ask you to play with Abalone another day. Hum. The urge to give this guy a slap flashed through her heart. Mingyu took a deep breath and smiled. Just get used to it. Since your body has almost recovered, you can go and pay homage to your parents tomorrow. And let Nyo Air accompany you. You go. Okay. Thank you. Sister Yu. Jean Hung thanked him. Worshipping the parents of this world. Mingyu did not mention it. He would go and see it if he had the chance. Although he was not familiar with his parents in this world. He always had an urge in his heart to take a look. Jean Hung guessed that this should be the remnant of his predecessor. Then go there tomorrow to fulfill the other party's wish and forget about it. Back in the kitchen. Jean Hung continued to kill the cow with Nyo Air. Today. We still killed 150 little oxen. In Nyo Air's words. Mr. Liu needs it. And Mingyu Hall Master has accepted so many people today. He is happy and needs it. Okay. Whoever needs it. I will kill him. Qin Hung does it. Although the refugee issue delayed some time. Qin Hung still killed 150 young hornbills before 5 p.m. This made Nyo Air really look at him with special regard and praise him nonstop. The news reached Mingyu's ears. But it made her even more itchy and wanted to rub it hard. Special physique. Peerless appearance. What a wonderful baby. Alas, how many disciples are trying their best to become a young master? Why doesn't this guy care? What a pity that face is. Do we need to let him become a real man someday before he is willing to be a young master? This thought flashed through her mind. But she dismissed it. If you want to learn martial arts quickly, it's best to remain a child. Difficult to do. If he doesn't come to me in another half month. Mingyu held her chin, looked at the sky outside the window, and fell into deep thought. As soon as Qin Hong finished work, he immediately rushed to the kitchen and finished his dinner quickly. Just as he was about to rush to his residence, Nyo Air grabbed him. Brother, why do you go to your place of residence every day? Come on. Brother will take you for a walk on the street. Yes. Xiao Qin. Let's go. My brothers will take you there. Several other disciples who were also killing pigs and cows in the backyard also said with a smile. Qin Hong has been killing cattle for several days. They are not far apart. And Qin Hung will chat with him. What made those disciples look at him differently was that Qin Hung had a unique understanding of some things. Very much to their liking. For example, Qin Hung did not show that annoying tone towards the young master of Feng Yu Tower. He would also tell them some dirty jokes they had never heard of to make them laugh. For example, Qin Hung asked them a question today. Why do men and women go to a church to get married? Some people say it is to continue the family lineage. Some people say it is to prevent their parents from being sad. And some people say it is to be happy. As a result, Jean Hang's answer made them suddenly enlightened and refreshing. That's because men have figured it out. Women have figured it out. Everyone was stunned when they heard this. It took a few people a long time to realize what Jean Hung meant. Immediately shocked. Immediately afterwards, Jean Hung asked them another question. After a man and a woman got married, why did they separate in the end? Some people speculated that the woman was having an affair, while others speculated that the man was having an affair. As a result, Jean Hang's answer surprised them again. Because men know the depth, and women know the length. Everyone thought about this sentence for a long time. And the more they thought about it, the more they felt it was a wise saying. Suddenly, Jean Hung became even taller in their minds. Although the few of them who killed the cow were all one-star disciples, no one treated Jean Hung as an ordinary person anymore. I always feel that he is the same type of person as them. And he talks very casually. Therefore, after finishing work, several people gathered together and prepared to take Qin Hung out for some fun. Going there to be cool? Don't you want to go to the front to listen to music? Qin Hung asked doubtfully. Yo Air smiled and said, How is that possible? That place is too elegant and not suitable for rough people like us. We'll take you to Chutfong Street to have fun. Let you take care of that. How to put it? Yes. Go all the way. Jean hung. Damn. Are you really going to play? But he really doesn't want to go. And he doesn't have the capital to go out now. It's important to enter the game. Fight monsters in practice. So he shook his head and refused. Killing the cow is really tiring. I have no strength. I want to have a good rest. And I have to go to worship my parents tomorrow. It's not good to drink too much. Okay. Maybe your physique is not up to par yet. And I have something to do tomorrow. So I won't take you out tonight. 
Niu Er, and the others waved their hands to Qin Hung and slipped away. This scene made Qin Hung think deeply again. The management of Feng Yu Tower doesn't seem to be very strict. Also, don't Yo Er and the others need to practice? After pondering for a while, he stopped thinking about this headache. He quickly returned to his residence, fetched some water, and washed it. Only then was he refreshed and ready to be promoted to a three-star warrior. Chapter 99 Promoted to Three Stars First Death Sitting on the bed, Qin Hung opened the real-life character panel. Qin Hung, host. Martial Arts 2 Stars 280000 slash 400000 Remaining Experience Value 241666 Gold Coins 226666 Seal More than 240,000 experience points are enough to be promoted to a 3-star warrior. Qin Hung muttered silently. Promote your cultivation! With a ding. His experience was deducted by 120,000 yuan. The legendary door in my mind rang with the legendary music and opened again. Waves of powerful energy surged out and entered his body, tempering his skin, muscles, bones, eight extraordinary meridians, etc. Qin Hung did not feel pain. Instead, he was bathed in the warm current, just like taking a bath, which was extremely comfortable. This caused him to fall asleep unconsciously. He didn't wake up until his whole body was shaken and there was a click in his mind, as if something had broken. When I opened my eyes, I felt that the tempering was over, and my whole body was full of endless energy. I really want to try punching the wall with my fist. Resisting this temptation, Qin Hung opened the real-life character panel. Qin Hung, host. Martial Arts 3 stars. 0 slash 1200000. Remaining experience value. 121666. Gold coins. 226666 seal. Finally got 3 stars. It was not easy. It took several days. Qin Hung sighed. He is just not satisfied anymore. If other warriors knew that he had advanced to the three-star realm in just a few days, they would probably be pulled out and dissected. Those who can be promoted to three-star warriors in five years are geniuses. A person who can be promoted to a three-star warrior in three years is a peerless genius. Those who can be promoted to three-star warriors in one year are monsters. They are rare in the whole world. Qin Hung only spent a few days. What is this called? After lamenting that he was not practicing fast enough, Qin Hung looked at the experience of being promoted to four stars and immediately became depressed. So much? The experience value for promotion to four stars has been increased from 400,000 for promotion to three stars to 1.2 million. This made Qin Hung speechless for a while. After thinking about the division of martial arts in reality, Qin Hung suddenly understood. This is the tip of the iceberg. Martial arts are divided into nine stars. One to three stars are warriors. Four to six stars are martial arts masters. 7 to 9 stars are masters. A 4-star martial artist is far more powerful than a 3-star martial artist. A 4-star can crush a group of 3 stars. Chief Daddy once said that in this world, it is difficult to advance from 3 stars to 4 stars. A hundred ordinary people practice martial arts, and only one can become a martial artist. Cream of the crop. Out of a hundred 3-star warriors, only one can be promoted to a martial artist. It's also the cream of the crop. As for the 7-star grandmaster, out of a thousand six-star martial arts masters. It would be great to have one. One in a thousand. In short, every three stars is a hurdle. After breaking through from three star to four star, as long as you don't die midway and all kinds of panaceas can keep up, there is no problem in being promoted to six star. But it is difficult to be promoted to grandmaster. This is a real big hurdle. After thinking about this, Qin Hung no longer bothered about why promotion to four stars required so much experience points. With the remaining more than 120,000 experience points, Qin Hung was also promoted. Qin Hang's strength increased again. The external character panel becomes Qin Hung, host. Martial Arts 3 stars. 121666 slash 1200000. Remaining experience value, 0. Gold coins. 226666 seal. The gold coin was still in a sealed state. And Qin Hung didn't bother to guess when it would be usable. Anyway, when it is usable. It is definitely not in a sealed state. We'll just study it when the time comes. I stood up, moved my hands and feet, and opened the game map, which indeed expanded a bit. There are very few green dots. There was no one around. They were probably still eating. Or like Nyo Air and the others. They were out wandering around. However, what shocked him a little was that in the yard where there were two little dots next to each other. There were now three little dots closely together. 
thinking of the strange sound he heard that day. Jean Hung thought about the words of the three little dots together. He was a little curious about these three people. And his heart was scratched like a cat's claws. Forget it. Go take a look. You won't be blind anyway. It'll only take two minutes. Otherwise, I would feel so uncomfortable in my heart. Activating the invisibility function. Jean Hung moved and appeared five meters away. And then moved ten meters away. A three-star warrior. Driven by internal force. His body is like an arrow. And his speed is already very fast. Brush. Jean Hung. Who was excited to play. Jumped up slightly. More than three meters high. And then fell down gently. Making a slight sound. He jumped again. His internal energy running. This time he jumped five or six high. And the sound of landing was even quieter. After trying more than ten times in a row. It finally landed silently. He stretched out his hand. And used his inner strength to slowly rotate around. And a stream of air immediately caused the fallen leaves in the yard to spin. Seen from a distance. People who don't know will just think it's blown by the wind. After experimenting for a while, and moving his hands and feet, Jean Hung discovered a big problem. He lacks the means of attack. He found that when punching and kicking, although he could transfer his internal energy into his fists and kicks, he never felt sharp enough. In other words, it's just not strong enough. Not strong enough. After thinking for a moment, he realized that this was due to a lack of attack skills. When he uses the soul fire talisman, the internal energy he exerts will also have fire attributes. Making it even more powerful. The damage is much more powerful than if he simply uses internal force to attack. But apart from the soul fire talisman, he has no other attack skills. It seems that I can only wait until another character is unlocked before I can turn my inner strength into a more powerful attack method. When it comes to powerful attack power, among the legends, the mage's attack power is definitely the most powerful. In addition, if he can obtain the attack martial arts of this world, it should also increase his attack power. However, he is not a disciple of Feng Yu Tower yet and cannot contact him. Forget it. We'll talk about it later. Now, Xin Hang's footsteps flashed continuously, and he quickly entered a courtyard silently. The windows were still closed, and muffled sounds came from inside. After listening carefully, Xin Hang's eyes widened instantly, and he touched his chin with a look of thought. After listening silently for a while, he finally confirmed one thing. Turn around and leave. My day. Sure enough, there is no plowed land. Only exhausted cows. I didn't expect that people in ancient times could have such fun. I really want to see what this woman looks like. It shouldn't be as beautiful as the bright moon. Right? By the way, as the landlord, will Mingyu take orders? This question came to mind inexplicably. And Qin Hung was suddenly curious. Forget it. Leveling is important. It's none of my business whether she takes orders or not. After getting his wish, Xin Hung quickly returned to the bedroom, removed the invisibility ring function, went to bed, and entered the game. As soon as he went online, Xin Hung received a surprise private message from Shibian. Brother, you are finally here. Huh? Get out of class has just ended. How does it look like you? After saying this, Xin Hung stopped. He suddenly remembered that the little one no longer went to school. The little one opposite didn't seem to care. And the laughter continued. Ha ha. Big brother. I'm level 17. No way. Don't you need to sleep? Chin Hung was surprised. No way. We played until 7 in the morning and then went offline to go to bed. We didn't come back until about 2 in the afternoon. The little one said. Oh. Don't stay up late too often in the future. It's not good for your health. Chin Hung warned and went out to visit the store. Brother. Brother Guan Hai asked you if you would come here to level up? Leveling up here is so fast. No, you can level up by yourself. I have room. I'll talk about it later when the level is high. Oh well. A slightly disappointed voice came from the little one. Jean Hung went out and ran to the jewelry store. But within a few steps, he was followed by a group of tail men. Wow. That is the prodigal son of Tianya who possesses a divine weapon. Oh my god. His equipment is really awesome. His whole body is in top quality. Brother prodigal son, take me with you. Master. Can you give me some money for the potion? A large group of people gathered behind him. And Jean Hung was so frightened that he ran very fast. All the way into the jewelry store. Soon, the place where he stood was surrounded by people on the three floors inside and three floors outside. Jean Hung ignored them and started searching for treasure. I was lucky this time and bought two small items. A Dao 1 steel bracelet and a magic 3 hexagonal ring. 
the hexagonal ring of Demon 3 should be worth a lot of money. After all, among non-brand name equipment, the best mage's ring is the magic one half charm ring. In the past few times, he couldn't buy the best products, so Chin Han didn't want to go to Taobao anymore. The two pieces I found this time are pretty good. They are sold to players, and are worth at least about 700,000. Hey, that's right. The poor households also have a group of brothers. If you just sell it to them at a slightly lower price, you should be able to make more money. Chin Hing's eyes lit up, and he felt that he had found the right path. As for naming the households with difficulty, they don't seem to have to worry about whether they have that many gold coins. Without him, he would buy it himself. And now businessmen have a lot of them. Yes, that horn is almost ready to be sold to him. Anyway, he also knows that he has an invisibility ring. Isn't it normal to hit the leader of Woma? After thinking about it in his mind, Jin Hung decided to suppress it for now. Because if the Woma horn is sold to a poor person, then he can establish a guild. When the first guild in the server is established, a large number of people will be recruited. With the current popularity, it is even possible to recruit thousands of people. When the time comes, he organizes thousands of players to storm the Walmart lobby. Isn't that just like playing? He can't occupy Woma Hall alone. It's really hard to talk about this kind of thing. Forget it. Just sell him some top-notch products. We chatted privately about naming the households with difficulties. And sure enough, as soon as this guy heard that Chin Hung had equipment, he immediately asked Chin Hung to keep it for him. Brother, prepare more gold coins. Chin Hung chuckled. Don't worry. In order to repay your money, I bought 10 million gold coins today. The person in need said with a proud smile. When these words fell into Chin Hung's ears, his eyes suddenly lit up. It seems that with a massive increase in the mining army, wealthy players are getting richer and richer. I have something to do now. I'll see you when I'm done. Chin Hung said a few words and repaired the jewelry on his body with some pain. He is not heartbroken about the few gold coins. This is ordinary repairs. That is, one or two thousand gold coins for repairs. His heartache was lasting. The top quality steel bracelet has been worn all the time and has been repaired twice. After this repair, the durability has been reduced to three-thirds. One more repair and it will basically be useless. I prayed for the helmet to be durable and repaired it once not to mention the half-moon weapon. It was repaired until it had six durability points left. Under his sparing use, the durability of the invisibility ring dropped to two-fifths. As long as it drops to one, if he wants to use it again, he will also have to repair it. Just when Chin Hung was buying things and repairing equipment, he was already surrounded by players watching the fun. And he couldn't move at all. Even the store door was blocked. As soon as people from outside came in, they were piled into the crowd. Densely packed, it looked like there were at least a hundred people. And because the store is so big, people coming in through the door are blocked from seeing the NPCs inside. Many players are already furious. Let me go in. Let me borrow it for a moment. Get out of the way and repair the equipment. Thank you. Get out of here. Get out of here and hack your sister. Kill them. There is no reputation for killing people in the store. You can't drop equipment if you die. I don't know if it was the bad-tempered one. But after he shouted... A long circle of flame shot directly into the crowd. Hellfire. One of the low-level skills of the mage. It's a range attack that attacks in a straight line forward. The health of the players who were attacked suddenly dropped. When the others saw that someone was taking action, everyone who was already annoyed immediately attacked the players in front. Thunder and lightning techniques. Small fireballs. Poison techniques. Soul fire talismans. And attack sword techniques all hit the players at once. The players who were caught off guard immediately fell down. The players inside looked at it and thought, Damn! Someone hit me! In the game, you are already impulsive. But here it is not illegal to kill people. And you don't lose equipment even if you die. In an instant, everyone was excited. He immediately fought back. In the blink of an eye, there was lightning and thunder. And hundreds of players became a mess. Chin Hung, who was originally in the innermost position, could not be attacked by people outside. But for some reason, the players next to him also started killing him. With a stuck sword, a warrior wearing light armor struck Chin Hung. A two-drop damage occurred. Such low damage immediately surprised the soldier. And he immediately shouted, Damn! You're a pervert! You can't hit him! When the people around him heard this, they stopped killing others and immediately started slashing and firing at Chin Hung. Under five or six bolts of lightning, soul fire talismans, and a circle of people slashing wildly, Chin Hung, 
who was still repairing his equipment. Before he could react, he simply lay down on the ground with a sound. This is his first death in the game. Fortunately, it's in a store. Otherwise, it would be heartbreaking to just drop some equipment out. Quitting the game speechlessly and returning to the login interface, Jean Hung appeared in the safe area when he went online again. Although he didn't feel like he would drop anything, he still checked the equipment and packages. His face suddenly darkened, and he prayed that the helmet was gone. After the character dies, the prayer equipment will indeed disappear. It seems that we must pay attention to this aspect in the future. After being killed inexplicably once and without a prayer helmet, Jean Hung had the thought of putting on a top-quality white tiger tooth necklace before fighting. Then he shook his head. It was such a waste of time. It was more important to fight the boss. Besides, the group of people who killed him are probably all dead. Through this experience, Jean Hung realized a serious problem. He is not invincible. As long as seven or eight mages hit him at the same time, he will definitely die. It seems that in the future, when shopping in unsafe places such as grocery stores and butcher shops in the city, you must always be careful not to get robbed. It's better to change your clothes and go to the trash. Those places are not shops. Just stalls. If you are killed, things will be exploded. Forget it. I've made money. But I still have too little time. He looked up and saw that the safe area of Beach City at this time was so crowded that it was impossible to squeeze in. There are people doing business and swearing everywhere. What made Chin Hung speechless was that there were actually a few people scolding the needy households. The veteran teleported himself to the butcher's side and looked around cautiously. Fortunately, they were all holding cloth clothes and wooden swords. And Chin Hung felt relieved immediately. After hurriedly scanning ten more bottles of deer blood, I went to the warehouse to store them all. Eighty bottles of deer blood. Then he took out a new prayer helmet and put it on. Bought random amulets. Etc. Chin Hung flew all the way to the Woma Temple. Chapter 100 Kill Hong Ming Explosive Equipment when he arrived at the entrance of Woma Temple, Chin Hung suddenly saw a large group of people fighting at the entrance. Taking a closer look, it turns out that there are more than 10 people from the Iron Blood Alliance fighting with a group of more than 20 players. Due to their fight at the door, no one was in the group anymore. Only some people in the distance were watching from a distance. Although the Iron Blood Alliance has a small number of people, they are of high levels. There are four level 22 ones and several with skeletons. On the other hand, among the group of players, none of them were wearing level 22 professional attire. Therefore, the Iron Blood Alliance completely dominated the battle. And those players were crushed by them. Bang! The Iron Blooded Overlord withstood the attacks of several people, holding a warrior level 22 weapon Shura, which was a big axe. Catch up with a mage and kill her with an axe. With a crash, a lot of things exploded on the ground. Ha ha! Have fun! I let you trash scold me! and I will kill you so that you don't dare to come again. The iron-blooded overlord took Shura and dug up the corpse on the ground. Rubbish! At this time, the iron-blooded overlord didn't know how many people he had killed. After hacking the mage to death, his name instantly turned red. But after he humiliated his opponent, he chased after the others and hacked them without hesitation. It turns out it was because of the three Woma massacres. With a sigh, Chin Hung originally wanted to enter the Woma temple, but when he saw the red name of the iron-blooded overlord, he checked the opponent's equipment. And when his eyes moved, he stopped again. Brothers, he's red. Let's hack him together. Explode his equipment. At this time, among the group of casual players watching, a mage suddenly shouted excitedly and took the lead in charging at the iron-blooded overlord. Chin Hung took a look. He he. He is an old acquaintance. It was the Dudu Ludu -du 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 who he had had a fight with before at the Tuching Inn. Looking at the other party's excited figure, Chin Hung was speechless for a while. This guy is a PK madman. The person following Dujula Dudada is me. It's me. M.O. Yin. The mysterious person. What surprised Chin Hung was that Emperor Yun's god of killing also rushed out behind him. It looks like they are still teammates. Depend on. After a fight in the early morning. Are you now getting together? Is this friendship between men? Amidst loud shouts of beep. 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 Beep, 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 beep. The remaining 20 or so individual players immediately ignored it and all rushed towards the iron blooded overlord. Ha ha! A bunch of rubbish! Come on! Come and beat me! 
the iron-blooded overlord laughed wildly. Then turned around and ran away. Joke. There are more than twenty players. At close range. Even if one of them gives him a blow. He will die. Under the provocation of the iron-blooded overlord. Those players became even more angry. Everyone ignored the attacks of other iron-blooded alliance members and just chased after the iron-blooded overlord. Among this group of people, Dududududududa and Uni Killing God's attacks are the sharpest. The two of them were very good at running, attacking, and walking. They were obviously experienced gamers who often played games. But the jagged overlord's taste is even more coquettish. Like a snake. Very slippery. Running around. He dodged most of the attacks. The attacks that fell on him were only a few lightning bolts and soul fire talismans. And they didn't all fall at the same time. In addition, this guy was drinking potions and powerful solar water from time to time. Therefore, in the midst of the crowd's siege, he can move in and out with ease. And he can even kill the enemy in reverse. Ha ha! Look at my snake skin moves! Snake skin move! Snake skin move! The iron-blooded overlord laughed wildly and slipped a large group of players around the players of the Iron-Blooded Alliance. Ah uh -huh. After several screams, three more people from the group of individual players behind were surrounded and beaten to death by other members of the Iron-Blood Alliance. The Iron-Blooded Overlord saw that there were a few more rubbish players missing, and he became even more excited. Trash! Work harder! Your grandpa is dying! Attracting the players who were chasing him. They were laughing and spinning around. Hack him! But at this moment, there was a loud shout, and a group of players suddenly burst out from the crowd of onlookers and surrounded the iron-blooded overlord. The one taking the lead was the Taoist priest named Mu Shuiping, followed by a warrior named Juechen. Obviously, this is a group of players who saw the popularity of the iron-blooded overlord and wanted to take advantage of it. Caught off guard, the iron-blooded overlord met them face to face. Mu Shui's soul fire talisman and Juechen's offensive swordsmanship hit the iron-blooded overlord immediately reducing his health to the cordon. And I, the iron-blooded overlord drinks powerful solar water. He turned around and ran towards the jungle on the other side with a charming pace, trying to distance himself. Twenty or thirty people were chasing after him, and the people from the iron-blood alliance were also chasing after the players. Faced with the pursuit of so many players, the red-eyed jagged overlord still laughed maniacally. Ha ha! Look at my snake skin moves! Snake skin move! Snake skin move! If you want to kill me, there is no way. Rumble. Puff pung pung. The iron-blooded overlord ran sideways sideways in an enchanting manner, with seven or eight thunderbolts and soul fire talismans blasting towards him. At most, only a few attacks landed on him. Trash. Work harder. Gula Gula drank the potion, and the iron-blooded overlord continued to stimulate the players. Everyone was so filled with hatred that they divided their heads to surround him. But there was nothing they could do to him just as the iron-blooded overlord was running away with everyone in high spirits. A player wearing a cuckold suddenly rushed towards him from the front. The prodigal from the end of the world. There is currently only one cuckold in the entire server. And of course, the iron-blooded overlord recognized Chin Hung at a glance. Facing Chin Hung, who was also wearing level 22 professional attire, the iron-blooded overlord did not choose hard steel. There is no way. There are more than 20 tails following behind him. If he is blocked even slightly, he may fall into a place of no return. But the iron-blooded overlord didn't panic. He was very confident in his taste. He is a top online game player. Otherwise, he would not be able to bring the iron-blooded alliance together. With a few false steps, he wanted to bypass Chin Hung. But something happened that made him depressed and shocked. No matter how he moves, the opponent can stop him. Finally, a banging knife struck him. It caused a damage of 20 drops of blood. His blood volume was not high. But what was terrible was that being blocked by Qin Hung disrupted his running rhythm. And the attacks of Dujulu Dududa and Mu Shui followed closely behind. A bolt of lightning and a soul fire talisman struck him instantly. His blood volume was instantly reduced to more than 20 drops. The jagged overlord was so frightened that he quickly drank the powerful solar water. Only to find that it was gone. It's gone! Grass! Cursing angrily. He wanted to fly away randomly. Although he might fly next to the archer. He didn't care but just when he wanted to drink the potion but failed. Chin Hung hit his running figure accurately with a towel. With a bang. The last of his blood was sucked away. Ah! A scream. The iron-blooded overlord fell to the ground. The bell rang loudly. And the ground exploded full of things. Dragon ring. With quick eyes and hands. 
Qin Hong stepped on a dragon ring and stepped on a skull helmet. Mu Shuiwei and Yun Di Killer picked up a skull ring respectively, and Zhu Echen picked up a Shura axe. The remaining equipment, potions, etc. were licked clean by other players who rushed up. Nah! My ring! My equipment! Wanderer from the end of the world! I'm not done with you! Kill him! The iron-blooded overlord on the ground was almost going crazy. He cursed and ordered his men to surround and kill Qin Hung. Not to mention other equipment. The Dragon Ring is a brand name equipment that has not been officially announced yet. And it also has hidden attributes. In the entire Iron Blood Alliance. No. In the entire game. He had never seen anyone else wearing it. Even wealthy people who named themselves poor people still only wore a pair of skull rings. It can be said that this is the only Dragon Ring in the entire server. The value is simply immeasurable. Now it has been exposed. Can he not be mad? The players of the Iron Blood Alliance didn't need to say anything. They chased after Qin Hung who was already running towards the Woma Temple. As for the Digila Didida people, they scattered after picking up their equipment. Besides, the Iron Blood Alliance wouldn't chase them. They would definitely chase the prodigal son from the end of the world who picked up the dragon ring. Not only are they chasing, but other individual players are also chasing. Everyone had seen the Iron Blooded Overlord's equipment just now. And there was even a group of people who wanted to explode his dragon ring. Now that someone has robbed him, let's forget he flew away. He even ran towards the Woma Temple. How could he not chase him? Suddenly, 30 or 40 people chased Qin Hung. The mages and other long-range attackers even threw piles of lightning towards the prodigal son from a distance. But what makes them depressed is that this prodigal son from the end of the world is even more slippery than the iron-blooded overlord. The running figure was even more coquettish, leaving all attacks behind and ran into the Woma Temple in a hurry. Gather, brothers! Even if the Woma Temple is turned over today, we must find him! The iron-blooded overlord, who had his dragon ring exploded, said through gritted teeth, a dragon ring. It was just exploded during the day when I was fighting against the Woma guards at the Woma Temple. It was exploded even before it even arrived. It's crazy! Boss! Won't he fly back to the city? Idiot! He probably doesn't have a town returning scroll or randomness. If he did, he stopped flying just now? Are you still chasing him into the Woma Temple? The iron-blooded overlord lying on the ground cursed loudly. And at the same time, he began to chat privately about the young master of the dynasty and the crazy prince. Both of these two families are leveling up in Woma Temple. There are other players who have the idea of iron-blooded overlord. Soon, a piece of news spread like wildfire. The prodigal son of Tianya exploded the iron-blooded overlord's brand name equipment. The dragon ring. After picking it up, he did not return to the city or randomly, and was driven into the Woma Temple by everyone. Brand name equipment. The prodigal from the end of the world. These two words are hot words among today's legendary players. The prodigal son of Tianya himself is a pervert, and he even has a magical invisibility ring. Now there is an additional famous brand in the package. If you are killed, you can pick up any piece of equipment from the opponent, and you will be able to eat all you want. If only I could pick up the invisibility ring depend on, then you will make a fortune. When many players heard this, their eyes turned red, and they rushed to the Woma Temple to summon their friends. Brush. As soon as Qin Hong got into the Woma Temple, he went straight to the first floor. Of course he is not because there is no return to the city in random. He just wanted to go to Woma to beat the leader of Woma three times. He ran into the first floor in a flash, followed by a lot of tales. Qin Hong was too lazy to pay attention to them, and flew away randomly after entering. Boss, the prodigal son of Kenya has flown away. I don't know if he returned to the city or if it was random. The men report to the iron-blooded overlord. He may not have returned to the city. He left a few people to guard the entrance on the first floor. Find them for me, the iron-blooded overlord said fiercely. Jean Hung flew randomly all the way and was shocked to find that every time he fell into a group of players waiting for monsters to spawn, the other players would come to chop him. No monsters are even killed. Holy shit! Did I provoke you? If he hadn't been in a hurry to kill the boss, Qin Hung might have killed these blind people. After falling behind again, Qin Hung received an anxious private message from a household with difficulties in naming. Brother, are you still at the Woma Temple? A friend just said that you exploded the iron-blooded overlord's dragon ring and ran into the Woma Temple. Now the senior players in our circle of friends are calling for people to come to Woma Temple to blast you. Your sister? I said what's going on? I see. Qin Hung suddenly felt a pain in his balls. With a lot of vigilance. 
I randomly flew all the way and entered the second level. As soon as he entered, he saw the prince of the dynasty rushing over from a short distance with more than 10 people from the dynasty. As soon as those people saw Qin Hung, their eyes suddenly brightened. And without saying a word, they greeted him from a distance with thunder and lightning, poison techniques, soul fire talismans, and attack and sword techniques. Call out. Qin Hung, who had been prepared for a long time, ran away randomly. All the thunder and lightning spells were in vain, but it also scared Qin Hung into a cold sweat. If the other party had already ambushed him at the door, wouldn't he have fallen into a trap? Other side, seeing Qin Hung fly away, the prince of the imperial court was so angry that he yelled, Damn it! After they got the news about the iron-blooded overlord, they rushed towards the entrance. Originally, they didn't want to wait at the entrance on the second floor. They were going to look for it on the first floor. But I didn't expect to meet Qin Hung at the entrance to the second floor. Seeing Qin Hung fly away, the prince was so angry that he almost vomited blood. The prince of the imperial court said angrily, Look for him. He can't run far on the second floor. Boss, I don't feel like he's running away randomly as Overlord said. He seems to be entering the third floor. A dynasty player suddenly reminded. The prince of the imperial court shook his head. How is it possible? Are you seeking death by entering the third floor? But then, he immediately realized. Huh? No. He has an invisibility ring and can enter the third floor. Call everyone and block him at the door of the lower third floor. The young master of the dynasty excitedly told the Kwangtuo family and the iron-blooded overlord about this discovery. The prodigal son of Kinya is going to the third floor. The news spread among several major forces in an instant. Princess Kwangtua and others immediately organized their men to fly to the entrance of the third floor, preparing to kill the prodigal son of Kinya. Boo hoo hoo! After the encounter at the entrance, Qin Hung also understood that he should be remembered by the players of Woma Temple at this time. Come to think of it, I already have top notch equipment, and I picked up the iron blooded king's dragon ring. It's strange that no one cares about it. In the legends of previous lives, this kind of murderous business happened too often. Even though he knew his current situation, Qin Hung had no intention of returning to the city. He still has randomness now. As long as he flies to the entrance of Woma 3 and rushes into Woma 3, that will be his world. If anyone else dares to follow, they will definitely die as many as they come. At this moment, several regional calls spread throughout the second floor of Woma Temple. The drag princess area shouted, Brothers on the second floor! The prodigal son of Kinya exploded the dragon ring of the iron-blooded overlord which was in his package. Now we are dragging the dynasty. And the iron-blooded people are chasing him. Everyone is welcome to kill him. As long as you give me the picture of killing him, I will give you a reward of 10,000 Chinese Yuan. The message in the young master area of the dynasty. Brothers on the second floor. After the two of them finished speaking, the players on the second floor of Walmart were shocked. There are those who agree to kill Tianyao Prodigal and explode his equipment. But there are also those who support Tianyao Prodigal. Wooden horizontal area shouts. Ha ha! Well done! Don't be afraid! Prodigal brother! I support you! Everyone! Please don't kill the prodigal son of Tianya! The words of the crazy people are just farts! Don't be fooled! After the words fell, several more players, who suffered losses last time spoke up to tell everyone not to be fooled. In a corner on the second floor of Wama Temple, Mu Shui was leading a group of players to kill monsters at some unknown time. Brother Mu! We really don't want to go find the prodigal son of Tianya. He has a magical weapon on him. No. Unless he comes to us. He. You can't blame me. Don't you support him? Yes. It's support. Then you still want to kill him? When did I say I was going to kill him? Didn't your tone just now mean that you wanted to kill him? Fart. I just wanted to take a photo with him. Boo hoo hoo. Qin Hong was still flying randomly at this time. And flew several times in a row. Sure enough. Every time he landed, as soon as he met a player, some players wanted to kill him. But he flew away in an instant, and others could do nothing to him. After flying a few more times, he finally arrived at the entrance to Xiao Masan. Turning a corner, I was shocked to see four or five people gathered at the entrance. Some from the imperial court, and some from the crazy crowd. The second floor is very big. Princess Kuang and the others went to the entrance of the third floor to intercept Qin Hung first and they also had to fly over randomly. These people were the first to fly to the entrance and wait. As soon as they saw Qin Hung running over, several people immediately rushed forward as if they had taken a powerful pill. Two mages, a Taoist priest, and two warriors. 
No one is wearing level 22 professional attire. Obviously, they are all below level 22. Jean Hung didn't run away. There were so many people just now. But they didn't stop him. Now there were only five people. And he was even more unafraid. His forward figure suddenly became erratic. Running here and there. Skillfully dodging the lightning strikes of the two mages and bypassing the attacks of the two warriors. Only the Talus priest's poisoning technique is to apply poison at a fixed point. And he cannot avoid it. It fell on him. But he ignored it completely. He covered his head and broke through the enemy's siege. And slipped into the Wama sand. 